Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our hardcore series. It's no longer a hardcore, it's just an Iron Man. And uh, so with that, I'm renaming the series. It was Die Hard before, but uh, now it seems a little more appropriate to rename it to... Died Hard. Anyways, welcome back to the series. I'm uh, looking forward to making some progress on this account again. Most of it is going to be AFKable skills. As you can see, I'm actually working on some crafting now. But I have a lot to relearn about this game, uh, about the mechanics, about what you can do in the game. Uh, there's so many new ways to get XP now. And hopefully we can spice it up occasionally with some bossing. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy. This is great because I'm actually going to make a better pickaxe with this. Ooh, golden crack rocks when they sparkle like that. That means you're about to hallucinate for the next three hours. All right, I just got four Bainite ore. I think that took 15 minutes with a rune pickaxe. So slow. So I'm going to go ahead and apparently I can do this in Priftonus too. So I'm going to go check it out. I'm going to see if I can find where it is in Priftonus so that I can turn this Bainite ore into the bars that I need. And then I'm going to make a Bane pickaxe. So this should be a lot faster. I'll be getting uh, better XP as well. To infinity. Is this it? Ah, I think this is it. All right, hang on. Let's see here. I don't, I don't make that. I made it. We made the Bane pickaxe finally. Apparently, I had to keep that little smoldering thing in the forge. I had to heat it up. I didn't know that. I had to heat it up. You had to heat the, you had to heat it up, and then you could make the, whatever. So I got the, I got the Bane pickaxe. Uh, that's a neat looking pickaxe, man. Can I add this to my tool belt? Yes! I can. There we go. Hey, so I was going through the archaeology uh, intro BS, and apparently you get something that increases your maximum health by 500. Um, and I, I was told this is permanent as long as I have the relic on. So harness, harness my anus. <laughs> Who needs quest guides when you have the yellow brick road? Hey, so um, I'm actually streaming right now, which is kind of fun. And I got this crossbow. We're doing some archaeology. I got this crossbow, and I want to I wanted to restore it here so we can find out what, what that does together, because I have no idea. Oh, gave me XP. Oh, and level 12 archaeology. I knew I recorded this clip for a reason. I think I can un unblock this area over here. I don't know what's behind this. What's behind door number one? Thing is I got level 20, yay! YouTuber voice, I got, oh, I can get different uh, tier Matox, right? Or Maddox, Maddox, Matamu, Mu, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, also, I got a clue scroll. I'm gonna have to get a different Maddox. Oh yeah, cause I'm using the, I see the bronze one there. Oh, uh, that's probably why this is so slow. I just spent like the last 10 minutes trying to find where I could get a, 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 a Matox. Is it a Matox or a, a Maddox? I don't know. I'm gonna get the steel one. It's only 4K, so it should be a little quicker now. So let's go ahead and add that to our tool belt. Yes! Wee! Future quest, please leave that in the video. All right, everybody, we're here at the Zamorak site now. Uh, now that we're level 20, actually, I think I'm level 21 now. Yeah, so this is the, the next uh, place. Oh. Oh. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, we're at the next place now. Uh, this should be a little faster XP. Uh, I'll keep showing you the levels, but I just got the Zeros Effigy. A figgy. I'm going to stop wasting your time now. Don't you just love filler clips? Uh, we just drove across the street now that we're at 24 archaeology. Uh, this skill is starting to get slow, I'll be honest. But I've been streaming for two hours now, and I went from level 5 to 24 in that time. And... I did 85 flashcards. That's really slow, but it's more than I did yesterday, so I'll take it. I got a book from uh, Archaeology, and let me read what uh, what it says when you click on it. This book doesn't have words, only very suggestive pictures. <laughs> Coming in hot. We've got uh, 30 Archaeology. I'm getting one XP drops. This is, this is depressing. Please. There we go, level 30 Archaeology. I don't know if I can do it. I oh, Mithril Matok. There we go. I got the Mithril Matok. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go buy that. Uh, and then at 42, I was informed by the ever so helpful chat that we get the next site unlocked. So that's, uh, that's the next milestone. I'm probably going to go do something else though. So your, your brains don't pour out of your ears from sheer boredom. Hey, so we're out here, uh, YouTuber voice. We're out here mining some Bainite ore because uh, I wanted to switch it up a little bit, get the mining level up. I don't know if we'll get a mining level today. 
but uh, I definitely wanted to start working on this because this will give me a, uh, I think I can make a Bainite hatchet, right? I think, I think I can do that. I'm not, but I just got these igneous geodes. I have no idea what they do. So I'm going to open them. Wow. That was garbage. Hey, so we're here in uh, artisans workshop. Now uh, my chat turns out they're smarter than me. Uh, they told me that I can make this uh, ore box, which will hold some of the ores, which is really cool. So, and you, you do it based off of um, well, each kind of level. All right, so we're going to make this. I only have up till rune. I need to get some of the other ores if I want to upgrade a little further. So we'll probably do that next. Uh, but for now, we should be able to get a, uh, a rune, rune ore box. I think let's just, let's just double check before we end the, uh, the filler clip here. We gotta, gotta keep the filler clip going for as long as possible. How else do you think I'm going to get over 10 minutes? Is that still a thing on YouTube? Your video's got to be over 10 minutes? I don't know anymore. A few moments later. Okay, we just got the rune ore box. It actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, I'd love to know how much it can store, though. I don't know if I could see that somewhere. How much do you hold? Level 50 resources and below. Bruh. All right, we finally got the uh, Bane ore box. It took forever. And also, I'm also wearing an aura calcite helmet. See, this was completely intentional. Hey, so I just finished my first trip uh, at Bainite Ore Mining. I, I apparently the box fills up 100 ore. That's pretty awesome. I was told on stream I need like 4,800 bars, like Bainite bars, so 9,600 ore, something like that to get uh, to 90 smithing. I don't know how much I need for mining to get to 90 though. I have to, we'll have to try and figure that out. But I think that the XP drops change. Here we go, just got level 85 mining. That's pretty nice. I'm, more bandit order storage in the ore box. Oh, cool. So that just upped our storage uh, capacity. I don't, that, that didn't give us anything else though. Uh, this is mostly just a filler clip. I love filler clips. You find hookah pipe. What can I say, man? Even the ancient Aztecs were doing hookah. Hi. We just got level 35 archaeology. You like that? You like that high? That was pretty good, right? Yeah. So at level 35 archaeology is actually really neat because you get nothing at all. Uh, this is just a filler clip. You've been bamboozled. <laughs> so we just got the last crest of Dagon that we needed. I just think Oblivion every time. Here's an Oblivion clip. Ah, yes. Strike do again, again. Ah, ah. Do it, do it. I'm, ah. Do it, do it, do it. That was an Oblivion clip. So now we can do this. I was using the level 20 spots for such a long time before somebody told me I had to use it to level 24. And then they said there was a different play. I didn't even know this was here. Thank you, Twitch chat. You are amazing. Study sacrificial altar. Let's do that. Oh, that looks pretty cool. That's so metal, dude. Need to earn the assistant qualification before you can manage a research team. Right. I forgot. I know nothing about this game. Let's see. Uncover fiery brimstone. 45? Bruh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Q. There we go. Level 29. All right. Wait, my filler clips. All right. We just got level 40 archaeology. Did not expect that. Level 40 in all skills. Uh, this was a wonderful little filler clip, wasn't it? I don't think we get anything at that, right? But at two more levels, we get a new place to hang out at. Oh, and the Adamatic. Okay, let's go. Let's actually add that before I forget, because I know I will. Oh, it always feels so good. Yes! Happy December 1st. I have to pick a present from the advent calendar. I didn't know this was a thing. I definitely didn't know it was a thing for Iron Man. Select the present to see what's inside. Let's do that. Six combat training dummies. Iron Man cannot claim this prize. <laughs> Filler clip! My, my girlfriend's in the other room talking to people on uh, Zoom and I just shouted filler clip. Anyways, that's 42 archeology. span um, We can now go to a different site. Let's see if it tells us. I think Everly. We can go to Everly. Somebody told me this is the lighthouse. I don't know what that means. So we might go do that now. We might go do something else. I don't know, man. I gotta get, I gotta get these filler clips. I gotta get these filler clips so I can do something fun, make a fun video, you know. I wanna upload more videos, but I, these progress series take so long to, to record. Maybe we gotta bring back Q the memes or something. We're gonna go check out that archaeology place now. Okay, this is the hey Vanescula. Looking good. You work out? Oh god, things that should never be said. I guess it's over here. Hey, we just got a we just got a left tetra compass piece. I don't know what it is, but my chat told me it's filler clip worthy. Archaeology is equivalent to clue scroll, so I'm gonna keep it. All right, I got a nice filler clip. I got something very special for you today. We've got some Iceine remain and a frying pan. Now this is very ancient technology. Uh, apparently used to cook crack rocks on them, but we're going to try and rebury them and see what happens. I was told this would be great filler clip content. I uh, felt like a good deed done. I should inform Vanescula back at Everly Base Camp. Oh, 2K Archaeology XP. Hey, gotta love those filler clips. Filler. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I moved the mouse on my trackpad as quickly as I could 
to show you this uh, incredible opportunity. We just got 45 archaeology, which means we've unlocked this dungeon debris. This dungeon, which dungeon is it? This, it's this one. It's this, do you, do you get it? No. All right, so here's the 45 arc place, but the real purpose of this clip, it's not, it's not just filler. I would like to know how this man is a water fiend following him. All right, advent calendar day number two. Let's give it up for day number two. What did I get today? You must relog before trying to open any more doors in the advent calendar. Fuck. Okay, advent calendar day number two. Today's the third. Oh, I get two presents today. Large prismatic stars. Iron Man cannot claim this prize. Okay. Day number three. Let's get 200 magic. Nope. Iron Man cannot claim this prize. Why? 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 Today, I'm thinking I'm going to go back to Harmonic Dust. And uh, because I'm 97, I am 97 crafting. I'm probably going to start working on that just because we're so close. What is this? The fishing rod automatic. I forgot about that. We could definitely use that too for work on, to work on fishing a little bit. Fishing's 93, so that's kind of close. I've always liked fishing. I don't know why. Divination could definitely do. I also want to work on mining and smithing. It's, it's, it's just so much stuff I could do. For once, I finally managed to turn on the recording in time for a filler clip to happen. We just got 98 crafting. We can now make Ganodermic ponchos. Does anybody even use Ganodermic anymore? I remember that was uh, that was all the rage back in my day. I feel like I'm 100 saying that. Oh, it's mage tank armor. Loser. I'm getting about 50,000 XP an hour. I think a little less than that. Yeah, that's going to take a while. How much do I have? 1.22 mil XP. Oh, God. Math. I'm crunching the numbers. I'm, I'm running the figures. I'm doing the calculations. I'm Three weeks later. This is all mental math right now. One, two, two, eight. Many months later. Four, seven, eight. Divided by... Oh. So much later that... Everyone died! Uh, 27 hours? Bruh. I think something happened to the dragon. Yes, I got the recording on 85 construction. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just did 100 squats on the stream. Did we get anything cool? Have they updated construction since I left? I doubt it. Tokzil, I don't remember that being in there. Five mil. Who got that kind of money? Nighthouse lighting? Night house lighting. What, is, what does that mean? Well, chat, we have a special surprise today. Muses is getting maxed right behind me in the name of harps. Why? Because, uh, well, Muses was going to max and get comp at the same time. But then they said uh, that they would max right now. They're 98 fishing. Oh, and there it is. What the f was that? What? Tractor has just achieved at least level 99 in all skills. Hey, Cletus, get the butt tractor. We're training farming. Yeah! Hello, people of YouTube land. I oh. Anyways, I went ahead and tanned all that leather. It's just about 1600 green leather and 300 black leather left. And I already made 67 royal dragon hide bodies, 190 black dragon hide shields. And uh, I just I just want to make this clip so we can track this a little better. I'm at, let's see, crafting XP, 583,000. I will let you know what I'm at when I finish all those dragon hides. Two hours later. All right, we just finished all the leather, made 424 green dragon uh, hide shields. I don't know if I had any to begin with, honestly. And total of 266 black dragon hide. I also spent an hour because it was Ithel hour doing harps. The XP you, you see here is not completely accurate. 365,000 to go. Bro is temporary. Bruh is forever. Hey, I am Iron Man now, and Fear told me, he's in my chat, I can mine gemstones and uh, cut them for crafting XP. And he says it's about 80K an hour. So if he's wrong, I want everybody to go TP his house. Thank you. So it turns out I'm an idiot. Well, duh. I have a bank tab full of uncut gems. <laughs> All right, we just finished all the gems in my bank. That was a lot of gems. Let's see. Uh, God, that's a lot of gems, man. 705 diamonds. Jeez. And hang on, hang on, hang on. The organization. Okay, now we have two, uh, 211,000 XP left. Does this uh, player model look familiar to you at all? This was the man that was featured in the Ra Rash, whatever that boss is called. And he just got 99 wood cutting. Congratulations, my friend. Look at him chopping at my dog. What the hell is it? Why is he sacrificing my dog for 99 wood cutting? I'll end you! I just unlocked the worst teleport. You can all stop yelling at me in the comment section now. Thank you very much.
Hello, everybody, and welcome to Loot from 89 Crystal Keys video. Video. Uh, uh, uh. I'm Today, we're going to open up 89 uh, uh, boxes that need crystal keys because I don't know which ones they are. I'm hoping we're going to figure that out soon, though. We're going to start with pulling out seven. All right, we've got 89, and we're going to take this one step at a time. I've heard you can do it in Taverly and Priftinus. And we're going to do this in Priftinus. So let's go there and find out where that damn box is and what it's called. First casket. Here we go. Whoa. I can just bank them. Oh, it's easy scape. I forgot. I got the same damn thing. Huge belated rune salvage. Ooh, that's kind of small. Absolutely. No idea what I'm supposed to do with that. Many months later. 1.5 mil. Nice. Not including the crystal tree blossoms, which were appraised at a much higher price. Well, I'm using these urns now. I had 70 mining urns in my bank, and they're actually pretty useful. They're, they give 625 XP. They, they fill on their own. They get used on their own. I mean, it didn't used to be like that three years ago, and it's really quick now. Um, and that's, I think this was like 46,000 additional mining XP just for you, just for having these in my inventory. It was really easy. Anyways, I wanted to open up these igneous rocks as well. Uh, I found some jade. I found some dragon stone. Hey, that's crafting XP. And a spirit shard. And more dark garbage. <laughs> more strippers. Uh, jade's a stripper name. That's funny. Hey, we just got 83 agility. I was in the middle of training crafting when someone in my chat banned the ability to train crafting for five minutes. Oh, after so many years, I've mastered the harp. I've finally become an expert harp player, my friends. Thank you for watching me play the harp for so many years. I, uh, I've toured all around the world, played the harp at the best shows, and now I can finally say that I have 99 harp playing. Oh, crafting? What? I've been training the wrong skill the whole time! Woo! Woo! Check that one off the list. What do we get from that? Elder Pyre ships. Yes! That's what I wanted! Okay, I'm sorry. We can't we can't move on without showing you the 115,000 harmonic dust I gathered. I'm pretty sure this is the culmination of essentially 75 to 99 crafting. I just opened up a metamorphic geode and I got nine concentrated alloy bars. That's pretty neat. I was told uh, that you use these to make masterwork armor. I'm pretty sure that's it. And now I have 13. I don't know how many I need, though. Oh, I also need 99 smithing. Uh, so we're basically almost there, if you don't think about it. And on the very last inventory slot, on the very first... Actually, I probably won't even get one. Oh, that was supposed to be the level up the first time. Just got level 86 Minecrafting. That should be the new name of the skill. Improved Bayonet Rocks, double ore mining. Oh, shoot, really? Yeah. Does that mean I get double ores every time now? Oh, also, I unlocked the Wars Teleport. You already knew that. This is just a filler clip. <laughs> so I went ahead and made 167 decorated mining urns, uh, and they are already put the earth runes in them. Um, and I, I made the, I came to the realization that there's really no point in me doing that. Yeah, they give me extra mining XP, but the time it takes to make them, I might as well have just been mining. I mean, I, I probably missed out on 50, maybe even 100,000 mining XP in the time it took me to make all these urns. Plus, I'm already 99 crafting, so it's not like I'm getting crafting XP. Okay, I already made all the bars I need, and I deposited them here. So let's try and figure out how to uh, augment my pickaxe. It's not really augment. Oh, here it is. So base plus one, two, three, four. Okay, and I just need the Bane pickaxe plus three and 16 Bane bar. 16! Bruh. And then four, and then two. Okay, all right, so I've, I've got plenty. I think. And so basically what this does with each plus one, I looked, uh, looked this up on the wiki. I know. I feel like a nerd again. Each plus one gives me one extra mining damage. It's still a strange concept to me that I'm attacking the rocks. Please refer to my anime uh, edit of me beating up the orcalcite rock. Critical swing. Nani? Anyways, each plus one adds plus one minimum damage and plus one max damage as I mine for an overall average increase of plus one. How that affects my XP rates and my ore gathering, I have absolutely no idea. There it is, just made the plus four. 
15 pickaxe. I'll let you know if I notice a difference, but I highly doubt it. Also, I think you can just buy and sell the plus fours. Let's see. Oh yeah, 128K for that. Rock penetration. Don't think about it too much. Okay, I want you to look closely and tell me what you see is weird about this picture. It's Rocky. That was pretty cool. That was uh, 86 mining. Nice, dude. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the screen. I see the mic at the freaking mining pit. Rocky. There he is. Look at him. Nice. So I looked into the mimic kill token we just got. I want to see what kind of rewards you can get. I remember the, the mimic coming out a, a long time ago and I actually fought it. I think I killed it once or twice. I looked and the rewards really don't seem that worthwhile. It's nothing too special. It's, uh, I mean, the best you can get for killing it on like elite mode are some cool looking weapon overrides, but there's really nothing like the, honestly, I think you can get some scrimshaws too, but I don't, I don't think that's that worth it. Uh, and that actually reminds me, we should probably start doing ports again. I don't know how much bossing we're going to be able to do, but horse would be nice for like a tier 85 range weapon. Also, I was told that um, there's some Slayer you can do in the wilderness for a tier 87. Not so sure how often we're going to be doing Slayer, especially in the wilderness, but we'll see. So we're here at ports, right? My check convinced me that I should start doing ports again. I mean, I, I want to do ports. I just kept forgetting to do it. So let's go check out these ships. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's all coming back to me. I think the interface here is a little different, but the missionary position one, that's my favorite. Oh, let me check and see what I was going for before, because I don't remember. Also, I don't remember how to check that. Hmm. I think it's in here. Uh, oh, I was going for the Death Lotus darts. OK, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Death Lotus assless chaps. All right, that's next on the list. 12,000 in seafaring. 69. Hey, hey. <laughs> yes, boys. Don't do it. I'm a virgin. Going for it. 92 fletching. I'm at 80. Ha! Huh? I need ancient bones. Oh, that's it? Oh, I missed it. I got 88 mining. Oh, so sad. Increased stamina when mining. We're going to switch it up just a little bit. I promised the stream that if we got 88 mining today, we're going to go do some archaeology. Plus, there's some really great words that I was, I've been told you need like 115 plus archaeology to get. But to be fair, like, what else am I doing? You know what I mean? Like, what what else am I doing? I might as well try and get it. So I want to say a quick thank you to uh, Jamal and Brotag for being um, great supporters in the stream. I really appreciate you guys. And I appreciate everyone that watches. And with these manacles, I still don't know what those are. Here it is. I just got level 50 archaeology rune. Oh, great. We can put the rune medic on and get another... Another, uh, what's that guy's name? Plankton clip. That's great. I forgot. I didn't even, actually didn't even notice. We just hit level 2400. At least I got that before, but that's my virtual level. I still have two more until I'm actually 2400. So does it give me two notifications when I get this one? Okay, that's weird. Okay, let's cue the plankton clip. Yeah. Oh, actually, one more thing before the plankton. Um, I got the Tetra Compass piece dial, so I think, I think we're almost done with it i think about uh halfway so we've got three pieces now i'm pretty sure that somebody said there was six yes i just got a pro uh prodromoi prodrom prodromoi buckler i don't know why everything is so hard in this game to pronounce and uh i was told this is filler clip worthy i don't know what the hell i'm supposed to do with it but uh, we're gonna hold on to it i i, I was told that you get three of them so yeah, we'll figure that out. I guess I'll look it up later. Uh, in the meantime, been been doing a little archaeology. I'm at level 52 now. So I was having a look through the Herblor skill, and apparently you can make bombs. I can make a straight up sticky bomb. I didn't know this was Modern Warfare. <laughs> what the hell are you doing with a sticky bomb? Just wanted to come here and see where the nice overloads are. Adrenaline Renewal Potion 4, Improved Recipe plus 2. Jeez, what the... I'm getting constipated reading these. Okay, I found it. It's uh, under combination. Thank you, chat, by the way. Uh, 106, for example, is the highest overload you get. Elder Overload takes a Supreme Overload with Primal Extract, Clean Fell Stock. Don't know what Primal Extract is. Pretty sure it's the stuff under your taint. You nasty. Supreme Overload Potion. I think this is it. Okay, so to make a Supreme Overload Potion, you need an Overload. Four. Super Attack, Super Strength, Super Defense, Super Magic, and Super Range Potion. So I also got a complete tome, and I read on the wiki that I have to come here to complete it. 5700, I think it was. I accidentally misclicked the harp which was, yeah, definitely that, you know, it sounds like something I would do. This was the scroll for, um, what the hell, the, ugh, darts. 
for darts. We only need two more, including this one. So let's see. Yes, we got it. All right, we just need one more. And then 92 fletching. Easy. It's been three years since I've opened the clam. This clam has had three years to ferment. So I better get some amazing... I want to die out of this. Ah! Let's take a look at the 119 farming unlock. Money tree. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! This is going to be the first time I've done combat in three years. We're starting off with some troll invasion in a six. Jeez, man, QWE. Ah, this is, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Duke Nukem's gonna blast my shit. I just spent, honestly, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes uh, making the ritual dagger and imp mask and a couple other things, but I already turned them in. So we can complete this collection because this is the only thing that was standing in the way uh, of me becoming, I think, a, an associate, or no, assistant. I decided to record this just in case there are people watching that are as confused about this game as I am. Once you unlock uh, one of the titles, like, so I'm an assistant now, now I'm able to manage my own research teams, uh, quote unquote, and I can like go ahead, I think this one's just free, so I get a thousand uh, arc XP for researching it, and I can harness more energy from the monolith, I have no idea what that means, so go ahead and you need to assign a researcher before you can do this, okay. We got Jimmy and Scarlet, and uh, they're highlighting Jimmy, which clearly means Scarlet got this position for unknown reasons. Although we all know why she got it. <laughs> you wait patiently for your team return. And that takes 30 minutes? Or are they already done? Nope, they're already done. I got 3k XP for that one. Ah, okay, now I have actual other things I can do. And so you pay them with the chronos that you get by giving the collectors some of the crap you find while doing archaeology. I was told about the uh, archaeology guild shop. As an assistant now, I can upgrade the soil box. Instead of holding 50, now I can hold 100. I can also upgrade the material storage to 30 per item, matic precision to uh, 2. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the f*** is that? We are finally building the lodestone to Anaconda Island. I found out that I'm an idiot again. Well, duh. I was already at the dig site. And then I decided to teleport to Varrock to run all the way back to the dig site to get on the boat. Nice. Hey, so we're at the dinos and I just got an elite clue scroll. Wow. I think this was the uh, one, two, three, four, five, sixth kill. And we got an elite. It's pretty neat. I was told this is a one in 300 drop rate. So I'm pretty much going to poop myself. What is what is this garbage? America, explain. I just got the totem. Oh, nice. OK, we're done. We're done killing the dinos. Okay, we got the totem. We got the totem. 79 dino kills. One out of 300. Pretty good. Right, we got it, boys. We finally did it. This took, this took five minutes. No joke. Literally five minutes. I'm like, I'm super good at BGH. I had no idea how good I was. Uh, if you came and watched this on Twitch, probably got some good laughs. Maybe we'll get a clip or two in here. But uh, that's, our, that's our kill. We needed to do this for the Lanica mini quest so I can unlock the rest of the totem. Yeah, and now I know how BGH works, and I also know, and everyone else that watched today knows that I am literally in impressively fan phenomenally terrible. No shit. I just wanted to show you this quick clip. I didn't show you the other one earlier. I, I got the storehouse for the uh, Anaconda Island, boost my uh, uh, material storage up to 25,000 or resources. And now I'm going to go ahead and get the sleeping quarters, which will allow me to assign 15 workers. I currently have 10. Uh, this will bump that up to 15, just make things a little quicker. And after that, uh, I think I'm going to go with the Hunter Lodge just because I'm going to, I'm probably going to do a little uh, BGH hunting uh, or look BGH grinding for that uh, Dragon Matic. It's only a one in 101 drop rate for the Dragon Matic, which really isn't that bad. So I'm probably just going to grind that out uh, over winter break, which is starting in two days. I'm almost on winter break, which is really nice. I've been working on this for a long time today. I made 54,000 headless arrows. Uh, and that is for the sake of fletching. I'm only level 80 fletching. Uh, I got, I think, 75,000 XP making these 54,000 uh, headless arrows, which was a lot. I used almost all the feathers I had in the bank. And this is going to go on to my 52,000 broad arrowheads. 787,000 uh, XP, which is not a lot, considering I need 4.4 million for 92. Wow. But I have to show you something else. I have 63,000 maple logs. So if I made these all in a short bows, that would be 300. Oh, God. 3,195,000 XP. <laughs> and that still wouldn't even be enough for 92 fletching. Jeez. OK, if I made them into long bows, which is 58 XP, this isn't assuming I'm stringing them. Either. That would be 3.7 million. 
plus 700. Okay, that would put me over the, the 92. I literally have to make 63,000 longbows uncut. Uh, yikes. See, I'm not going to be using all my maple logs because collect your resources. Let's see. <laughs> what? Wait, only I only got 13,000 maple logs? No, yeah, that's that. Oh my god. Oh, oh! Just got 90 rock hitting and we unlocked the light and dark animica, which I will not be able to mine. Well, I can mine it now, but I won't be mining until level 91 mining uh, because then I, I think you get... Um, Enhanced uh, uh, something, I don't know. We've just gotten 60 archaeology and level 60 in all skills now, finally. Uh, so now we can use the Orichalcum or Dragon Matic. This is going to start our BGH grind. We've all been there, buddy. It's going to be okay. Don't mind me just hanging out with all the cool kids here in wars. Got these rock pets. I'm making this clip, not because it's filler, but because I made 61,000. 500 broad arrows and that took me from level 81 to 84 fletching i just want to take a look to see if i got anything the answer is no that was a lot of levels unfortunately i still need 3.3 million xp the 92 this is rough i have i just sent out a mission earlier uh for a ship that will get me a couple of uh, ancient bones or whatever they're called i'm still missing that one scroll piece so i can't make them anyways uh, even if i had 92 fletching but i'm trying to try to get this up as quickly as possible i'm on Winter break starting tomorrow. I got one test left. Coming for you, buddy. You too. You, uh, well, maybe, maybe not. All right, okay, 87. I just got, you just barely, I barely got in there. We got 87 fletching. Five fletching levels yesterday. I didn't show you, I don't think. But uh, this is 87. We now get the bolus, and this is what I've always wanted. I saw the blowpipe. I, I saw that on the wiki. I thought that was a little strange. Uh, drop rate's like 1 in 20,000 for the individual pieces. A little ridiculous. I can definitely boost to 92 if I want to go ahead and make the darts now. Still don't have any ancient bones. I failed that one mission I was trying. I will I'll keep trying. Also, I don't have the complete scroll yet. Uh, I am on winter break now. I just finished my third semester of medical school, which means I am now 37.5% a doctor. Uh, you can refer to me as that uh, henceforth, or you can just call me Quest, that's fine. Uh, but for now, I want to try and do some less AFK things while I'm on break. I've got uh, two weeks, so I'm going to try and do ED3 today. It doesn't look that bad. I watched a video by, I think his name is Laser Shark. It seems like really great uh, GP. There are coin drops too, uh, but definitely great uh, XP. In that guide that I was talking about, he suggested using the Demon Horn Necklace, which is going to restore some prayer. Uh, by burying bones, but that'll happen automatically with the bone crusher. Bossy McBossy face is currently beating my ass. And I want, cause I want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> You've come to the wrong place. <laughs> I had to check. This is the chest. I had to check the chest after that miserable attempt. And we got 255k worth of junk. Amazingly, I've been able to... Kill Bossy McBossy Face for a 32k XP drop. Oh my god, there's so many skeletons. <laughs> there's so many. If you don't move, they can't see you. We're having another Max party today. It's Feels Max Man. There it is. Oh my god, that's a lot of levels. That's a lot of damage. This is my first time killing this boss. It's gonna go swimmingly. <laughs> I'm just, I gotta go this way though. I know that. Ouch. <laughs> it still hit me a 4k. Why? It hit me again. 8k nice i mean i didn't think this would be possible uh to carry three noobs two noobs but i did it all on my own and i got 5,000 engineering tokens hey that's pretty good filler clip level 93 range i'm sorry i promised i was going to stop saying filler clip you're, you're about to watch bossy mick big bossy face get annihilated uh by me and me alone the xp rates here are crazy so long as i'm actually able to click on the enemies uh, if not, I get like 100 XP. Yeah, I can hear you. No, you can't. Just got 94 range. Just some crazy XP rates, man. Okay, so we just got enough supplies to upgrade uh, and get the Hunter Lodge. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that. And that gives us an extra chance of getting additional resources while doing big game Hunter. Most of what I want is the remove a frog type. That's really going to help. And also the, the big game creatures take an extra 2.4 seconds to catch you. That would definitely be really nice, but 60,000. Oh, God, why? Could you look at the size of her boys? She's marvelous. It looks like they found a bigger boat for Jaws 
Anyways, we're here at the uh, I actually still have no idea where we are, but I was doing some BGH and I needed to get some raw manta rays and sailfish. And uh, I'm waiting for the chat to explain to me how this works. Uh, but apparently this is where you do it. It's from the fishing guild. I had no idea about this. So I, I literally learned something Yay. cool about RS every day. We finally found the next dino. And uh, I gotta say, he's big, isn't he? What the fuck did you just fuck say about me? You little bitch. I forgot to take a look inside the chest. We did about two hours of ED3 yesterday. And I want to take a look and see what kind of treasures we got from that. Okay, where do I start? Jeez. 1.3 mil cash is pretty nice. And all these reef relics, I think they can break down into invention components, but they can also be elked. And honestly, I'll probably elk them since I'm a little low in cash right now, only about six mil. The dark animica stone spirits will be nice. Let's, uh, black stone arrow tips. Okay. I, yep. Don't know what that is. Oh, and 20 onyx dust. I, I think onyx dust is new. I think you need a hundred and you get a whole onyx, which is pretty cool. That should save me some time in kiln. Uh, if I just keep doing this and some water tails. Okay. It's not bad. So it's valued at six mil. Jeez. I just did uh, this BGH without surging. Apparently that's an achievement. I was challenged by chat. Actually, he banned uh, surging for five minutes and it almost took five minutes. So it's pretty good. He did it and he's dead. And I'm hoping I get a medic to really complete the filler clip, but I don't think that's going to happen. Sometime today, junior. There is the achievement. No medic though. That's okay. That's okay. So I was just hunting some dinos and I got this here, the compass arrow. Oh wait, no, I'm missing. I'm missing some pieces. Well, I guess I can't turn that in yet. I was told that this can be traded in for 25, yeah, 25 hunter marks. Um, but I, I, again, I'm missing some pieces. And this is this is where I can buy quick traps, which would be really useful. 50 hunter marks. Just killed a dino and I got a totem of the abyss middle. I just got my first Vindicta kill in a very long time. That was a struggle. I had to relearn the mechanics. I'm gone. Do you think I you think I'm staying? Yeah, you're wrong. So I was doing some Anaconda agility after after some Vin Diesel. I uh, didn't get anything of Vindicta, but I did just get our first codex page, uh, which is progress towards double surge, which would be really nice for big game hunter and pretty much just everything in the game. We are in business. I just got the last scroll for the death lotus darts. So now that that's complete, I still I still need to get the bones. I don't have any bones. I think lacquer is actually important if, if I want to make the upgraded, the elite death lotus darts, which is a thing now. It wasn't three years ago. I didn't know that. We just killed a bunch more dinos and now we can finally unlock the quick traps. So I'm streaming right now. We're doing some Vindy. We're doing it with Stellaro. Uh, thank you, by the way. It was Breton's birthday today. At Breton and SDS birthday. Well, SDS was yesterday, like four minutes, five minutes ago. Uh, so I just want to wish them a happy birthday. A few moments later. I got Zerosian Essence. Got a bit of a special surprise feed today. Not really. Uh, but I just finished. Uh, oh, actually, I should check how many big game hunters I've done. I've done quite a few. Most of them with the Ring of Fortune on. And uh, no luck so far, but we did just get ED Hunter. And is this a totem? Hey, look at that totem of summoning base. I've gotten three of these so far. I didn't even show you one. So I just completed another BGH and I actually just got the reinforced dino pelt, which is apparently this is it's a very rare drop. It can be used to upgrade the Hunter Lodge to tier three. That's really useful because at tier three, it gets rid of one of the three frogs, which just makes this even easier. We did it, gentlemen. We just got two ancient bones, which means I can finally make some death lotus starts. We've got the scroll, we've got the ancient bones. I have ascension shards in the bank. I literally just need 92 fletching, but I'm pretty sure I can boost that since I have 87. Quick shout out to the Discord, by the way. Thanks to Gaiwiji. We have a newly revamped Discord. You're welcome to come check it out. There's a link in the description. I finally killed the dino, the Bagrata Rex. Uh, you do not want to know. What I suffered through to be here. Um, if you watched on Twitch, you know. I need this guy's meat so I can do the tier two dinos. I had a feeling I wouldn't get meat. Uh, and here it is, so I can. Oh, oh wait, I just got the drag. I just got the dragmatic. Oh. Okay. Well. Um. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I, I guess I. I guess I'm done here. Okay. Hello. Welcome to Weird RS Conversations. God of War 814. I wish I was a dildo. Yasi Island. Same, bro. This has been Weird RS Conversations.
And that would be 91 Rock Punishing. This would be when I would actually switch over to Mining Animica, but I still can't because I need to get 90 Smithing in order to actually be able to use any of that ore. I can't even make the new pickaxe yet, unfortunately. And I don't even think I have enough to get 85 Smithing and then boost plus five to get the pickaxe. All the ores and bars I had pre-mining smithing rework are pretty much useless now, unfortunately. And yes, I know I forgot my ore box. I'm a loser. 1814, total level. He died to a laboratory slime. This dude just died to flubber. Finally completed the Lanica mini quest. This was the worst mini quest I've ever done in my entire life. So I'm here at Demonheim. Before I go to uh, Grador, I already charged up the totem. I'm going to get a ring of vigor. So this will give me 10% adrenaline after I alt. I'm considering getting an offhand chaotic crossbow and then just doing all death lotus darts in the main hand. That way we save darts and I can I can just make more in one sitting. So I can have 50 main hand instead of 25 25 main and offhand. I think I don't need to actually make the complete stew. I just needed some orange spice, uh, you know, the Powerpuff Girls, whatever they can, what is this, sugar spice, everything. E we got the boost. We got the boost on the very last stew I had. Got craft. Before it runs out. No, it ran out. Oh, God, why? Hey, gang, we're out here at uh, Shattered Worlds, and I'm trying to get the Blade of Dive ability, uh, which is, you get through this uh, mini game here, and I'm doing the weekly challenge right now. That's why there's so many automata i might also try and get the salt in the wound i'm not sure yet don't know how but i able i was able to finish the last one kill 50 knights with a single monk fish left those bombs man those bombs really they do a, they do a number you cannot progress until you have completed your main objective oh shit. here we go again we got to world 26 of shattered worlds let me show you how much anima we got unfortunately the timer's in the way but we got 10 million, 400,000, that's with the 7.5 million from the weekly challenge, so it's not too bad. We're starting to get some, some actual anima now, so it's going, it's going pretty well. So I'm here at Zilly doing my uh, Reaper task, and um, while I'm doing this, I wanted to mention I got up to 83 smithing, and I still have like 2,000 Bainite bars left over. I severely overestimated how many bars it would take me to get to 85 for that boost. I, for some reason, I thought, well, you know, if I need 4,200 for 90, I'll, I'll need 24 or 2,100 for 85. Nope. I forgot. XP's not linear. Soon I'll be able to go ahead and, and make that Elder Rune pickaxe of an after. My fellow clips, we just made a clan and literally like a clan in RS3. If you want to join the clan, just find one of our clan members in game. They will invite you. Um, and I said literally because the clan is called the filler clips. We had a vote. We put it in our discord and uh, filler clips won out by a few votes. Coming in close though was Questo Clan and Doug. You ever do trash runs with a level 43? This is a lot of fun. We just got level 95 Ranger Man and I actually just hit level 101 and I'm not gonna die on stream. 101 heart skill and 95 Ranger Man. Just finished up a few trash runs. I think we did three or four and uh, got about a mil worth of alkables. That's not too bad. Dragon Longsword. I don't want to know if that's a rare drop or not. Adding paper to the Christmas cracker gives you construction XP. And I have 24,557. So let's see how much that gives me. 135k. Oh, that's it? I can only add 15. Ah, huh, okay. Well, still, that's a lot of construction XP. Hey, a level of 86. Okay. Well, I missed a level earlier. But I hope this makes up for it. Just got 86 bar beating and uh well let's see i mean i still have a ton of ores left smelt bane bar is 25 percent faster that's pretty nice let's just before before you finish this one no closure for you i have 1400 bane bars left this is crazy go crazy ah, 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 go stupid ah, ah, go crazy go stupid ah, 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 go you can see in my inventory i'm making one of every item so that i can make the burial set i currently get plus seven percent uh XP boost on making the entire set. Also, I've almost completed the entire blacksmith's outfit. I just need one more. I just need the helmet and I'll be getting plus 6% smithing XP. I just need 50% uh, respect for that. And then I can work on getting um, the rest of the boosts for the burial armor XP. I think I think I only have the plus two right now. And I, I don't know what it goes. I think it goes up to plus five or something like that. Okay, just getting our last blacksmith's outfit piece. There's something wrong with this picture here. When a parent tells you no, you gotta respect that, but Drake just does whatever you... To make a long story short, I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. Uh, who is this guy? 
Just got to 97 Ranger Man mode. We got, to, I just finishing up some uh, ED3 with uh, Matey and uh, Rad, AKA the Brady Bunch. And I got two levels today and all of this, 4.2 mil worth of alcohols. I just finished up uh, another Shattered Worlds run and we're now at 35.8 million. I did the, uh, the weekly. I don't know how, but every, I've done two weekly so far. And each time I use up about three quarters of my food and the first five monsters. And then I, I'm able to make the last quarter last the entire, I don't know how I do it. We just completed Evil Dave's big day out. That took a surprising amount of time and that was one hell of an acid trip, I gotta say. There were talking rats at one point. And I was Dave. Dave's now his mom. His mom's Dave. It was a weird story. This will let me catch the rats uh, freehand now. So the spices have a better chance of actually increasing my stats now, which is really great. As with all craftable items in the workshop, boosts will not work when making them. We just got 90 wood. I see wood cutting is a different skill. Um, hmm. Wood knifing? Sure. And that is completely unimportant. This is a filler clip. I need, still need 92. But we actually get quite a lot of stuff at 90. Keep, I keep getting my 9,000 dailies and it's, I mean, we're getting there. I have a hundred, I've made 161,000 broad arrows and I still need like, I think another 10 days or so if I were to not use any of my maple logs up. My roll crossbow is level 14. <laughs> Woo, XP wasted, look at me. All right, let's so go ahead and siphon that. All right, well, that's level 78. Uh, inventor man we decided to do some necks on stream uh come check out the stream by the way twitch.tv forward slash quest of good and uh yeah we're gonna see how this goes it is christmas eve and we are going to do some racks i am prepared for the longest kill of my life i got my uh prayer switches ready rocking the real crossbow oh it's i forgot how green it is in here no ah bold that's fine ah! oh no no oh i forgot that happens too oh, wait no no we killed Rex. I have three rock tails left. I use <laughs> that was rough. I, uh, you know, brush the cobwebs off. <laughs> Spiders. Uh, and I got garbage. What a surprise. Actually, that's a flushing XP right there. Kill number two after dying. Uh, this is my second, my, this is my third attempt, technically. I have one more for the Reaper task. Will I be able to do it? I have no idea. Let's see, anything good. We got the Araxite pheromone. That was the worst kill of my life. Okay, let's get it. It's good. Why? I don't understand why every boss in this game has to drop stone spirits, but whatever. Merry Christmas. It is Christmas today. It's Christmas. I managed to get all the way to 89 smithing, 131k away from 90, so I can't make Eldarune, but I can boost to make it. So let's go ahead and boost. Hopefully I get that. It went down. Uh. Okay, good. 93. So let's go ahead. We can make the Eldarune bars now. I don't know how many I need for the pickaxe. I'm making them pickaxe right now, but then I'm going to make the Eldarune uh, or box too. We'll have to deal with the Elder Room pickaxe plus two for now. There we go. Just got 90 metal beating finally. I, you know, it turns out I actually had enough Bainite bars uh, in the uh, smithing bank to do that. But I went and mined one extra set just so I could make uh, one last burial set with the Bainite uh, ores that I had. So now we can, I can actually upgrade that pickaxe some more. I don't know why I did that boost. I thought, I thought I needed a lot more. I guess not. You might be wondering why I'm mining or beating up the phasmatite rocks. And that's because I just completed the everything is awesome <laughs> achievement. So now our ore box should be able to hold 20 more of every type of ore, which is pretty neat. First Rax kill of the day. Yes, it went about as poorly as you thought it did. Nice. Second Rax kill of the day. Actually, new personal best, nine minutes and seven seconds. It's okay, you can laugh and Bainite Stone Spirits. Third kill of the day and new personal record, 831. You know what really made this one faster? Is I just face tank two 5K hits. I'm telling you, you gotta face tank them. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, 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 hmm. All right, cool. I have killed nine Araxi and I have two leg pieces. Easy 13 minute kill, first one of the day. That was that was absolutely atrocious. I don't know why the uh, acid just took so long. 600 U-logs, that's some good flushing XP right there. Took a death because somebody banned the ability to use abilities. Thank you, Lardo, I hate you. And nothing. All right, third kill of the day. Probably gonna call it here, let's be honest. That one wasn't too bad though. Lance. 
Not to be confused with Lance. Third Rex kill of the day, new personal best, and I just got two uncut onyxes. So that means I'll be recharging my Amulet of Souls, Fortunate, which is at 24%. And I think I might use this to make a Ring of Death. All right, just completed the Hydrix. Next up, I need to add a gold bar to it. No, I don't want bold tips. Oh my God. Regular Hydrix ring it is. Here we go. And now I just need to enchant this. And now we have a. Ring of Death, there we go. So this gives me uh, basically a 50% chance to restore 5% adrenaline when a target is killed, which is pretty decent, but it also will save me on some death costs. But the real reason I made this for now is because I didn't feel like doing uh, the quest for Asylum Surgeon Ring, let's be honest. Next, I wanna get the Reaper Necklace for that uh, additional accuracy boost. I think you get 3% accuracy boost, which would be really nice against racks or necks when we go there. After many, many days of fletching, this Maple Shield Bow will take us to 92 fletching. Halfway there, according to the chat. That's a fantastic thing I wish they hadn't said to me. But we can finally make the Death Lotus darts. This is what I wanted. I mean it this time, it really is. I'm gonna make all the main hand Death Lotus darts for now since they only have two ancient bones. So that'll be 50 main hand Death Lotus starts. And I think I'm just gonna get the offhand Chaotic Crossbow for now. I'm pretty sure the offhand is just damage so that's not too bad i'm gonna make the criminal bolts for that one pair of pants later all right death lotus darts oh so nice to see all the green check boxes check marks you know what i mean there they are the death lotus darts all right so here's the offhand chaotic and it's got the same accuracy oh it's 20 percent. i forgot you have to repair it oh it's 20 percent just sight wasn't in the way oh god okay thank you this is our range setup for now. It's kind of kind of wacky looking. I'm not kidding when I say I learn something new about RuneScape every day, and I've been playing for like a month and a half now. Uh, there's a new Dungeoneering reward shop. I had no idea it's this person, and look at these crazy... I was talking about having no use for Dungeoneering tokens. There's some seriously cool stuff you can buy here, like you, the ability to make note paper. Elite Dungeoneering Outfit, I imagine that boosts your Dungeoneering XP. Plus four skill boost for all skilling doors in Dungeoneering. Plus 20% double boost, low double loot, giant bosses, oh my god. There are even ability codices, and there's a bunch of cosmetics, I'm pretty, I, I don't think any of this does anything. But this, right here, Death Lotus Extract, I am buying that, thank you very much. It's just one, so I think I'm gonna buy another, thank you very much. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Just need these and lacquer, which I have. I have four lacquer and the Death Lotus darts, and I can upgrade these to tier 88. Bro, are you serious? Like it just takes the it takes the accuracy from 2178 to 2343 and it increases the damage by like 30. Oh, I'm fing coming. Today, we we just got we went from tier 80 weapon to tier 87, just like that. I actually spent some time reading up on the wiki uh, trying to get some perks and I perked out the offhand. I also augmented my Pernix chaps because I use them for pretty much everything. I got Biting 2 and the Electric Shock 1, I can't remember the name of, 3. And I know I said I was gonna get some criminal bolts, and uh, you might be wondering why I have Onyx bolts enchanted here. First of all, I got these from Rax earlier today. Second of all, I spent like 30 minutes trying to get a fletching boost for plus one to get uh, the criminal bolts. Probably another 30 minutes trying to uh, find all the trees and cut them and fletch them. And then I get all the way to the wilderness bank at the mage arena and a rock turns into a person and beats me into a red pulp. <laughs> hey everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I just wanna make a quick shout out and thank all of the Twitch subscribers and my uh, first patron. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal, thank you, man. Appreciate you. And I want to let you guys know that I just opened up some uh, YouTube memberships and a new Patreon account if you guys want to support the channel that way. I'd love to keep making videos in the future. As uh, most of you know, by now I'm a, a medical student. I'm, I'll be a doctor in a couple of years. And I'd really like to keep making YouTube videos and uh, streaming on the side. So if you want to support the channel monetarily and uh, help me to continue to do that, I would really, really appreciate it. But please do not feel obliged to uh, support the channel monetarily. I don't want anybody going broke. You can if you want to uh, get a YouTube membership or support me on Patreon. That's really awesome. Uh, but if you can't, that's totally fine too. I completely understand. Uh, simply watching the videos and uh, if you have a YouTube account, um, subscribing and liking the videos is super helpful to me anyway. So 
uh, we can hopefully get some more people watching these vids because I put a lot of time in them and I'd love to uh, have more people watch them. And I do want to reiterate that I am very grateful for you guys just uh, just watching the videos. Thank you so much again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Quest complete. First kill of the day. I got to say the elite death Lotus starts. Oh, my God. I how many did I lose? Wait, where are they? Can I pick them up? Damn, dude. I good thing I didn't do 25 and 25. I'd be out. I think I need to get an accumulator. Let's just loot the body. Great. Second kill. I am struggling so hard today. I think it's just the path one. It's just doing a lot of damage. The minions are kind of intense, man. But I still need that first leg piece. Oh, we just got a blade of Nemoro drop. I was doing a Reaper task and we got a tier 85 weapon. What? Okay, that's cool. I don't know if anybody actually uses that, but that's pretty sick. So since we have the blade of Nemoro now and I don't feel like using an offhand uh, leaf bladed sword, I am going to use an Elder Rune offhand longsword, which by the way, the accuracy is pretty mental on this thing. Uh, but accuracy doesn't matter. So we just slap that on there. Oh, gosh, that's a what a setup that is. Oh, boy, I'm getting angina just looking at it. I just got a Zerosian essence. I literally picked it up. Didn't even didn't even know what it was. I just picked it up. It's crap. 92 attack. That is the Zeros God Sword. Can't wait to go throw that on in the bank after this. And wow, 90 strength, double filler clip. And you know what? I can do you one better. I actually just got 91 Dungeoneering right before this filler clip happened. It's not a filler clip. It's good content. It's levels, man. It's, it's free real estate. Just finished up. I think that was about an hour of ED3, 4.3 mil. Not too bad. Plus the rare reef relic. That's a mil and ounce right there. That's really good, actually. I'm here in Drainer Manor because I was working on animal magnetism, and that is finally done. So if you remember from an earlier clip, <coughs> I used... 21. Oh, <laughs> jeez! I used 21 elite death Lotus darts on a single kill. And I used fewer the next time because I was actively trying to pick them up and trying to ability spam. But now with the Ava's accumulator, hopefully I will not have to actually do that. I know, I know we're rocking the green backpack again. So I was doing a little bit of divination, actually complete a challenge. And I want to turn it on camera because that gives us 85 divination. I want to do some divination because I need these energies so I can get divine charges for my equipment now that I've added some more augments to different pieces of my uh, of my gear. And that actually unlocks a new site. I'm not really sure where that is. I got, oh, it's gone. I got 95. I got 95 mining. I got quite a few levels. I'm um, currently getting drunk on stream for New Year's Eve. Uh, but we got 95 mining, which is pretty cool. More light and dark animica storage. Oh, great. So now I can hold 140 in there. Fantastic. Back to the wine. Battle stamps are actually good. Wait, am I recording? I am. Battles. I'm. This is still a drunk stream. Uh, battle staves are good. Sixty nine. <laughs> yeah, I got sixty nine. Sixty nine is good because that's for invention. I need powerful components to make augments. So that's really good. I like that. Bank. Da -da. Still drinking. Not drunk. Uh, my dart disappeared. Okay. Rax. I. Oh. This clip is over. Da -da. It's getting worse. Still drinking. Okay. Open it up. It's a, it's a bunch of oh, overloads are actually pretty good. That's not bad. Da -da. Okay, now turn turn the camera. Turn here. How do I do that? Turn the camera with the arrow key. Oh you know, God. you you mine in the rocks. You mine in the rocks. You know. <laughs> hey, click there, click there. Wait, no, wait, wait, click, oh, click I'm there. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. You do fine. You do a good job. Okay, now click. Wait, wait, wait. Turn the camera so we can see over there. Oh, oh my God, I can't. No, well, no you're, doing, you're doing a good job. Hang on. No, 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 click on it. No way. Go ahead, go over there. No, go ahead, go over there. Go ahead, no. No, no, wait over there. Wait, click the period. Click the period. Hit the period. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, I thought we died. Doing a little Vindy post uh, drinking stream. I wasn't drunk though. And I got a dormant anima core helm. Reaper task for today is to kill Jad, but I think we're gonna do some kiln instead so I can finally get that um, that nice kiln melee cape. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be meleeing this. Plus I got the nice, got the nice blade of Namora, so it's gonna be great. I'm using War Priest though, and I'm just gonna use the bandos gloves and boots because I'm gonna be using those for the most part anyways. I Hope I won't regret that decision later. So it turns out I forgot to fill up my, uh, my, my, yeah. Uh, I keep, I don't have a yak. I don't even have a tortoise. My terror bird. I forgot to fill up the terror bird. So I turned vampirism on.
and we're gonna hope for the best. So I made it all the way to Haraken. I haven't died yet, but I have absolutely no food left, and I got some crystals. That's about it. Time to kick some booty. Twelve seconds later. I cannot believe you would not understand how clutch this entire this entire fight kiln has been. I was I think I was at camp at a thousand HP most of this. I used a constitution crystal. I thought it'd give me HP right away. It didn't. But then I I survived at a thousand HP for three minutes. And we and then it healed me, healed me to full when it ended. It was, it was the best thing ever. And somehow we did kiln with a terror bird that didn't have any food in it. That's all she wrote. Okay, here we go. What? What? <sighs> all right, after that disappointment at kiln, let's open up the oyster. And I'm still disappointed. I ran out just at five, six K. This is literally a filler clip. I just completed death to the Dorgashan. And if you're wondering why I did this, uh, so am I. I had to do this because I needed to get some mechanized enchampas, and this was the only quest requirement I had left, so I figured I might as well. I already went and hunted 100 carnivorous chinchampas, so I have, uh, I'll be able to make 100 mechanized chins. I'm here in the cave goblin area, and I just unlocked the goblin technology. Uh, it costs some kind of currency, and I need the tier two mechanized chinchampa, uh, and you get the currency by doing tasks on the technology notice board over here, so I'll, I'll have to figure that out. I finally have enough to upgrade the sleeping quarters to tier two and that'll give me 30 workers. So basically it'll make uh, resource gathering a lot quicker here. The next thing I wanna unlock is the Hunter Lodge tier two, and then I'll be going back to Town Hall tier three, and then I think probably Sleeping Quarters tier three, and then finally Hunter Lodge tier three, and that'll make Big Game Hunter really easy going forward. Well, after a couple of days, we can finally go ahead and make the mechanized chinchampas. This was uh, three sessions of 12 hours each. Let's go make some mechanized chins. Definitely going to get us a very, very quick remainder of our 99 range, 568K. I mean, that's probably like 30 minutes tops. I mean, maybe honestly more like 15 minutes. After a very long day of smithing and editing, I spent the whole day editing and smithing today. Uh, we finally now have 93 bar molding. We can now wield the terror or make the pterosaur mold. That's actually kind of cool that that exists. I wonder how rare that is. I haven't looked that up. Oh, it's tier 80. Just kidding. It's garbage. I think this is my third smithing level today. I started at 90. Yeah, so this is okay. Well, that's how math works. Let's take a look at how many bars I have left. Oh, okay. That's a lot of people. Jeez. We have 559 Elder Rune bars left. And today is the very last day of winter break. At about 20 minutes of using the mechanized chimichangas, we just got level 99 archery. Here in ED3, it was super quick. And I used actually 40. Uh, mechanized chimichanga. So it's really fast um, that I'm burning through these. I'm going to have to hunt some more when I need to do Shattered Worlds going forward and when I have to uh, do Ross in the future, which is actually probably going to be pretty soon considering smithing's already 93. Here's our first rack skill of the day. I still want to get a Nox. I want to get a Nox up and, and today's not that day. I got another fair Last kill of the day. It's been, that was a pretty decent one, actually. Uh, the bolts are really awesome. I love the ruby back bolts. I pretty much get a 12K or an 11K every kill now. It's really great. That's good summoning XP. 40,000 broad arrows later, we now have 93 log slicing. And uh, I can now go ahead and chop down those uh, bloodwood trees and make them into the criminal bolts without having to spend 30 minutes to an hour getting boosts and logging in and out constantly. Oh man, this is a really great uh, log splicing uh, level to get. 96 rock smashing. This is such a quick skill. And I still have enough bars in the bar bank, the ore bank, I don't know what you call it, to get 95 smithing. Just finishing up our last barrels chest of our reaper task. Give me the amulet. Okay, close enough. Bro, I just got the constitution pet though. That's pretty cool. First rack skill of the day. <laughs> All right. And give me a constitution pass, pretty cool. Nice. 18.2 million constitution XP. That's not too bad. I have two hammer trons. I made these the other day because I realized I was uh, getting a lot of smithing XP and wasting invention XP by not making hammer trons. So I went and figured out how to do that. And now we have two of them. There we go. There's one, and that's level 80 light bulb, which is pretty cool. I, I don't know what we get at that. Let's take a gander. Oh, that's 81, too. Nice. 81, not 82. <laughs> 81, 2, 8, 112. 
812, sorry. Here's another filler clip. I gotta say, Elder Rune Burial Armor is incredibly fast experience. Uh, just got 95 Anvil. I've been waiting to run out of cash, and I have 55k left, so I think this is a good time for this. Let's pull out the, uh, the Alchemizer. I have 19 mil in the Alchemizer. There we go, we're officially rich again. There we go, 96 Metal Harassing. Third kill of the day. Very clean kills so far. Ooh, a Triskelion Fragments. Fourth kill of the day. I don't think you've ever heard me say that before. Oh, shit! I just got a 97 mining. Gorged Ancient F, 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 Figgy. But we just got 98 Rock Punishing. And uh, we're just one level away from 99. This is such a quick skill. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to go a little bit over this, maybe at level 100 or even 101 to get that 99 smithing. But uh, we are pretty close to that. Wait! I just got the spoiler leg top! Oh! Oh my god, we just got the, we just got the whole leg! Wait, no, please, give me back that, back that, back that. This was the third kill of the day? Oh my god, just tell me what, just tell me what it is. 39, oh my god, 39 kills, four leg pieces. I think I got the other leg maybe four kills ago. So yeah, let's go, let's go put that together, shall we? That was actually a really good uh, kill, too. If you see everything that's missing here, I'm missing one super restore, and I think one, two, maybe three brews, and just these these were sharks here, the rest were sharks. I didn't even touch my Beast of Burn. I think I'm getting pretty good at this, and I am, I was using Elite Death Lotus Darts. I'm out, though. I got pretty lucky, and now I have... Oh, they're right here. <laughs> Can we put that leg piece together? I have 99 crafting, so there we go. It's only level 30. Nice, so we got the whole spider leg. Now I'm just missing uh, one of the pieces, which is a drop rate for the mage. It's uh, 1 in 120 for all the other pieces, 1 in 240. So we shall see what comes next. I maxed out the fur carpets, the leaves, and the blunts. So that with that, we'll be able to upgrade the hunter lodge. This will give me 2.4 extra seconds before I get caught in big game hunter, which definitely helps a lot. Oh, tier three requires level 90 hunter. Disappointed! And with this final rock opportunity, bro, we have just achieved 99 rock B -b -b beating. And I got two notifications. Look at that. Three if you count the orange one. Hey, I feel special. Plus 5% double ore chance on all core rocks. Yo, that's cool. Oh, I gotta put that on for whatever extra ore I need for a 99 smithing. That's really nice. You know, the modified blacksmith's helmet is so nice. I could just teleport straight to Artisan's Workshop now, three times a day, and it gives you 50 coal every day. Look at that, completely useless. So the final ores we have here, 1300 light animica, 1600 dark, 1400 runite, and 1500 luminite. So it's fairly even. I can make another 1,400 Elder Rune bars. I don't think that's enough for Elder... Oh, excuse me. I don't think that's enough for 99 smithing. But I think it'll bring me pretty close. I'm thinking it'll definitely get me to level 98. Hey, before I make some nice hammer trons for a 99 smithing, I wanted to show you... I took the Dragon Matic out of our tool belt, and I've got it here. And I just wanted to show you some of the augments I got it. I, I actually uh, spent a little time on this. It didn't take too long, surprisingly. And I got Imsold 5 gives me an 18% chance to bank uh, an item that I gather from archaeology, which is really high, almost a one in five chance of banking every item I get. Uh, at the cost of 30 prayer points. I also have honed four on this, which gives me an 8% higher chance of gathering items. Boring! I'm making this quick clip just to let you know if you were wondering how to get powerful components, which are what I need right now to make the hammer shrines, I just tend to buy, go to, go to Zaf in the Varrock here and buy a pretty much his entire stock of everything and just disassemble it. Uh, and it's a lot cheaper than buying just battle staves, which I also do. I've got a bunch of hammer trons I want to disassemble. I've got four of them uh, that are completely ready. And this will get us at least, I think, two levels. So there's one. Uh, so hopefully this will take us to 84. And I don't know if we're getting anything cool at these levels, but I imagine we're getting close to some cool stuff. You may notice that I am 98 smithing 3000 XP away from 99. I missed the 97 level. I was going to show you that. I'm sorry I missed it. I just received my rotation. So where I'll be going next year uh, for med school and all that's very exciting. I have a bunch of immunizations I have to get now, a bunch of titers, all that jazz. 
Uh, but anyways, enough of the real world stuff. That's 99 Anvil. And now we can finally make some masterwork. You know, I actually forgot to show you this. I, I, so I just got the uh, the smithing cape, the anvil cape. Now I'm going to show you the 99 uh, pickaxe uh, emote. This Everybody used to do this all the time back in the day. There it is looking clean, looking fresh. Let's check out the uh, smithing cape. Emote, what is it? Still on anvil. Looks like I'm cooking meat on there. Yeah, that's a clean... That is a clean emote, man. I wanted to show you, I've been uh, gathering up all of those geodes from mining. I haven't opened any of them since about 85 mining, and I'm a little over 99 now. Don't ask why. And I'm going to open them all up and see how much uh, alloy bars we can get from the uh, metamorphic ones. Right, let's find them in here. 1,400 igneous geodes and only 29 metamorphic geodes. Wow, that's kind of sad. Let's just go ahead and open these up and... Uh, see what we get. It's raining, Hallelujah. Yo, that that's actually some pretty dope loot, dude. We just got a dragon halberd. 130 Hydrix bolt tips. I'm slapping those on some but criminal bolts. You know it. First age coin. I have absolutely no idea what you do with that. It's worth a mil. You just alk it. Ooh, enriched. Enriched, enriched, enriched. Wow, we just got four enriched alloy bars. Anima crystal, I forgot what you do with that. 214 Bainite Stone Spirits, nice. nice. And two Elite Clue Scrolls. Oh, and we got a Triskelion Fragment. Two of them. Oh, look at that. Check me out. Hang on. We're going to go make that. There we go. Let's go open up that uh, Triskelion uh, Crystal Chest, whatever it's called. Okay, you're probably not going to believe me, but I remembered where this was from three years ago. So let's go ahead and pop her open. And we got a bunch of trash. What a surprise. I've been doing some... <laughs> Off. Ah. I've been doing ah, why? So I've been doing some mining to try and get the uh, masterwork. <laughs> uh, I've been doing some mining to try and get the masterwork armor complete. I still need some bayonet ore, some uh the animicas, but uh, we're almost there on that. I got a mining level. But for now, I've been getting a bunch of um, metamorphic geodes, and I've gotten quite a few anima crystals. I'm just going to turn this one in here, and you'll see why in a moment. So let's turn this in. Reputation, that's... I think that's it. We now have the 100% drop uh, chance increase from Vindicta, which is really nice. And I, got, I went all the way from 50% to 100% just from those um, anima crystals from mining. So that's really fantastic. Anytime we want to go back and try and farm the lance, now we'll have... Double the uh, the normal chance of doing so. Getting it. Doing it. I'm doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm doing it. After many, many years of mining and smithing. Let's get out of the free cam. Uh, that was for a dramatic effect. I now have a rune sir. Excuse you. I now have a rune ceremonial sword three. There we go. We have... Uh, 12 lined masterwork armor pieces. So I just got it. That literally took so long. I had to mine like three separate times, but uh, we're going to go ahead and start making our gear here. So there's the helmet. Here is the plate body. Oh, it feels so nice. This took so long. I think the wiki says it takes like 20 hours. Feels, I think this took me a solid three, four, maybe five days just to mine everything and then to go ahead and uh, Smith it all. So there are the gloves. There we go. We have to apply rivets. Oh, I forgot that was a step. This is just a filler clip. <laughs> Make the masterwork helm. It's only six seconds. Okay, I think we can wait this one out. Yeah, this is gonna need some jump cuts. Plate body, plate legs, boots with the fur, gloves with the gloves. Let's just go ahead and put some of it on, I guess, shall we? Helmet, check. Very nice. Boots, check. With the fur, <laughs> I forgot. Gloves, all right, I can't put the rest on because I want to augment it. I actually, I made a mistake when I was making this armor. I was using my um, my Hammertron and I ran out of charges in my pack. And then I'm going to see if I can augment these and uh, we'll see, uh, we'll see if, uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, you know, we'll see. I just spent a whole lot of time disassembling a whole lot of gems. If you'll take a look here, I am... Uh, Several hundred diamonds, rubies, and all my emeralds and sapphires are gone. I was trying to get enhanced devoted, but I tried, I think, four times. I got that many faceted components, 20 faceted components, and I got 
four of the wrong perk, which makes me sad. I'm just making this clip uh, because I'm going to siphon these Pernix pants. Um, and surprisingly, that gave me a level. I actually missed 85, so here's 86. And I'm going to add an augment to my armadillo chest plate uh, just to really complete the set and make racks that much better. I really wanted to add um, Venom Blood, and I, I had a perk with Venom Blood and Mobile on it, but I just couldn't seem to get a gizmo with Impatient and Devoted on it. So I'm just going to use these two, and you can uh, throw me in the pit of fire in the comments below. Thank you very much. So I just got my fifth kill of the day, and I actually got an achievement for that. Completed We've Come So Far. <laughs> 100, defeat Araxi at 100% of rage. Spider humor is just fantastic. Uh, anyways, I, just, <laughs> I haven't been showing you the loot for a lot of these kills, but I figured I might as well for this one. So let's go ahead and pop her open. A hey, uncut onyxes, that's actually really good. I also got 100 bow and arrow, uh, I think last kill, which is pretty neat. And I think I'm getting a lot better at this now, but I don't know, maybe it's just because it's path uh, two, three, and I have uh, tier 88s. I'm actually almost out of offhand death load of starts. I made those a while back and I did all five kills today. Actually pretty good. Uh, around six minute kills, getting new PBs and uh, I'm using rock tails just for this last kill. But everything before this, I was using sharks and it was going pretty well. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of divination recently and we finally got 89. Uh, apart from that, I really don't uh, unlock anything special at this level. But, you know, I got to fill up the uh, the video somehow. About six Rax kills. I uh, beat 120% in Rage now. Thank you very much. I'm pretty much, pretty much the best in the game at Rax, let's be honest. And I even forgot my anti-poison. Dude, Rax with, uh, with, without Venom Blood really sucks, I'll be honest. But anyways, I've been getting a bunch of these caskets from uh, doing Divination. Um, and I wanted to open one on stream because it went to my bank. And yeah, I figured why not fill a clip. Okay, so let's open that up. It's a bunch of garbage. Hopefully we can get some uh, some pages that'll maybe make a book. That's not happening today, but I have a triskelion key as well, so we're going to use that. And maybe it... What? It's still garbage. I got a Master Clue Scroll the other day from, from Divination, so maybe we'll go and do that uh, soon. Maybe this episode, maybe ne next episode, maybe never. I missed a level! I got 90 Divin... Oh, hang on. I got 90 Orb. I got 90 Balls. No, Ball. Blue Ball. Oh, anyways, Twi'le, it's own mini quest. I have absolutely no idea what that is. That ports? Ports Adventure of the Memory. Ah, okay, so we do get something for ports. Oh, but we do unlock a bunch of new stuff here. So let's see, hang on, uh, positive energy and negative energy. Yeah, I'm all about that positive energy, man. So I decided to train some divination here at this place, uh, the name of which I do not know, so please don't ask. And uh, I've been I've been doing this for a while. I got the entire level here, and the the XP is actually pretty quick. I mean, you can get up to three hundred plus thousand XP here if you're a ninety nine divination, have all the boosts and whatnot, and are two ticking. And I actually was two ticking for the majority of the time I was here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing this. Uh, probably not because it's not very AFK. I have to keep running around and clicking on the different pillars. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's just want to update you on uh, what I've been doing for divination for this past level. And it, the XP drops, when you just dump it in that 3.6k at a time, that is very satisfactory. Um, I wouldn't get Reckless Aura because I ran out of, of uh, Master Sharpshooter, so let's go ahead and unlock that. Why not? And we're going we're gonna to give that a shot. Been doing quite a bit of archaeology since whatever the heck the last clip was. <laughs> I don't remember anymore. Uh, this is 65 stone and brush level. And uh, now we get a different uh, infernal art, so I gotta go to a different place for that. I've been using the dragon matic; it's really nice. So it, it banks stuff. It gives me more uh, materials. It's really great. And because let, check out how much time I have on it: four hundred and thirty-seven hours. Because I made so many charges, uh, going up from eighty-five or eighty-six to ninety divination. Well, hello there. Oh, I've been doing some archaeology. Made this uh, spiked dog collar. It's definitely not for sex. Even this chrono so we got some chronos now and i this is this is actually kind of important thank you for the jump cut okay so now we just got to go over here to assistant and now i can buy uh, with eight thousand chronos upgrade my matic precision uh, precision by two percent two increase by two sorry not two. Oh, it is me a friend and today i have six spiked dog collars they're definitely not for humans and i'm going to restore them i've been doing the way i've been training this i've been getting all these these craps, I don't know what they're called. And then I get all the materials from the caches. And then I restore them and I get a bunch of XP and now I get the levels and I can make the filler clip. 
Actually, this isn't so much of a filler clip because we just got 70 stone and brush level, which is pretty cool. And now I've unlocked, I think, is it the Stormguard Citadel? And I can make the Crystal Matic. Aha, there we go. I just got the uh, the Crystal Matic. Boys, we're in business. First kill of the day and boy, was it rough. Oh my God, I used all the food, all the sharks in my, uh, in my whatever the hell it's called, the terror bird. And uh, yeah, almost all the brews I had too. God, that was hard. It is path one and two open right now, though, so maybe that's got something to do with it. Give me a hilt. This is this is not a hilt. Well, it ain't a hilt, but two uncut onyxes is pretty good. One full hour of Reckless Aura later. This is the last kill. I think I did five, maybe six. Let's just check. 100% rage currently. Uh, Wait, is that, do I have to loot it and then it goes up? I don't know. I don't know. Just loot it. Give me the... <laughs> we did it! Yo, we just got the... We got, we got, I gotta contain myself. We just got a Nox longbow. Let's fucking go. All right. Okay. I managed to do my, make my mouse do a full 360 when I did that bank. I'm going to jizz myself. I think I already did it. Actually. It already happened. Somebody come clean me up. Oh, the web, the web boys. Let's go ahead and make the delicious longbow one way process. I don't give a shit. I want make that longbow. Damn, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm quivering. I just completed all of the daily challenges. This is the first time I think I've ever done that. And I just want to claim the rewards because I think that gives us at least, yeah, just one. Okay, it's one. It's a woodcutting level, I know. All right, just completed the troll invasion for this month. It's been a while. Going to go ahead and open her up, put her in herb lore as usual. I'm actually going to do uh, some duo racks with my buddy Stellaro because uh, he's too afraid to do it on his own, so I got to help him out. Okay, it was not a duo because that was going terribly, but I got the spider light dog. Bro, what the f This is the same day that I got the bow. I'm not even kidding. I haven't slept yet. It's all, it's, it's 10 p.m. <laughs> I mean, technically the reset happened, but all right, I'll take it. I will take it. I, I'm actually, I guess I'm, well, no, I, I could keep doing this path uh, because, oh, geez, I still need a hilt. Um, <laughs> I need the, the bottom leg piece now. Let's see. I'll show you in the bank. I just need the bottom leg piece because I got the top and the middle, and then I have five pheromones. I actually used one before as well, so I don't know, man. What is this game? I love it. And the very next kill, I get some onyxes. Very nice. I'm still getting slow nine minute kills though with a Nox bow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. To be fair, I'm not using Reckless, but I feel like this should be a little faster. So I am here. Crit Etz, whatever. I don't know. All right, we're going to charge the pylon because I got 52 of these pylon batteries. Uh, I just wanted to show you me charging this. Just kidding. I actually just got 76 archaeology. Look at that. Uh, that's actually really important because now we can finally use all of the archaeology compass things. And we unlock a new area. I got a letter. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here's the letter. So the Warforge. That's pretty dope. And yeah, I need all these. I needed the Armadillion yellow and the Malachite greens in order to make the compass. So I think I have three bank, three complete ones. So this would be the spider like top again. Two spider like tops, a spider like middle. I want a hilt. I want to help. That's the only reason I'm doing day one, path one right now, because path three is close. I need the path three help. Or the... That's all, folks. <laughs> Yo, I just did a next solo. Zero prayer. And I got a ton of bruise. Oh, my God. The the first next solo of this account. <laughs> it was so bad. How do I... How do I put the bruise... Put it, just do that. There we go. There we go. So... That was so close. I was completely out of prayer. Ooh, blue charms. Yes. Gentlemen, are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> Yo, we got the leg bottom. This was from Life Path. I've done so many kills. Um, I, I don't know. Dude. I, I literally set at least like six speed records for myself. Let me, let me show you what my speed is. My fastest kill so far is it? It's 450. I mean, with Reckless Aura, it's insane. I'm actually doing a second hour right now with the Sharpshooter uh, because I hate flashcards. But anyways, and that was my first kill of the second hour. I got up to 200% of rage, but that doesn't matter. It's just uh, just trying to flex on you. So anyways, this <laughs> let me just let me just show you the damage here. So we we now have our second leg, which is fantastic. And now I just need a hilt, which is fantastic.
Oh boy, I just hope I don't get another web. If I get a web, I don't know. Maybe, I don't think. Uh, you know, I'll probably just hang on to it. Uh, if anything, I can always just like drop trade it to my main for bonds, so I can make more of those dumbass loot from X amount of minutes uh, bossing videos. Um, otherwise, I can always if I have a ton of spare legs, disassemble it for Knox components. Do people even use those anymore? I don't know. Let's just let's go get a hilt now, shall we? Please let the record stand that I quest o bad managed to make it to enrage three hundred percent. Okay, fine. It is path two three, but uh I I honestly never thought I'd I'd make it this far. So I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for never supporting me doing YouTube, and uh, for uh, thank Carol for actually supporting me doing YouTube, and I'd like to thank Med School for the. Um, Constant fatigue. Okay, I'm gonna try 300%. Come on! <sighs> I never get the rest. <laughs> Usually when I was doing, uh, like, when I do early on kills, like low and rage, I don't even bother getting all four. I usually do half, well, or however many spawn, really. But uh, this rage and the uh, spook. I, if I mess up, I get hit like a 5k. <laughs> okay, let's see how much food I have left. Uh, that'll be enough. As long as I don't mess up. I was using sharks for all the kills up until 280, and then I just switched to, to rock tails. Woo! I, I never thought I would be able to do a 300% of rage rax kill, and of course, the loot is garbage. But I do like brews because I use a lot of brews. Do you see how many brews I use? I think I used, what is that, uh, six? Yeah, six brews for this. Six and some change. And then I got another, wait, no, oh no, I used, ooh. Coming straight from Rax, I get so many Triskelion pieces there. So I have two Triskelion keys that we're going to uh, use right now, and maybe we'll get something cool. God, I just I just hate stone spirits, man. I really do. I wish there was a reroll for Triskelion keys. It'd be sick. Ah, oh, God, it's even worse. I've been working on player on farms. Look at that. I got some bun buns over here. <laughs> bun bun. I don't have a large pen yet, but I do have a medium pen, and I've got some ram rams and some sheep sheep. Aw, uh, ew, 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 it's an ew. Ha <laughs> ha. And I've got some depressing cough. Welcome to Come Cough City. Hey, look, they made me some breakfast too. I don't understand how an egg can be stressed, but whatever. While watching in a friend video, I noticed that there is somebody you can buy from the farmer's market, or the farm hands that will actually go out and find animals for you. 12,762 monkfish. That is a lot of monkfish. I, I actually just about cooked all of the raw monkfish I have. And uh, this is for a good reason. And I'm, I'm showing you this quasi filler clip because, give me the, give, give me, oh, A few inches later, 94 cooking is a delicious level. Look, just watch all the pop ups that happen. I don't know why you stop burning shark, cave fish, and rock tails all at the same level. That doesn't make any sense to me. At level 95, we get the blue blubber jellyfish unlocked. Now, I don't think we stop burning those until 97. But at least I can cook them. And blue, blu uh, blue blubber jellyfish, just try saying that five times fast. Blue blubber jellyfish, blue blubber, blue blubber jellyfish, blue blubber, blue blubber jellyfish, blue blubber. That's all, folks. The jellyfish, which I have fished some, are uh, important because they heal 750 times three. They're kind of like a brew, but in food form, and they don't drain your adrenaline. They can be stacked with brew heals, which is pretty crazy for DPS. 
I also think I can do racks with monkfish, and I'm gonna probably start doing that. At least low and rage, I'm gonna do that with with monkfish because I really don't use that much food. At least not on path two, three, and path one. Anything else? Yeah, probably gonna need the, the sharks. And maybe even in necks, I could get away with some monkfish because the the solo necks is really not that bad. Especially if I'm bringing a tortoise. If I bring a, a tortoise full of monkfish, I could probably get away with it. Boys, we did it! We got the eye! Whoa! All right, so this is the one I should have gotten originally because I had a 1 in 120 drop rate of, uh, while well, ranging racks. I'm out of breath because I had to sprint over to my microphone. <laughs> hey, dude, we just got our second Nox weapon. Yo, and now that we have the staff, I'm wondering if it's worthwhile to try and actually mage racks. I've never maged racks before. I've heard it's pretty... Bad. Oh my god, dude, I can't believe we got another Nox weapon. Yes, just put it on. Dang, dude, that's sick. That's so cool, dude. That's the second one. I've never had this before, man. All right. That's so cool. I what do you what do I even use this for? I don't know. Should I should I do mage racks? Don't do it. I was at uh 161, so I got it 10 kills after my after the last clip you saw. One pair of pants later. You know, I uh, just tried to do another attempt and killed myself on a web shield. But um, that's not the point of this clip. The point is, now that we have a tier 90 mage weapon, I think that means we pretty much just unlocked the ability to do Telos. Granted, my mage gear is absolutely garbage. And the highest in range I've ever gotten to a Telos was like... 57. Well, hey, you know what? Miracles can happen. Three years later, I come back and I'm at, able to do 300% rack. So you never know. Don't mind me just uh, doing some divination. Actually, I was doing divination. And then I realized I could make the entire elder divination outfit. There we go. I can make two more. I hope this is enough. I'm pretty sure it is. Just need the gloves and the boots, right? Oh, I'm missing the gloves, aren't I? No. Oh, no. I'm missing the boots. I mean, oh, God. Why? <laughs> Oh, I was so close to the whole outfit. That's a really cool looking outfit, by the way. I was going to get one more memory. Just one more memory. But my lovely Elder Divine outfit gave me a double, and I completely missed 95 Divination. What a tool. Way to go. But this means we now have Incandescent Energies unlocked. It takes 350 Luminous Energy to make one Divine Charge. It takes 225 Incandescent Energy to make one. So that is the point of 95. So now I'll be uh, grinding out some of the uh, energy there whenever I need it. It's oyster time. Disgusting. I hate oysters. But if they give me nice things, I don't. What is lockbox skipping ticket? I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't technically need more fishing level. Well, all right. Is the sailfish kind of good to eat? They're good food. It's good food. I just, I want the blue blubber, blue, 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 blue blubber, blue blubber jellyfish. That'll be really great. But uh, I just need one more cooking level for that, so I'm working on it. 742,000 XP away. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Um, well, it's not a it's not a fang, but I I did need this. I did need this actually. So this is good. I got the spider leg bottom now. We are closing in on having our third full ass stick. There's two. We just need the one more, and we can make the stick. So I got to do path two now. I really like path three, it's so fast. So that was 172 kill count if you're keeping track. Oh, screw I Garbo subjugation. We just got the Virtus robe top and a neck solo. Dude, that's sick. I never need to do Zami again. Screw it, man. Dude, that's actually really good. I wanted the um, the magic gear so we could actually get into Telos. That's so sick, man. The only thing I'm missing for range, well, actually, I'm missing a couple pieces. I'm missing the the uh, Pernix top and the boots. I'm still rocking the Karask boots. So those would be really good, but pretty much any magic piece is also really good. I spent, like, at least an hour trying to get this damn ring with this hand. Oh, I had the ring. I needed the hand. All right, so let me just scroll through the chat because I don't I don't know why they put the chat here. They put these messages. I just wanted to put the ring on the hand. You think I... I just wanted to put a ring on, you know what I mean? I didn't want it to actually have to do anything with you. I didn't want to read or talk to people. I just wanted to put a ring on it. I can't get the final hand for the Luck of the Dwarves uh, upgrade, but I also don't have a Luck of the Dwarves, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but with the Ring of Fortune hand, Hand of Glory, I can uh, use that on the Mysterious Monolith here, hopefully. Strange things are happening to my body. It's 
just like puberty all over again. You will always gain the effect of tier three luck. That's why I did that. Okay, thanks for watching my filler clip. <laughs> I have another fluffy clip for you. I have cows now. I made a large pen and I have cows and I'm making them frick. I'm making them frick in the frick pen. It's also called the breeding paddock. The frick paddock. Oh, I got a sheep that's called Shrek. I sold him to the sex slave trader. No, I told him that uh, the sheep hugger, you know, the guy that hugs sheeps and definitely doesn't eat them. Okay, boys, that's stick number three. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. We literally just got the third stick and two onyxes. I gotta say, path two really freaking sucks. I hate path two because the mechanics are so inconsistent. Okay, I'm gonna stop complaining and just accept my leg now. That is 177. What was that, like five more kills? I don't know, dude, this is great. Let's check out the collection because somebody wanted to see the collection. Three full sticks are just missing the fang now, dude. I'm honestly tempted to just to just mage. Um, I feel like that would go terribly because I know it can do a bleed if you're maging, but I don't know, man. I don't know. It might be worth a shot. All right, let's take them out then, shall we? And slap that third stick together. I have officially made 450 mil on this account <laughs> from rags. This account is severely uh, wealthier than my main now. It's fantastic. I what. Do, what what do I title this video? What is the thumbnail gonna be? Do I just is it just racks again? I don't know. I, what am I gonna do? How can I clickbait this video? The, the video itself should be clickbait. I don't know. It, it doesn't need more. Somebody, please go tell your friends about this video. Don't go tell them about my press cuff. Bro, I got another leg piece. All right, here's here's something special about this clip. I mage. Racks. I'm trying to get that fang, man. I'm trying to learn the mage. It's actually not that bad. What's, what was the kill count for that one? What was the kill count? 183. So six kills later. Great. <laughs> Just finishing up a task of Acheron Mammoths. I also got a Raptor Key Part 4 on task, which is a 1 in 256 drop rate. So that's pretty cool. You need three other parts from all the other level 96 Slayer monsters, so I doubt I'm going to get it. I also got 97 Slayer. We're already 55% of the way to 99. Only 2.2 million XP away from 99, and uh, hopefully the ability to farm some Rorai. Thank you, Iron PBM. Um, we're uh, going in this raid, so let's get in here. And uh, do I need to do this? Are you ready to enter the raid instance? Yes. And uh, I'm the backup tank. <laughs> Never done this in my life, boys. Here we go. Here goes nothing. A few moments later. I didn't bring any runes like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, after such a wonderful kill, we <laughs> literally so bad, dude. So bad. We I this is the first raid we've ever completed. Beast Bowl Master. Bowl Bowl Master. Bowl Movement Master. Let's just loot it. I'm, I don't care. And I don't think I got anything. Okay, that's fine. Two, two mil worth of crap, though. Good for summoning. I'm going to eat these later. I didn't even back up tank. That was just, that was just deeps. Just deeps. That was a lot of fun, though. Thank you, everybody. Hey, quick clip. I had a uh, Legion, Legions, Legio uh, Reaper task, so we're going to try that. And I've got a few keys. Bro, I'm not even kidding. This was the first Tertius kill, and we got the fucking Signet Ring. That's insane, dude. The look of this account. I know it's only 1 in 50, but that's sick, dude. That's so sick. One sixth of the way to an Ascension. <laughs> Crossbow. Wow. I love it. So I actually got to, uh, I actually got to, uh, uh, backup tank this time, and that was, that was so unbelievably bad. Every hit was a 4K. It was great, and I, I died. So let's go ahead and open up the loot. Ah, uh, mm, mm, nothing, nothing good. Boys, it happened. I got the garb of subjugation. Garb of subjugation. Oh man, I'm so glad I got this after I got a Virtus robe top. Seriously, what the heck's the point? 1,500, 1,584 kill count. And I, uh, technically this is the second guard. It doesn't show you all the stuff I got. I got so many more drops than that, but that's kind of funny. I don't know why my Zamulek is always super... Super crazy. There's a Z spear. Ah, uh, jeez, I don't even know how many kill count that was. Honestly, it really wasn't. It wasn't that many. So I've got two crystal triskelion keys to use here. And before we do that, I actually just uh, finished a dark beast task and got this dark bow, which is pretty nice. So I'll probably be using this at next whenever I want a shield switch, uh, or actually probably a rax as well. It's only tier seventy, so I'll, I'm wondering if the uh, the resonance is going to be much of a difference, but we'll see. 
At least I can keep firing arrows from it uh, when need be. Actually, maybe I won't use it at Rex then for that reason. <laughs> All right, so let's just wait. Okay, this is the wrong rock. <laughs> okay. Ravioli, ravioli. That's not the formioli. And we got one more to open up. Oh, God, I hate stone spirits. Just finished a corrupted creature slayer task. Looking pretty good, might I say. I just use Bandos because I don't want to uh, use up all my charges on my masterwork. So that's why I use Bandos on most slayer tasks. And it's got three keys to the cross. I'm, I'm getting a lot of those. And we got 98 skull sword and unlocked gemstone dragons. I heard these are really awesome slayer XP. And you can just grind them out in ED2. But apparently you have to get past the second boss to do that. And um, I don't know. Maybe I could Maybe I could do it. Maybe I, maybe I can't solo. I don't know. I think they give you like 18,000 Solar XP or something. like. It's pretty ridiculous for killing gemstone dragons. I also got 90, 93 fist, which is pretty neat. So I have 113 dragon Slayer task. I really like the ambiguity of these because it lets me choose. And I'm here at the Dragonkin Laboratory or Elite Dungeons 2. I'm going to try and solo it. For as far as we can get, I know the uh, the gemstone dragons can give you like 18,000 Slayer XP. Just figured why not try and, and see how far we get. This is what it looks like. The slimes are level. They have 20,000 HP. What? Goodness. Please kill it. Thank you. Ah, where, where did my food go? All right, you at home probably already know the answer, but uh, will this tick down my Slayer count? Yes, it will. Okay, so this counts. I wonder how much Slayer XP I'm getting from red dragons, though. Past time. Okay, and what? That was a lot. That yeah, that's way more than normal red dragons. I think that was over a thousand. It's pretty sick. Also, I like that the ten percent damage reduction, and I also have uh, the twenty percent drop chance uh, increase on all the time uh, because I did that uh, ridiculously long quest. I'm really glad I did that. I wonder if the Slayer helmet will work on the uh, the bosses. Oh no, no, not at the slimes, not again. I got past that terrible area. Gee, oh, there's more. <laughs> how many? How many of these guys do I gotta kill? Like, do I have to kill all of them? Is that? Do I have to do it all? Because that's a lot. How, how am I gonna get back there? I'm not gonna run through the wilderness. You think I'm gonna run through the wilderness? I'm not gonna run through the wilderness. Are you sure about that? <laughs> What a miserable experience that was. Oh, I forgot I had to stand on that. I'm gonna look like such an idiot. Okay, there we go. We did it. If only I had remembered the one mechanic I needed to steal all for that. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. I did it. 46k XP drop from Vericlith. That's pretty nice. We went in with a duo, but I finished it solo. Okay, so Stellaro told me that you could just take these treasure chests and teleport to any of them, so please don't shout at me about the wilderness thing. I know, I know. Like, see how I'm in the middle spike here? I'm technically safe, except for the, uh, the magic. See, you're getting smacked by that. Oh my God, I just died. <laughs> okay. Did I say safe? I meant not safe. Oh, oh no, no, please. He, 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 uh, uh. Oh, fuck my life. Tactical I'm... nuke incoming! Stare at the floor. Press! Oh. Why did that happen? Oh my god! Hands! Oh, f <laughs> No, 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 I'm, dead. I'm not fucking dead. 88k! <laughs> what a world! Alright, let's check the loot, shall we? Uh... Oh, I got Celestial Hand Wraps! Check out the Celestial Hand Wraps. You can no longer trade it. I don't care. Can you fix Celestial Hand Wraps? You can't. You cannot. After three grueling solo fights, I was able to do the whole thing. Uh, geez, that was rough. I died on the last boss, unfortunately. I died on the second and the third boss. The second one was just strange. He just one hit me because I missed the pool or something. I don't know. And the third boss, uh, the lightning got me. I hate the lightning, dude. The lightning sucks. So let's just search the treasure chest, see what we got this time. 
Perfect gemstone scales. I have no idea what that is. Uh, and 20 draconic energy. A lot of onyx dust. That's really cool. All right, let's bank that. And please, let's... What, what do I use perfect gemstone scales for? Okay, apparently it's just a common 1 in 10 drop from Blackstone Dragon. It's it's literally meant to be disassembled for four precious components. And there they are. I'm on an Ice Strike Worm task, and I'm actually just going to uh, inventorize my Noxious Staff Siphon. That's what I meant to say. Uh, and this is giving us 95 invention. And I'm not sure you get really anything cool at these levels. I don't know if you can hear the drag racing outside. I really hope his car breaks. I got uh, 18 more Ice Strike Worms on this task. I'm really hoping for some more Dragon tasks because those were super cool, dude. I really enjoyed uh, doing ED2 and uh, hopefully I can get some more tasks. I definitely got to prefer them next time I get it. Oh, hang on a second. Wait, you mean this wasn't a filler clip? Gotcha, bitch. Soul Gazer, let's go get that hex bow. I'm just kidding. Rush of Blood Platinum Challenge. I don't even know what that is. Slayer Codex. Yes, this is what I wanted. And now that we did that, I need to go figure out how to get my personal Slayer dungeon up. I need to get a new shot B. And I need to capture the soul of some ascended creature. I think I'm gonna go with the healers because they have half as many life points as the Rorai. Um, and technically that means I should be able to get keys a little faster. So we're gonna do that after after I pick up this Terramin. So I managed to fill up two Ushaptis uh, with some Kasper Capsarius souls, and uh, been I actually fill up an entire inventory with keystones. Look at that. It's, it, it doesn't take that long. I'll show you how I'm doing it. So what I do is, I since I only have two, they actually respawn really quickly. I'm on Legacy, if you didn't notice that already. Uh, it would, Legacy with the Royal Crossbow, I one hit them. I don't have to move my mouse, and I can just do my flash cards on the side. So. Uh, it's really convenient. I want it most of the time. Sometimes I don't, and sometimes I like float away. We have also gotten a couple Serenic Scales and a bunch of charms from this too. I need like 40 something Serenic Scales in order to upgrade, uh, in order to get the Serenic body because I that's the only piece of range gear I have that's not Pernix. That and the boots. It takes me about an hour and a half to fill up an inventory. Boys, first. First Secundus kill, we get the Signet Ring. Just like Tertius, oh my god. The first Secundus kill and the first Tertius kill. This is fucking awesome, dude. We are two-sixths of the way. One-third. Quick mess. I just finished up another BM. I was tanking again. I died this time, but it was like 150k, so back up. I uh, was able to finish her off. So let's check the loot. I didn't I didn't check it while I was in there. Oh, that's because I died. So let's check it here. I also have my uh, reroll tokens just in case I need to use it. All right. Okay, this is, this is, I mean, it's kind of garbage. Well, let's, let's see what happens. Why not? Let's get crazy. All right, this is, I mean, more techie. That's good, but uh, I can, I can reroll it again. Hmm, I don't really need the logs. And then I think, okay, we're going to reroll it. Let's see. I'm getting something good tonight. You can't reroll your loot if you've already rerolled it once or taken an item. Oh, come on. That's lame. Yes, our mage setup just got even more pro at next. We got the Virtus Robe Legs. We're getting super lucky with this. This is really great because now we pretty much have an entirely tier 80 mage uh, setup. I'll show you in a, in a second what we're what we're rocking now. Okay, so here's my augmented Virtus Robe Top, and I'm definitely going to go augment these. Uh, so I really don't need the gown anymore. I think I have Celestial Hand Wraps, which is pretty cool. Really, the only thing I'm missing is a hood. Well, a, a, like a hood upgrade. So Virtus Mask, I think it is. I have the Virtus Gloves, uh, and I think I need boots. So I need a, a, I need the mask, and I need some boots. And that is the mage setup done. But this is probably, I don't I don't want to say it's going to help a lot when I'm um, face tanking BM, but, you know, it'll definitely, it's it's an improvement. It's definitely a step up from uh, from tanking in a gown. My kill count is 215. That's not all solo, but uh, that is, a lot of that is definitely solo. Just got back from an Ascension Keystone uh, grinding trip in the Sunken Pyramid, and I have two Quartus, three Quintus, two Primus. I do own oh, one Sextus as well. I do this a lot. Um, been doing this a lot. Got a bunch of kills and uh, at the Legions too. No luck yet, unfortunately. I haven't gotten that third signet ring. Um, but I did get two ceramic scales. And you'll see if I deposit them here, we're up to 42. And uh, this is actually really significant because at 42, we have enough to make the hauberk. I just need to go get the Algarum. Algarum? Al 
Algerian thread. There we go. Those fine Algerian threads. And then we can go make the uh, the hauberk, which would be a great upgrade, hopefully, from our armadillo chest plate. Dang, that's so nice. How much do we need for the chaps? So it's 20 for the chaps and 14 for the mask. So uh, hauberk it is because this is our, our lowest... Uh, those are lowest tier range or tier range armor, and now we have tier ninety, our first tier ninety range armor. Let's go ahead. Can I actually? I don't know if I should put on yet. No God! I think I want to go augment this first. Yes! Does it degrade if I put on? Let's see. Hang on. No God, please no. Are you sure you'd like to? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to trade it. No. How much is it worth, anyways? Twenty mil. That's not bad. All right, let's just put on. No. I'm actually fucking pissed off. Look, you can't augment the Serenic Hauberk once you put it on. I, it says I don't have any. Granted, I need 36 divine charges too, but I literally, that is so dumb. It's still 100% and you can't repair this. What? That's so stupid. What do I do now? I'm so fucking pissed off. I was just trying to show, I was just trying to show it off for the video, man. And now I can't, I can't, I can never augment it. And it's just going to degrade it dust. Like what the? Dude, that is so dumb. I think Jagex needs to hot patch this real quick. All right, still salty about the Hauberg. Still very, very much salty about that. But we just got the Ascension Signet Ring 5. So see you, Quintus. I'm done with you for now. That's uh, about half the bow. It's really not because I still have to get the Dragon Crossbow limb. So we're about three-sevenths of the way there. And I'm still salty. But it's okay. This makes up for just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. We get more and more Signet Rings, though. I have... Uh, <laughs> less fewer and fewer keystones that are actually useful to me i have 30 tertius keystones i mean like when we go for the second bow it's gonna be pretty much it's gonna be really easy to get some of the signet rings i imagine <sighs> excuse me gee it's gonna be it's gonna be rough for whatever whichever signet ring i get last it's gonna be rough for so i got one more cordis keystone here's hoping we get that back to back we're getting closer what do we get ascension signet one that's the primus signet that's actually really awesome. I think we're four out of seven now. So we're we're just two signet rings away. I think it's we're still Cortis and Sextus away from uh, and the dragon crossbow limbs from the uh from the full Ascension crossbow. Look at that. Four signet rings, dude. That's so crazy. I forgot to check the uh the kill count. Uh last one. I think it was 81 before. Let's check now. Let's see. We're at 91. So I 10 kills later, I'd I'd believe that, honestly. Yeah, and we're like super under kill count. I mean, this is what you'd expect for 200 kills. Okay, so I'm in Anachronia right now because I have a ring of death on, which means I died. I was doing a Ceridoman Cer Reaper task, and I, I got a, I got a hiss. I got a hiss, and it was a, it was, you know, it's an instance because I'm an, and I died, and I didn't pick it up because I ran over here to turn the camera. Let me, let me just go see if I have that one already. Okay, it, it would have been a duplicate. It's fine. It's fine. I don't even care anymore. Bro, it's 7.20 a.m. I'm here at uh, Divination, uh, the halls of something, and I literally, you're not going to believe this. Uh, hang on, hang on. There it is. I just got the Divination pet. <laughs> 9.2 million XP. It's pretty cool. All right, that's cool, man. It wasn't expected. Completely AFK. I literally have class in like eight minutes. I don't know. I don't know what, I, I don't know what to say about it, but I got the, I got another pet. That's cool. Anyways, I'm here because I want to get 99 Divination while all these parties are going on. I can just AFK. I can two tick. Uh, I'm probably just going to AFK, let's be honest. Uh, because the higher my Divination level is, I think the more enriched memories I get, which means more energy. So might as well just try and finish this off while uh, double XP is going on. And I almost logged on to the main to train archaeology. I almost did it, but I didn't cave. Although I kind of wanted to because I kind of want to play the main again too. I don't know. Just finished up some BM. I tanked again. Didn't die. Thank you very much. It's all thanks to Shady, my backup. Let's go ahead and loot the late Beastmaster. Go be burial. It's kind of crap. I'm going to re-roll this, though. Hang on. Let me go ahead. Oh, I can just do that. All right. There we go. 
Uh, you can't reward rewards until you gain more reputation with Gobies. Fuck! Excuse me! I have the reroll totem. Can I use it? Yes, I can. All right. And it's still trash. Dang, I want some tank armor. Or the codex. Obviously, the codex would be great. But, um, I, it's okay, it's not bad because I got a lot of uh, cookables here. So that's not too bad. I think we actually got more techie and blue charms. I'll always take blue charms. Thank you very much. Finished up another bowel movement. I uh, actually died this time. It was weird. Somebody voked um, BM into the DPS pile. I had no defensives left. So I, I just voked back so that everybody wouldn't die. And then I got punched. So I don't know. I, I don't know why that happened. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, right, I'm going to vote. All right. It was weird. But let's just go ahead and collect our loot. Maybe we'll get something nice today. Uh, well, I like that. It's a good amount of techie, but I don't really need that many logs. So let's just reroll. This is our last uh, reroll token, and then everything else is is uh, no more rerolls for us. So sad face. Hundred air root bones. Jeez, man. Now that's crap. Before I got more techie though, so that's okay. I'll be honest, guys. This one was predicted. Ascension signet ring four. We just have one left. I literally I went into this. I I did two trips to my uh, Kasperius dungeon. I had nine Cordis, um, I had nine Cordis keystones and I have four left. I, only, I used five of them and then I got three Sextus keystones as well. Uh, so nothing from Sextus, that is gonna be our last signet ring, unfortunately. I had a feeling it was gonna be Sextus last, but hey, we got one, two, three, four, five, it's so nice. That one was so predicted. I went in, I was confident. I, th I said to myself, I, I know I'm getting it. I know I'm getting it this time. And I did. I survived, and uh, I already looted. <laughs> I already looted Bowmaster. Sorry about that. that's a little. That's a little awkward. And I can explain. I have a. I have, I have an excuse this time. Okay, ready? Um, I slam my penis in the car door. Look at all these chickens. I'm here in death's office, not because I died. No, I know you're surprised just as much as I am. But I am here to get a reward. I have 323 Reaper points that I will be using to purchase a Hydrix. Thank you very much. I was also wondering if it would be worthwhile to get the uh, Ring of Death. Oh, I know it increases the, I think it decreases the number of Onyxes you need pretty much for the death cost, which is really, I think it's like each death is 3% as opposed to being 15 now. Uh, maybe this would be worth it in the future, but I don't, I think I just need one more Hydrix to make the essence of finality uh, plus level 117 invention, but you just get 101 and then get a plus, no, 118 invention, then get 101 and get a 17 boost. Um, okay, whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and make this into a Reaper necklace because I need an Amulet of Souls, which I have, and a Reaper necklace to make the essence of finality. Uh, and then one more Hydrix to, and then to turn that into the alchemical Hydrix. All right, okay, all right, I'm done talking. I'm gonna go make the Reaper necklace now. Wait, you thought I was gonna leave you hanging? No satisfaction of me actually making the amulet of course i'm going to give you that satisfaction here we go so here's the uh the hydrus necklace i just got to cast this level six enchant on it and uh here i just made the banner i made a god banner skill boost there it is okay so i did this for the third you get a 30 minute skill boost. let's just do it skill boost uh skill for you can use this boost once per day and then i get pick oh yes okay so this gives me plus two and i'm gonna use it in herbal order uh, and it lasts for 30 minutes. I'm not going to use it just now, but I, I did all of those those tasks. It's actually not that bad. Um, I wanted to do that. That way I could just boost plus two so I can make some overloads pretty easily. I don't have to keep a, a boost by logging in and out constantly and get the stews. It's basically just very convenient for Herblore at this point. Uh, and I have uh, 300 grimy torsals. So I'm going to clean these first, and then I'm going to use my boost and go ahead and make 100 overloads, which would be pretty nice. And I guess I could technically boost for the next uh, type of overload too. Well, it's not a thing, but it is a duplicate. I think that's my fifth, my fifth spider leg bottom and ceramic scales. That's good. That makes up for the hauberk. We're not gonna talk about it. It just makes me sad. And I was maging. I've been maging for a bunch of kills now uh, and I hope so I'll get that, get that extra drop rate at the, the fang, but uh, no luck yet. Oh, and kill count, uh, 268. I think the last drop I had was 251, maybe? I'm actually, I have no idea. Just finished up some bowel movement and we were gonna loot them and see if we get something. No, we, never get, we never get anything nice. Never get anything nice. I think we're gonna get a, an ability uh, from the techie before we get one 
from loot. Let's be honest. Okay, yeah, we're at 9.3 thousand techie. Ability is at, what's an ability at? 15,000, uh, so we're almost there. Like four more attempts, I think. Yeah, about four more. Five, probably. Six? I don't know. Math is hard. Hey, just finished up a Triskelion key from Rack, so we're going to go ahead and pop this open here. A lot of herbs. Oh, ooh, actually, that's a... I, that's not bad. That's a lot of herbs. I like that. And a leak clue. Maybe, maybe someday we'll do all our, our, our leak clues in our bank, but uh, today's not that thing. So I'm sorry this uh, clip is not more exciting than it was. Ooh, that's a, that's a pretty background. The gigantic crack rock in the sea. I didn't realize how nice it was here. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, sorry. I can't make this clip any more exciting. I just finished four more sexist attempts today. Absolutely nothing, dude. Seven in total today. Nothing, man. I'm going super dry and sexist. I think I've gotten another 4,000 Ascension creature kills just trying to get that one signature ring. Kind of sucks. But uh, hopefully we'll get there. And you know, the, the nice thing is I'm getting enough keystones for, of every other type that it'll make getting the second Ascension crossbow probably pretty easy. Anyways, this clip is, uh, I meant to show you. I want to show you. Okay, I'm going to show you. Quick sell the rest of my, my cows, so many cows, and I still have a bunch that are going to be in the bank now. That sucks. Okay, what? 633 beans for just those, plus the uh, the other one. I'm not 5,600 beans, which means I can finally, oh my God, it's taken so long. Farmhands, we're going to buy the uh, the trapper. There he is. I need to send Adam off for 100 beaners. There we go. He sent him off, and it's really bright in this corner. I don't know why. <laughs> Imagine sleeping here immediately below these ridiculously bright candles. My eyes! I'm here at Wars now. Also, I teleported here earlier, and the textures didn't all load in. It was really weird. I literally saw War himself standing here without his toga on. I'm not kidding. I saw a six pack and his thunder thighs. He was wearing underwear, so I was saved there. But it was really strange. It's a solid three seconds, then the texture's loaded in. Okay, anyways, shop here because we have uh, a consumable. We can No, not a Unlockable, we can unlock. <laughs> uh, we're going to get the Berserker Aura because that's the last Zerker Aura that I needed. Is Dark Magic worthwhile? Chance on attacking an opponent to inflict corrupting damage? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think uh, Dark Magic Aura is worth buying. So... All right, I'm here farming for some keys. I got a Sextus key. That's fantastic. And then I, I come, I was like AFK, and then I come back, and I see my friend chat. I was like, grass, my bro, grass. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Who do you mean? I'm like, did I did I get the signet ring? <laughs> That's not how this works. I scroll up in the chat. I'm scrolling up here. And, uh, oh, I got three freaking notifications, four notifications that I got the range pet. We got Sparky. That's kind of cool. There we go. It's a range pet. I'll, I guess I'll show it to you. I guess I don't really care. I mean, I, I don't. I don't care about pets, man. There he. Oh shit! A rat! <laughs> He's got a freaking. He's got my man's got a crossbow. It's fantastic. What's in his other hand though? Is that a? What is that? Do you see that? It looks like a little tiny turnip. I imagine it's not a turnip, but maybe I don't know. He's got a crossbow, Robin Hood. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. Pretty good. That was at 37 million range XP, by the way. Just finished another raid. I'm out here because I died. Haha, <laughs> still not good at tanking. Maybe someday I will be. Let's collect loot. Get a... Somebody got a codex in our chat. Someone... I don't... Nobody cares. Oh, and the, this guy has one quest point. I'm genuinely amazed. All right, collect that loot. And... 17... 17... What am I going to do with 17 crystal keys? Apparently, you can re-roll once a day if you have max reputation. So I might try and figure out how to do that. But I, I, I don't know. I can't be asked. Just finishing up some more annoying Sextus Keystone grind. I got three this time. Feeling pretty good about that. And uh, look at that, a Serenic Scales. I'm going to go use those in a bit. But for now, we have to go open up the uh, gigantic oyster. So we're going to go do that. And uh, then I'm going to uh, cry myself to sleep when I inevitably do not get the sexist signal ring. It's been so long. Look how many keystones I have. 42, 63, 78 tertius. Dude, I, every time I see a tertius keystone, I crack that tongue. You know, I forgot to mention in the last clip, 
Uh, my crystal bow, attuned crystal bow, is 15.5%. This is the second attuned crystal bow I've gone through now. It's crazy, dude. Just trying to get that sexy signal ring. All right, give me something good, man. Give me something. I need something. The life. Oh, I got a fortunate component. Anyways, one more clip while we're here. 95 fish. <laughs> 95 fish with hook in mouth. Is it even in its mouth? With 95 fish with hook above mouth. There you go. That's the new that's the new skill name. Isn't that great? I just came up with that. I'm pretty much a genius. Oh hey, look at all my cow. <laughs> look at all those chickens. I got a chinchampa, a gray one, from the trapper, which is pretty neat. Gave me 3,000 XP for an adolescent, which is pretty cool. I think I think you can mix the breeds that the, the different races of chinchampa. <laughs> I got one of those red chin choppers. So I just need one more before I can start uh, farming some some chins. I think I actually have no idea. I'm hoping to get a red one, but I don't. I don't. I get. I don't. I don't know if I need a red one. Maybe I need two red ones. Maybe I just need one more. Let's just let's just go over here and see if I can uh, get anything nice for the trapper. A little. It's called a filler clip. And I fucking hate this game. Uh, I'm in my house right now, and I've got some dino bones, and we're gonna use this one here. Oh, 96 beans. What the fuck? Just do it. Hello there. General Kenobi. <laughs> this is my first clip back and somebody's already in the shot. It's been a very long time since I've recorded a clip. This is the first one I've recorded in uh, September 2021. So I'm guessing by the time I uh, get around to editing and uploading this, it'll probably be 2025. So whenever you're watching this, I uh, have a few updates for you. <laughs> First off, we're in player on farms. I just wanted to show you a few things that have been happening. I've been playing for about a week now, but this is the first clip I recorded. I don't have my mic anymore, so I hope uh, the audio doesn't sound too garbage. I moved, so I'm in a different place. Um, but now I have spider babies. That is so gross. I hate spiders, but we got Lana, Dottie, and Spike. I like Spike. That's a great name for it. That's a great name for a spider. He's hyperactive. I got Lana yesterday, and then I got Spike yesterday as well. So, I mean, that's actually really awesome. And then I put up the, what did I do? I put up this uh, farm totem, which gives you an extra 2% damage boost. Um, when fighting spiders around Gilinor. So basically now I get a 2% damage boost whenever I kill racks, which is really cool. I got 70 farming um, off camera. I'm sorry about that. And that was level 70 in all skills. Goodness, such a bad YouTuber. <laughs> and of course, I'm still, I still got the co the cows going. I don't, I don't have the spiders in uh, the breeding pen because the medium pen, um, they're able to breed in there already. So I figured I'd just keep them in there. This is where I'm getting most of my bang. Um, so I can send the trader out. The what is it? Is the trapper? The trapper? The trapper? Is that was sick? Oh my god! Luckily for you, I happen to not be a doctor yet. We have two thousand things, which is great. I'm not really sure what I should be getting next. I wanted to show you the progress with our um, ascension crossbow grind. There has not been much. So we're at forty three thousand seven hundred fifty nine ascension creature kills, which. It's taken a very long time. We have three, oh, that's a combat level, 178 legions kills, um, which means we are still under kill count. I don't, I actually don't remember where we are in episode 34, but uh, I'll show you how many signet rings I have. have a staggering amount of keystones for the second ascension crossbow and an underwhelming quantity of Sextus Keystones, only five of them, it's so sad. I literally do like five to 10 Sextus kills a day, and yet I still have no signet ring for that one. It's so disappointing. I swear I must have gone like 30,000 kills dry in Sextus. But I'm gonna go use these five keys now and uh, hope for the best. But uh, I'm hoping for the best every day and nothing seems to happen, so I wouldn't be surprised if nothing happens again. <sighs> Finally popping open the clam. Oh, it's garbage as always. All right, we're going for it. We're just going to do the iceberg, the sink, the Titanic. I think this is weird. I don't know. Welcome to the Himalayas. 
so cool. These, I'm seeing so many things I've never seen before. Flurry. Pillars of Ice, Exposed, Core Frost, Cannon, Glacite, Minion. What? I don't, I don't even know where to go. Is it? Okay, I think it's probably through here. I see. I, I, you know, I'm starting to see how he sank the Titanic. I'll be honest. Oh, oh, oh this is. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> God gamer. First try. Never seen the mechanics of this boss before. Actually, I've seen it once when my boss played it in front of me. He didn't even know I played RuneScape. He just showed me. He's like, dude, what is this new boss? So I watched it. All right, we actually survived. Uh, I'm amazed. I actually took a can in the face because I ulted. I had no idea it was coming. Just he got me. He got me with a, almost got me with the RKO. All right, that's it. Oh, and your loot spawns in the ground. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. What I get? Uh, thirty six water battle staves from normal mode, dude. That's insane imbued components. So I don't know what summoning focus is or resonant anima of when and ten crimsons. Wow, dude, that's a bank loot. Nice. Uh, and then I gotta go over here. <laughs> Just so far away. There's more? 452 water talismans? All right, I guess I found what we're going to be doing for the next six years of my life. So I just got uh, some Glacor remnants from the drop, and I guess this is how you make the tier 85 weapons? I don't, uh, I'm not seeing the 95s on here. Uh, adornment? What is this, just cosmetic? I don't know, maybe it's not. Uh, okay, oh, this here's level 90 stuff. Oh, that's cool. Can you damage people with the snowball? That that could be a good content series right there. Uh, we're going to try hard mode now. I think, uh, hang on, I think my, I think, I think he's a little broken. I think Kelfi King boy is a little broken. He's, maybe he's just taking a nap. I don't know. He's not, no, I saw him move. He's not napping. He's just, uh, he wants belly rubs. I don't know. I don't know how you're going to get in there past all the sand, but, oh, God. So I attempted a hard mode and uh, <laughs> turns out I am terrible. Basically, I got murked on the uh, the DPS check, the hug attack. This is like the same problem as having a Raksha. I guess the, the real problem is I might just be bad. I did it! Oh, oh finally! Oh, wow! Oh! Oh, I'm fucking coming! Oh. Oh. oh! I actually still need to get the dragon crossbow limbs. <laughs> and I haven't even done the quest! <laughs> uh, it's fine. Okay, so apparently I have to do four quests, um, including Wild Gothic Sleeps. So that's actually, I have four quest requirements, so five in total, that kind of sucks. But let's see how many kills that took to get our first uh, ascension. So it's 195 Legio kills, legions. Ah, uh, jeez, I'd love to know what I was at when I got my, uh, my five signets. I don't remember, because it's been months now. And the Slayer creatures, 51,000 ascension creatures for the first crossbow. <laughs> Dude, I went so unbelievably dry at Sextus, but uh, we got it. So now I'm going to go kill the iceberg that sank the Titanic. Bro, that was our first hard mode, 543. I'm basically a god. Where's my, where's the loot? Is that not, oh, it's, I remember, hard mode. It's not going to drop it. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, sure, why not? Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, hello. I'm checking my squishy chinchampa. Great name for a chinchampa, by the way. Uh, I didn't know it gave you 15,000 XP, so that's why I'm suddenly recording this clip after I got the XP drop, because that is 71 farming. And at 71 farming, I think I get, ah, I get yaks and a second large animal pen. So that's really cool. I'm actually going to go uh, have to grind out some yak killing so I can get the, the yakety yak. Don't hold back. Also, I unlocked the second medium pen because I just got spiders out the wazoo, man. I got way too many spiders. Oh, this one's name is Peter. Hey, Peter. My second medium pen is full. My breeding pen is now full.
Okay, well, Natasha's going to grow up in the uh, in the breeding pen. That's quite a sight to see. Imagine having to live in the same exact room where your parents did it over and over again. I need to go do Wild Gothic Sleeps, and before I do that, I need to do the four quest requirements for that. So we're going to go do that so I can finally get some dragon limbs and then make an ascension crossbow. Lads, I'm eating my dummy yummy Thai food right now. And I uh, just completed Dream Mentor, 237 quest points. Uh, and that was one of the requirements. I don't know if we get anything worthwhile. What do you want? What the H? This lamp talking back? Give me some strong. 15k strong XP. Nice. Okay, next up, uh, let's go do hand in. Let's go do the. Let's go do Sandy Hand. And that is Tears of Gothics complete. I'm honestly amazed that I'm 2554 total level and I am just completing Tears of Gothics. Oh, well, that is a pimpin' outfit, bro. Jeez, so purple. I love it. What are these, are these uh, Eldritch? Oh, wait, that's the gloves. Uh, weapons are down here, I forgot. Blightbound, oh, okay. So these are from the tree uh, monster. <laughs> Oh man, all six signet rings are so, it's just so nice. <laughs> I actually have enough serenic scales to make the serenic body again and augment it this time, so I might do that. But that's not the point of this clip. The point of this clip uh, is so I can extend the video length. <laughs> now, the, the point of this video is because I have a dinosaur tooth, rib, and pelt, and I want to see what I can do with it. Uh, at our base here. I know we can upgrade quite a few things. I am maxed in every resource now, which uh, feels pretty good, man. I gotta say. Don't have 90 agility, so I can't do that. I also don't have essential oils. Don't have 90 hunter, but I do have the dino pelt. Aha, here we go. I can get the tier three slayer upgrade. So we're gonna do that. This gives a plus 6% damage boost on the island. Uh, but more importantly, it grants the bonus of the slayer helmet across Gilnor without needing to wear it, which is actually Super awesome. I wonder how much DPS that would add, uh, being able to wear a, a helmet or a hood, a quaff, coif, queef. <laughs> God, what is happening in this clip? I don't know. All right, Player Lodge, can I do that one? No, I don't have 90 construction. Uh, so basically, that was the only thing <laughs> I could do. Okay. Bro, when the fucking do music hits. <laughs> Wow, that was easy. Hey, there we go. Wild Gothic sleeps complete. Now I can finally farm the last piece of our Ascension crossbow, which is the dragon crossbow limbs. I believe it's a one in 256 drop rate. So we're gonna go, oh God, I got a, ooh, a lot, lots of XP coming in. That's uh, all going in a herb. Um, yeah, so you know where I'll be for the next seven years of my life. I think that was our, I don't know, eighth kill, but we got the limbs, so I'm out of here. That was our 12th kill, actually. Back to our usual luck. Hey, I'm frying up a mean set of eggs right now, but I had to use my god banner. I'm so glad I got that so I can make the uh, dragon crossbow. Uh, and before I string this, I'm gonna make sure it has to be strung. If you hear the eggs frying in the background, that means I'm about to be a very full boy. Okay, yes, I'm pretty sure I string it. So I actually need to make crossbow string. Yo, do you hear the eggs right now? I gotta go get this shit. <laughs> they're good, they're good. I gotta go string this, uh, this crossbow string real quick. I made a freaking bowstring. No. Oh, I needed sinew. How the hell do I get that? Okay, so I'm back. I got the crossbow string now. I, I went to, oh God, I don't even remember. I went to Arby's to get the meat. Uh, they didn't have a, a range there. So then I went to Priftinus to use the fire, forgetting that I needed a range. Got there trying to figure it out. Yeah, it didn't work. Uh, and then I decided to come here for the range. <laughs> this is this has been very complicated. Okay, dragon crossbow, not the offhand. There we go. Now we got a dragon crossbow. Now we can go to the crystal man, uh, just northwest of Uglog, and make ourselves the ascension crossbow. We can finally ascend to the criminal bolts. You know, we went super dry and sexist. I'm just so glad in the end, our luck finally returned and we got the uh, the crossbow limbs on the 12 kill count. That's fantastic. Okay, let's create a crossbow. No. Oh, I forgot the ascension shards, why? Disappointed! Also, in case you were wondering, the eggs turned out just fine. Create crossbow, please. <laughs> yes, create. Yes, create. Yes! 
finally, we got an ascension crossbow. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. It's so nice. All that work, that was so many months of, of grinding. 51,000 kill count just for the one. And then our offhand is, I guess, going to be Death Lotus starts for now. Is there a range difference on these? Seven and six. Okay, so I, I guess I am limited by one square with the darts. That's not a huge deal. Are these elite Death Lotus darts? No, they are not. So I could upgrade these, and that would give me uh, 88. Or I could go get an offhand Chaotic Crossbow, which is level 80. Um, if somebody wants to explain the DPS difference to me in the comment section, that would be greatly appreciated. So I'm back here. <laughs> don't, don't ask why. I'm back uh, because I wanted to just go ahead and make the Serenic uh, shirt again. I need have three thread. God, this is expensive. But yeah, we're going to make the hauberk, and I am not going to put it on this time. I am not going to put it on, okay? <laughs> we, we're we good? We good? I hope we're good. All right, so I made it. Not. I'm going to put, no, no, no. You know what? It, there is a where, there's like a, a confirmation screen, but I'm going to put it in the corner just in case. So craft, we need about uh, 11 more ceramic scales to make the pants. I really, I would have them by now. I would, but uh, I messed up with the first ceramic shirt. So I'm going to go augment this and then I'll put it on. <laughs> so obviously I can't uh, augment my Serenic sweater like I wanted to because I need 36 charges for that. But what I can do is show you the Alchemizer. I have not touched this uh, in several months. I don't even remember what I had in there, but when I first logged in like a week or two weeks ago, it said that I've run out of charges for my invention machine. So let's go ahead and see if I have anything in here. Three. Woo! Yeah, I got some stuff in there. 34 mil. Thank you very much. And I still got some Onyx bolts, but I'm, I'm out of energy. I'd probably buy 99 printer with that. I'm 96. I don't know if it's worth it right now. I mean, I, you know, if I'm going to max, I guess eventually I'd have to. I probably could do some summoning. I probably could do some summoning because all those charms, maybe I should grind the um, the iceberg that sank the Titanic. I also have 5,000 blues, 11,000 crimsons, 24, almost 25,000 green charms and 9,000 golds. Uh, all from my my grind, my caps grind, my kaspepupu grind for this Ascension crossbow, dude. It's sick. And I got a ton of spirit emeralds and sapphires too. Um, yeah, I'm honestly thinking I might do that. Oh, and I have to grind the yaks out now. Oh. So we're here in the next bank. Uh, I just did a kill, and my chat on Twitch reminded me that I can actually unlock this permanently. I won't need to use my ceremonial uh, preset. So there goes 10 mil cash and the frozen key. Thank God I never need that preset ever again. So as we were before, please ignore the interface. Uh, but this should be 80 archaeology, 80 stone and brush. And uh, I still don't have all the pieces I need to make the incandomatic. So we're just going to be rocking the crystal for now. So I forgot about the plank maker. Uh, I saw this was I, as I was coming to check on my alchemizer. And I think we're going to go ahead and just buy this. I went and got 10 saws and it really didn't take that many components to make. Um, I actually, honestly, I don't remember how, but somehow I have 87 construction. I don't remember how I got 87 and I don't know how I'm going to train it up any further, <laughs> but when I do need to train it up, if I do, uh, now we have a plank maker for that. And I know you usually use mahogany. That's like the best way to do it. I think, I don't know. Is there a new way to train construction? I don't think so. Why is my bank so wide? Uh, either way, I have 14,000 teak planks, and I think I can just get more from uh, Kingdom Miscellanea if I ever need more, which I probably will. Okay, I can only put in 2,500. Jeez, man. So you need a bunch of these, huh? Wow, they take a, that's a lot of energy, man. That is a lot of energy. So I'm here at Wars, and I'm just about to unlock the Dark Magic Aura because I just read up on it a little bit at uh, the RS Wiki, and apparently it can boost your DPS or like DPM, whatever, by about five and a half percent, which is pretty decent, uh, particularly when I'm all out of Reckless or I can't use Reckless and I gotta use Sharpshooter, but I already have 
100% accuracy. Iceberg. So I figured might as well get that. It's only 12,500 marks of war. Uh, on the other hand, I need more charges. So I'm only 100 invention. I got that earlier today. I didn't record a clip for that. Um, but I'm going to try and boost to get 101 and then see if I can make a Divinomatic with some of those uh, unfilled charges because I think you get more charges per energy doing that. And or at the very least, it is uh, more AFKable. And Divination is already pretty AFK after the updates they released, but uh, we're, we're going to see what I could do about that. Also, I didn't show you earlier, but I got another piece of the Incando metal. So we uh, just need two more before we can grind out another Matic and make ourselves the Incando Matic. So I was doing some Iceberg and got uh, four more manuscripts of when and my first kill without using any food and I felt pretty good about myself. All right, so I ended up making myself a super invention potion and I can make the divine omatic now. So the nice thing about the player on farms is I can make super invention potions. And by the way, this divine omatic cost 120 imbued components, which is a lot. That's kind of tough to get. Uh, anyways, I unlocked the unfilled uh, divine charges. So now I'm just gonna make a ton of these. Uh, well, I still have this 101 boost, and if I run out, I'm not even gonna get a bother logging in and out. I'm just gonna keep drinking this because I'm lazy. But yeah, now we finally got a divine omatic. <laughs> Hello. I accidentally deleted something very important. I deleted something that took me two months to achieve on my Iron Man. In the spirit of Halloween, I present to you the story of how I accidentally deleted my Ascension crossbow. And unfortunately, this is a true story. Happy Halloween. Please cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Wash your hands before touching your face in public. And most importantly, please enjoy. These nuts. <laughs> It is Nihilus Day, my dudes. I always get yelled at for collecting all my rewards when I shouldn't be, but now I can finally claim the loot and people won't be mad. So that's our first set of Nihilus. I think you need that to make pretty much everything as far as I'm aware. Bro, we just got the Perdix body. That's awesome. That's actually exactly what I wanted because now we don't have to rock the Armadil body anymore. That's so good. I was just finishing off a Reaper task and got the Perdix body on the last kill. Uh, please excuse the gist. <laughs> Look at that. I did it with my friends I've never met before. And still our own task turtle. Wow, we actually killed him. I did bring like 15 super restores and then had to drop about 10 of them before. But I mean... You know, it's pretty good. Let's just open that chest and uh, see what kind of loot we got. That onyx dust, grimy toe flax. Hey, that's not bad. So I was doing some Croceus uh, duo attempts with my buddy Stellaro. We were doing that for at least like two, maybe even three hours. It, it was a long time, a lot of attempts. We got kind of close. Uh, I think the most we did was 12K damage. In theory, we could have gotten 24k damage out of 70. It's not great. Um, eventually I did some some quad kills with Tora. Thank you for that. And uh, I just want to show you the loot for that. Here's one of them. This is the last kill I did. 2.7 mil. I mean, the, the money making here is actually pretty nuts. I don't know how it compares to other money making methods, but it's pretty solid right now. Also, if you take a look at uh, how much I contributed, it should be right. <laughs> Smoke up! I'm here at Player Own Farms and I totally messed up uh, user interface again. And I just got my first Crimson Chinchampa. Daisy. I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw Daisy in here. Well, hopefully the next one we got will be a male. Uh, but I got that one from the Trapper. So, uh, you know, free chins, man. And I started raising rabbits. And God, I got a lot of rabbits in here. It looks like Australia. I started raising rabbits so I can get the teeth because these teeth are used to make extreme hunter potions. These extreme hunter potions I'm trying to make are to help uh, help me out with the new boss, 
Amogus. Still trying to do some duos uh, foolishly. It's not working out very well. I did some, you know, I did some four mans and that was fine. Um, but the, the duos I'm still working on that. Check out this incredible plan I devised with my buddy Stellar. We're going to try this. It's so complicated. I named it so complicated. Basically, check out the squad. We're rolling deep with the stream crew and my 20 FPS. Uh, so we just did a bunch of four mans. I think we did some six mans and then people left. And now we ended up with a four man. It was pretty good. Let's check out the uh, the loot chest. I don't even know how many kills. we. I literally have no idea how many kills we did. But nine. <laughs> Woo, just letting it stack up in there. Is any of this useful? I mean, obviously a lot of it is. Rubies are great. That's for back bolts. Potions, potions. Never going to use the cockatrice eggs. And that's about it. Blue charms. There you go. Hey, I'm here picking some spores off of some dead guards. It's pretty morbid, but I just got level 90 fursona. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm recording this clip. I, I don't even know. You probably don't even know what my hunter was uh, in the last clip. But in the, the last time I leveled up hunter and showed you uh, a level of that, I, I literally don't remember what it was, but I started today with level 82 hunter. And I am now at level 90. This was, I don't even know how many hours. Not, honestly, not that bad. Maybe six. I mean, as you can see, the XP drops here are crazy. 382. It's about every 2.41 seconds to three seconds if you miss. Camp Hunter Lodge, tier three. Oh, that's nice. I think that eliminates a frog. I think that eliminates a frog. I am going to Kermit suicide. Corbicula Rex, neat. And new ports adventurer. The trap. Don't say the dick makes it cuter. Cause that doesn't make it cuter. That makes it even gayer. That makes you. Wow. I literally, I was just about, I was just about to record a video. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Wow. That was great. It's <laughs> a great way to do it. Hey, look at that. 92 fursona. Okay. My first, my fursuit is fan. You should see my first. Let me show you. Here's a picture of my fursuit. <laughs> Anyway, 92, we unlock absolutely nothing. This is a filler clip you've been bamboozled. Well, we are here at the Runecrafting Guild. As you can see in my inventory, I have 27 decorated hunter urns. I made about a hundred and something. I don't remember how many I made, but we're gonna go check the clam now while I um, make this filler clip as long as possible. So basically, I've still been training hunter up. I actually did some uh, big gay hunter as well, which was a lot of fun. And uh, the XP rates are surprisingly slow compared to this AFK method. It's ridiculous. I'm at 93 hunter now. I don't know if I, I don't think I showed you 93, but let's just pop open the clam and see if we get anything. And unsurprisingly, no, but we did get a unique, so I'll be disassembling that. Uh. Hello, I have a little surprise for you and it's not got anything to do with RuneScape. Uh, without stopping the clip, let me go ahead and just do something real quick. Well, what do you think now? This is my vegetarian. <laughs> the microphone I was using back in 2017 um, before I headed off to um, get my master's degree in med school and all that. And I uh, finally got it back. Now that I'm living closer to home, I could I could go and get it. I still don't have my original gaming computer. I did sell that, but I uh, yeah, I made sure to hold on to the microphone because you never know when you'll need a good microphone. <laughs> Hopefully, the future clips will have some nice audio like this, and you uh, won't ever have to hear the terrible sound of me clipping through the roof ever again. <laughs> All right, now, uh, I got a few things to show you, but I can only think of one right now. And that is I can finally buy the Elite Trapper outfit. I did probably like 60 Big Yay. Hunter while, um, well, since the last clip, I did I did a lot. And this isn't this isn't even the outfit, is it? Yeah, it's just the blueprint. So now we're gonna go to the invention bench and unlock it. And then can we make it right away? I, I don't even know. And unfortunately, still no uh, second dragon matic, so I have to keep going with that. Um, but hopefully this outfit will help at uh, Croesus, and that was honestly probably the main the main reason for me getting the outfit. Also, I remembered something else. Uh, you may notice in my offhand, I have enhanced Excalibur. That's right. I actually went and did all of the Sears Village tasks from easy to elite. So I have the enhanced uh, augmented Excalibur, uh, the version that gives you like double the healing time, 
And since I did the Elite Sears tasks, it gives me a plus 2% chance of enchanted uh, bolt tips activating. So that's actually going to help me do a little more damage when I'm bossing with some ruby back bolts, which is actually super, super awesome. Wets I still don't understand what the whetstone is for. Uh, okay, here's the trapper off and here's the wood cutting. Oh, I didn't know I could make more of this. Oh, that's that's interesting. All right. Oh, I can make 10 pieces of trapper outfit. Is that is that the max? I don't I don't I don't know. That doesn't sound correct. It doesn't sound like it's the max, but uh it should give me, yeah, set bonus 5% increase to the hunting success rate. Auto reapplies juju hunting potion herbal habitat. No, but literally literally nobody cares about that. Increased chance of rarer charm sprites from Yak Tui. That also kind of sucks. And three daily teleports to hunter locations. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so it looks like I'm missing actually quite a bit here. I'm missing one uh, chest. I'm missing two leg guards and then two head pieces. Wow, that sucks. Hello. So a second clip with the new mic. I'm still adjusting all the audio settings. So if you hear my voice changing progressively as the clips go on, that's probably why. I actually had to redo a bunch of settings in OBS because for some reason I was getting rid of my old microphone and it crashed OBS. And every time I tried to open it up afterwards, it just crashed on startup. So I literally had to delete every scene in OBS and start all over. And that took so long, so much time. I just don't have any more, unfortunately. <laughs> I accidentally got 75 farming. Um, I don't think it's anything too special about that. And I just got an unchecked red dragon egg. You need 92 farming? <laughs> Wait, you can, you can get, you can get animals from the trapper that you can't even, you can't even raise? I didn't even know that. Bro, we got it. We got the second dragon matic. That is what we needed to make the Imkando matic. Uh, I actually am still missing that last shard of Imkando metal, but we've got our second one, so we can go ahead and, and uh, piece that together whenever I finally get back to archaeology. Here we go. Scope the gains. Hang on. Scope the gains. Scope the gains. Scope the gains. I'm gonna need some more compression, my guy. Gonna need more compression, my guy. Maybe I'll turn the gain down a little bit. The gain, the gain, the gain, the gain. Ah! Testing, 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 test. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I think there is! Yeah! Yeah, buddy. All right, I changed my layout just for this clip. Just for this clip, I changed it. So I was uh, crafting up some granite because I finally want to grind up summoning. And I'm almost done with the granite, as you can see there. Uh, this is the last one I mined. I definitely mined over a thousand, but I only kept the, the 5kg ones because you can break them down into 10. And we have 8,600. I believe that is enough. I have uh, 11,000 Crimson Charms. I just need to get to 89 summoning uh, before I can start using my water talismans. Oh boy, we're definitely going to have to grind some uh, some iceberg that sank the Titanic a little bit. Because I have 5,600 blue charms and only 1,400 water talismans. So I think I've got enough granite to make uh, granite lobsters up to 89 summoning. And then from there, I'm going to take over with water talismans, hopefully to 96. As I'm here in the Invention Guild because I just unlocked the full Arctic tra uh, Trap Lord set. Okay, I pull up. How about at the Time to peep the gains. We're going to open up the Croesus chest. And 23.6 mil in loot is pretty solid, dude. We just did, I think we did like two hours of Amogus loot. So that was... <laughs> Sorry, I actually got a whole ass onyx, which is the first time I've gotten one of those, and 347 uncut rubies. Dude, I never, I never have to worry about ruby back bolts ever again. My dudes, we are restoring ogre Kia Keys axes, and I've got three of them. And I uh, just needed two though for 83 archaeology. This is important because now we can access the next area in the Warforge site. 
and start working on that uh, Imkando Matic. And I didn't show you before, but I got the last piece, the uh, the last chunk of Imkando metal. So I have all four, I just needed 83 to access the new area. And I'll actually uh, go ahead and show you that now. So it should be right through this barricade here. And uh, one of the things I need through here are like 12 keys or whatever to unlock the forge uh, that I need to make the Incandomatic. And I already have one of them. Uh, so I need 11 more and I'm pretty sure they're all locked behind here, except for that first one that I got. 12 seconds later. Yeah, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. A few moments later. I'm still here. There I am. One hour later. I'm still here. I made some progress, thank God. Two hours later. Yep. Still here. Six hours later. I'm here. There I am. The next day. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Three days later. Oh my God, I'm still not done yet. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. I don't have anything better to do. Except, you know, lots of things. Several days later. This is the life, man. This is my life. And I'm going to live it the way I, I want. It's my money, and I want it at some point. Three weeks later. I'm just ch chipping away. Just chipping away. Many months later. I don't know. This doesn't seem like a project I'd bring a Matic to. It feels more like a project I'd bring a fire axe to. Or maybe a bazooka. Some dynamite. Maybe anything a little more powerful than a matic. Much later. Yo, is this taking like a solid 30 minutes to do or what? I'm, how am I still here? Much, much later. Oh! Just then. Oh! Yesterday. Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Later. In the void. I kissed a girl and I liked it. Several song-filled hours later. And my inventory is full. What the sh? Eventually. Uh my god. Uh. Oh my god. Two very boring minutes later. Oh. Seventy years later. What do you think is in that hole down there? Huh? I think that's um. Bandos' anus. Let me Siren God Bazooka spec this this uh, excavation site. One semester later. You ever look at somebody and wonder what is going on inside their head? Hamter. Okay, finally we did it. Jeez, the twisty turny staircase. My vocabulary is astounding. A twisty turny. Twisty, give him the old dick twist. Yeah, twist his dick. Oh, hey, look, this guy's doing the same. No, he's not. Uh, so anyways, I figured it out. I found him. I got all the keys. It actually didn't take too long to get all the keys. So let's just make the matic and get the hell out of here. So there it is, I got the, the tier 80, which actually acts as an Elder Rune Matic. Um, so this is much better than the crystal one I have. Unfortunately, the crystal one has these really nice uh, augments on it, the Hone 4 Imsold 5. So I gotta try and get that on the Imkando Matic now. Hello. I wanted to record this clip for two reasons. First of all, um, thank you for watching so far. If you've enjoyed the video, then... Anyways, um, I just got 76 farming, which is totally kind of useless, actually. Oh, I can make a medium dino pen now. Great. I can put my absolutely nothing in it. I'm raising frogs. frogs. I have frogs now. Oh, and I'm breeding chinchampas now. Finally, I got a... Did I t do it? I don't remember if I recorded this or not. I literally... I don't know. But I have a male and a female chinchampa. I got a crimson, a viridian, and a gray. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm really hoping that somehow some weirdness happens in the genetic code and we get some red chinchampas. I need those throwing ones so I can make mech chins for Glacor. I just sincerely hope the ozone in RuneScape is just 
terrible, worse than Earth's ozone, and capable of making some serious UVB light penetration happen so we can get some great mutation going on and get some red chinchampas. Anyways, now check out the bank. Check out the bank space. Okay, 820. That's actually a lot less than the last time you saw my bank. But look at all this junk in my main tab. Now look at all this archaeology crap. All right, and I'm going to tell you why I got all this archaeology crap. Did we just become best friends? I think so, you eat ass. I'm here in the Archaeology Guild and you'll see the obnoxious golden arrow that's been here for a day now. <laughs> I spent at least six hours completing everything I needed to do to get the associate rank here. I literally took at least six hours, maybe closer to eight hours, but here it is. We got it. It's happening again. Is it Tony reaching out to us? Hey, Tony. Tony, go back to hell, Tony. I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm busy. All right, there we go. Associate degree. Associate qualification, not the de associate degree. Woo! I actually have a master's of association in associates, of a, of a degree in associates. Did you know that? Now you do. So I did that um, because on my stream, oh, you should check out my stream, by the way, twitch.tv forward slash quest of good, just saying that. Name drop under the associate uh, shop. I can get the auto screener. Unfortunately, I only have 41,000 chronos, so I can't buy it right away. Because I've heard the screener makes archaeology even more AFK. And I do enjoy AFK. It does use divine charges, but uh, who cares? Okay. Oh, also, I desperately need the material storage upgrade. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm completely full. I don't know how, but I'm totally full. I've had to drop stuff out of my material storage box. So I don't know what I'm, I don't know. You know what I mean? You know, you know? Oh, also my Matic. Jeez, I am like ADHD reincarnate over here in this clip. I got honed for an Imsold for, so it's not as good as the Crystal Matic. I had uh, Imsold 5, but it's still pretty good. Whatever, we got it. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then, um, and then, uh, and then, and then, um, and then, um, you ever just, you ever wanted you, uh, you okay. I'm, you know what? I'm going to get the Matic precision. Pres no, I'm going to, I'm going to save up. I think I'm, <sighs> I'm going to save up. I added shadows grace. Okay. So I did the whole what is that one called in the new archaeology place that's like tier 60? That's how I was able to get the associates, masters of associates, association of this. It basically allows me to blade a dive and surge um, and reduce. It's basically like mobile, but um, without needing a perk for it. So, you know, remember when I got that enhanced Excalibur? It was pretty much for nothing. Just completed our first kill over 100% in rage and I feel like a boss. So I just did like a whole 45 minutes of Amlod hour and then with, with six minutes on the clock, somebody tells me I can make an attuned crystal teleport seed and just in, in infinitely teleport to the bank here. Wait, where did that go? Let ya, why did I, why did I do that? Activate, there it is, it fell. Oh my God. Great. Well, that'll speed up the summoning runs. Yo, 12K HP, I hope you're watching. I hope you're watching. Hope you're enjoying from home. If I get this, if I get this last one, this will be my first K. Okay, there it is. My first KK solo. Sheesh. Oh my goodness. He is beginning to believe. Uh, okay, it was practice mode, but still, that was uh, that was pretty good, dude. That was pretty solid. It's a little inconsistent. I tried it with range at first. Very inconsistent on trying to skip the range greens. Um, I think melee is the way to go. And I, obviously, melee with the hard desert tasks is definitely the way to go. But I don't have those done. There we go. That's our first kill out of practice mode. I got so many green healing shields for all for Snapdragon seeds. Incredible. 
I'm not even gonna pick those up. I'm I I feel disgusted at the thought of seeds as a drop. Cool nine minute ten second kill by the way. That was great. Hey, I'm here going to Thalman's Forge. I just recorded a clip of me completing the archaeologist outfit. It was great. It was a great clip. I completed it. I was telling you all about how I, I upgraded the Maddox Precision as well, and I have the auto screener, and I'm set, dude. The only thing I need left is the uh, material storage, but uh, yeah, I had to redo it because when I was selecting which microphone to use, I accidentally misclicked the uh, default MacBook Pro microphone. <laughs> I mean, it's not that big of a difference, but you can hear the difference, and uh, please... I'm all about quality. quality. Also, uh, I'm at 89 archaeology now, 43,000 XP away from 90. It's really cool because we're only 2 million, X, 2 million XP away from 93, I think is 93. Yeah, pretty 93 because at 95 we can get the um, ancient invention unlocked. But I just need to get to 93 and then get like a two level boost and hopefully that'll be in. Oh, I just took my hand off my mouse and there was a big like wet stain on the mouse from my palm. God, palms are sweaty, knees weak. Holy crap, it's a Yeti. I wanted to mention that uh, I've been doing some Cal Fight King. There he is, 128 kills. Most of these were duo uh, with my buddy Stellaro. I actually learned how to solo and I did some solos on stream. That was pretty neat. Then I did a bunch, like 20 Austrian. Solos are so unbelievably slow. It takes like seven and a half minutes <laughs> on average to do one solo. And it's not even consistent because sometimes I'll just skip an attack when the minions spawn. Um, and really that's actually my only complaint. I was thinking about getting the Karis with the hard desert diary, um, which boosts your accuracy and damage done to Calfi King. But here's the catch. Seven quest requirements. Bruh. So I just did some uh, troll invasion. I actually did troll invasion, geez, when I do this, like an hour and a half ago. And then I had to go to work. And now I'm back here to record the clip. So this uh, reward book has been sitting in my inventory for a very long time. But we're going to slap that on our blur um, as usual. And hopefully, yes, it was enough for 96 weed. <laughs> I get the, I just have the best names for all of the skills, dude. 96 weed. We can finally grow a marijuana and make some overloads, which is fantastic. Super prayer renewal. Wow. If only the farming level for all this stuff, huh? We also have a third action bar for Calfi uh, King. I was bringing a melee and a range switch. <laughs> it was very sweaty. I even got the um, curse switches on the action bar. I'll, I'll use in shift now. I feel like a, a real pro. Hello, another clip with my ridiculous UI. Gonna go ahead and study a complete tome and this will take us to 92 tablet with brush. Incredible, that's halfway to level 99 tablet with brush. This isn't totally a filler clip. Um, one more level and I can boost to complete the ancient invention uh, gizmo thingy, thingy me do, do hickey, the blueprint that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the blueprint. Um, but I, I don't actually think I can access Ancient Invention until I actually get level 95 because you have to send out a research team and you can't boost for that, uh, according to the wiki. So I might have been wrong this whole time. No shit. I'm here, I'm getting that uh, material storage upgrade finally. There's 25,000 crow notes down the drain. Uh, very useful though. I've literally got a bunch of materials in my bank. I'm going to transfer over now. I really don't understand why I was not completing collections sooner. I would have had this so much quicker. I don't know, dude. It's it's ridiculous. I'm almost like professor level here. Let's see. For the professor, I'm just missing uh, some of the collections still, and then sending out the research team, which isn't too bad. You just need chronos for that. There's really nothing that I actually want too badly at the professor level, apart from the precision upgrade, and then guild master. Yeah, that's kind of insane. You do need that for the. Uh, the meteorite shard to make the uh, Matic of Ark and Song or whatever it's called. But uh, that's a long time away. I'm just here for ancient invention, man. Oh, sheesh. There we go. Just 11,000. Literally 11,000 XP drop just from the decorated farming urns. So that's 80 farming. The reason I wanted to show you this level is because now I've unlocked the ability to make the master farmer outfit.
the fifth 1,000 beans, you guys, 6,800. We are climbing the ranks. And then I guess I just spend the rest of my beans on Master Farmer Fragment Packs. Why not? I was looking into um, the uh, essence of finality. I need rumbling components, which you get from Calphite King. They're dry gores. They're... Uh, tectonic. But yeah, you need two rumbling components, which is just like one dry gore. You need 117 invention, which is boostable. So I do have the level for that. And I need one more Hydrix, and I have 124 Reaper points. I think it's 300. So we're getting there. I haven't done a Reaper task in a long time. Um, so we're pretty close. I literally just need a dry gore and some Reaper points, and we could get an Essence of Finality loaded up with the Dark Bow spec. Dude, that'd be sick at... Uh, at uh, the iceberg that sank the Titanic and, you know, pretty much anywhere. If you take a look in my inventory, I have seven ancient caskets. So I, I went and uh, made all of the Tetra compasses, uh, went and dug them all up. So I'm going to show you that in a second. But I've also got a, a Triskelion key, which gives me a magic seed. Oh, and two U's. Okay, that's actually pretty good farming XP right there. And let's pop open the ancient caskets. Hopefully we get some nice stuff. 50 binding contracts. That's interesting. Only one complete tome, but 50. Oh my God, that's a lot of blue charms, dude. That's really nice. Open. Uh, what's this? Okay, so a bunch of the consumables. That's interesting too. And I, all of these artifacts, I have no idea. I'll probably just have to get rid of those, honestly, because... I don't think I can uh, make any of them. I wonder if it's worthwhile using those consumables. I always like, ah, save them till you're a higher level, but I've never actually bothered. Oh, a master, wow. Okay, I think this is our second master clue scroll. That's pretty neat. I've never actually done one. I, I don't think I, well, maybe I'd have the requirements, but I highly doubt it. Another back-to-back <laughs> -back master clue scrolls. Look at that. Wow. Owen Wilson says, wow. Dude, so many consumables, too. 50 onyx dust, nice. Another one. Another master clue scroll. What is this? Orgone? I have never seen that before. Wow. And uh, thanks for the coins. Dude, I'm going to have so many materials. Great. How many masters have I gotten? Okay, so that's that's the end of our master streak. Only one complete tome as well. We've been getting kind of unlucky with the complete tomes, huh? The first one I opened, I got two from it. Um, not on the, Not in this clip. Uh, but uh, before that, I opened nine in total. Uh, oh, no, eight in total. So here's the last one. And two complete tomes. There we go. All right, so we got our two tomes. Bunch of consumables. Maybe I'll use them. Maybe not. Golden dragon fruit, I heard, is pretty good. But I think you need over 100-something farming for that. So it's wasted on me, let's be honest. I'm going to go use these complete tomes. And then, oh, hey, wait a minute. This looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> what What is this, two episodes ago? Three episodes ago now? Uh, Sigma male. Enjoying the view. Just did the first ball movement in several months now. We're going to go ahead and loot it. And nothing. 1,500 techies. Pretty good, though. I didn't actually tank this one because I haven't tanked in forever. And I knew I'd die. So I just uh, joined the Iron PBM and waited for someone to say that they wanted to do BM. And so here we are. We have uh, 11,775 tech. We can actually get our first ability at 15,000. Uh, so just need a few more and we're set. All right, just need one more animal fur here. Just trying to make this uh, Beast Keeper helm, but turns out I don't even need to to get this level. That is level 95, tablet and brush. Uh, finally, we can make our ancient uh, invention gizmos. We just, I need to make the blueprint for it. I uh, gotta send off a research mission. I think I, not in that order. I think in the opposite order. And then we should be good to go. But uh, finally, that's the arc grind done for now. Um, and I'm gonna have to respec all my perks, figure out what I need to get good perks. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Hopefully this will increase my DPS by a substantial amount. I have Zygomites now that I'm raising. Uh, cause I finally got to level 81 farming. I started planting magic trees. They're like 16,000 XP each. So uh, just a hair better than Chinchampas, which is kind of surprising. Uh, but it, I think it's much faster than Chinchampa since you get five plots and it's like, you get to check them once a day, pretty much. Um, I'm feeding them. You're not going to like it. I'm feeding them my, uh, Mortmire fungus, which I have like 700 of from Croesus. Fortunately, otherwise I, I wouldn't know what to feed these these MFs, but uh, I tried to actually respec them. I got this one to be joyful. Um, this one I couldn't get anything on, but apparently you can respec them 
if you have two traits, you can get joyful and immune. And so they'll always be 100% health, 100% happiness, and you never have to feed them. And that's apparently ideal for zygomites. Um, that way you don't actually have to feed them fungus. So I got one joyful. So hopefully we'll make some more joyfuls. But I need to get uh, multiple traits before I can reroll for that other one. Also, I ran out of beans, so I can't reroll anything else. And um, I feel kind of bad. I really want to get rid of the spiders for more farming XP. But I this is giving me like a plus 2%. DPS boost at uh, Araxor, which I don't even know if that's worthwhile because I haven't even done Araxor in several months, despite having a uh, Reaper task of three of them. <laughs> Is the 2% DPS boost here really worth it versus getting uh, uh, getting our uh, farming up faster? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll just put, you know what? Maybe I'll just take some of these, put them in a bank. Yeah, put them in the bank for a while and then... Uh, just raise zygomites in here once I get enough of them. Hey, I'm just here uh, in the Amla district training some summoning, and I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. It's pretty slick, pretty quick. I learned it in Twitch. It doesn't rhyme, but I tried. Um, so basically, I just teleport back and forth from the whatever district this is. The jeez, uh, I don't even remember. I don't remember the Harp district. <laughs> That's all I remember from my uh, hardcore Iron Man crafting days. Uh, and then I teleport to the Amla district here, and I just keep going back and forth. It's, it's super quick. But anyways, I just want to show you 89 summoning. Um, I can finally do... Actually, let me go ahead and change my preset real quick. All right, so I just changed my preset, and uh, we're going to keep going here. I'm using Water Talismans now because I can get uh, Geyser Titans. That was the important part about 89. It's just going to boost the XP a bit. Uh, I was getting 9.5k XP drops before. What am I getting now? 20 to 23k xp drops what a, what a boost dude jeez <laughs> so i just use i use this uh, attuned crystal teleport seed and i have it all uh bond to hockey so i just hit r it pulls up this menu then i hit three uh which is here three so i took my mouse off but and it'll teleport me to amlod and then i pull up bladed dive uh, I used the blade dive to get around that sharp corner there, and then I just surge the rest of the way, and it's it's super fast. 26k with the summoning focus. <laughs> hey, so I'm here in Clan Wars. I haven't been here in years. Um, we're gonna go in the uh, the red portal here with uh, Stellaro, and I got my ceramic hauberk, and I'm gonna have him kind of cross this. I'm gonna have him kill me, and hopefully, uh, I get some ceramic scales out of this. I tried to kill myself earlier in the wilderness with a big demon, and um, it's kind of like the casting couch, but it, <laughs> it was me and demons. Uh, it didn't work. It just dropped the serenic hauberk on the floor. I didn't know that would happen. There we go. Stop. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Here's the, here's the moment of the truth. Will I get my scales back? Please give my scales back. Please give my scales back. All right, it's gone. And moment of truth. Go in, scales. Bruh, that's lame. Oh, maybe, they, maybe they'll appear. Okay, that's probably it. I probably have to wait a while. Okay, so they, they appeared for him. Okay, so I'm, <laughs> I gotta wait this minute out. It's gonna be the longest minute of my life. I hope I get my scales back. That would be so great. I'm doing this now because I just unlocked uh, Ancient Invention and I would like to augment uh, serenic chaps instead of using the next chaps that I have. So I'm really hoping that these will pop up sometime soon. Yeah. Oh! This is not the clip I wanted to record. I made some ancient invention perks got my precise six uh equilibrium four enhanced devoted great i made the hauberk ch serenic chaps you see these in my inventory the equipment dissolver for some reason i thought these would dissolve the augment so that i could put a new one on with these new perks I made, these new gizmos. They don't do that. Turns out they're very true to their name. They literally delete whatever item you use them on.
And so I was going to use all of these. I had four. I was going to use all of these on my crossbows, my ceramic, in order to put new perks on them. But uh, as you can see, only one is missing because it only took one for me to learn a very permanent and painful lesson. My girlfriend is literally laughing at me in the other room because I had to take a 10 to 15 minute timeout after this happened to recompose myself. So you see, let me, I'm not even going to tell you what's missing. You can figure it out. I've got, I was going to, why couldn't I have used it on the, on this first? I really wish I could have used it on the chaotic because I got tokens, man. I got tokens. Look, there's nothing. I'm not equipped to anything. Let's go ahead and search the bank. It's the final proof that I hate myself. And look, 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 I got the, I got it back, man. I got the weapon gizmo. And here is a brief compilation of how I feel right now. You got a tight little man Peter. on you, don't you? Oh, it stinks. Hey, yo, pee pee poo poo check. <laughs> it's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Roxy's only fans. Wow! Okay. <laughs> Previously on Super Idol. I accidentally deleted my ascension crossbow ah. you want something go get it period try to be the reason a stranger gets diarrhea today <laughs> <laughs> To every vein in your forehead is throbbing right now. Hey yo, what the fuck? Yes, my forehead is throbbing. Both of them. Oh, that's so good. Oh. Let's see what kill count that was. That was 337. You wanna know how many uh, uh, ascension creature kill count I have? 45,000. Plus one prestige. Oh, okay. That means I have 105,000 kills to get this freaking ring. I was at 51,000 kills for the last week. I uh, told myself I wasn't going to record anything until I finally got that freaking Ascension crossbow back. And I didn't quite get it back, but the sexist signet ring is what I was lacking. And I was super dry on that. The reason I'm recording this clip is because uh, I got absolutely nothing. Now have, uh, as you see in the chat box, 15,330 techie. Uh, which is all I needed to finally get one of the ability codices, the range. Okay, this is the one I want. I want this one first. I don't know what I'm going to get second, maybe Onslaught, maybe the Mage uh, equivalent. But uh, we're going to read this, and we finally have um, this freaking ability. <laughs> this is taken. I should have gotten this much sooner in this account, but this is a freaking awesome ability. It's finally another AoE. This is 30 to 100% ability damage, 33 and it hits every 1.2 seconds for six seconds. It's just so much better than Ricochet. Also, while I'm here, I might as well show you, I went back to uh, Tormented Demons to try and get the, the limb so we can make the Ascension Crossbow again. Still very salty, I lost it by the way, but I'm, I've gotten over that bridge. And I got these Dragon Claws at uh, Kill Count 23, which is pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, Essence of Finality is our, is our next goal after I get the Ascension Crossbow back. We did it! We finally did it! the signet ring number five and that is the entire bow completed i uh, have all the signet rings now i got the dragon crossbow limbs let me just show you all the kill counts well let me let me show you the loot first all right there are all the signet rings we'll throw the dragon limbs in there and i've still got almost 200 of every keystone left 
the exception of Sextus, because I went incredibly dry again on Sextus. I went over four times the drop rate. Let me show you how many Legion kills I have. 527 in that much kill count, uh, about 27 less, I should have gotten two bows, and I did get two bows. So I, technically I was just a hair over uh, the expected drop rate. In case you were wondering, I haven't recorded a clip since that bow disappeared because I told myself I was gonna get it back before we did anything else. So let's go finally get it back. Actually, while we're making our way downtown, let me go ahead and show you how many Tormented Demons I killed. 459, that's for two Dragon Crossbow Limbs and a set of Dragon Claws. I got um, the first set of limbs at eight. Second drop I got was Claws at 23, and then it took all the way to 459 to get another drop. So I went a little dry there too for the second pair, but that's all right. That's all right. This was actually absolutely a miserable experience and I really disliked it, uh, every aspect of it. I ended up making aggro overloads. I clicked manually every time for that first crossbow. But aggro overloads, not only are, there, are they faster, but it's entirely AFK. So I used those and then at the very end, I discovered uh, incense. So I was making lant, uh, lantadime incense sticks and this was taking my overloads from six minutes to eight minutes duration. I mean, it was, it was super, uh, super worth it. I wish I'd discovered that earlier. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you was that uh, I got 118 range from that grind. Literally 13 mil XP away from 120. Yes, create. Ah, oh, shit. shit, here we go. Here we go again. <laughs> there it is, Ascension Crossbow. It's been two weeks. I have not recorded for two weeks because every day, I tell you Saturday, October 30th, get a day off, being a work day, coming back from the clinic, I would spend every waking moment there. But yeah, I don't know if I fully explained it um, in the last episode or not, maybe I was just too shell-shocked, but basically this this entire incident happened because I unlocked uh, Ancient Invention, 95 Archaeology. I was trying to un- augment my Ascension Crossbow because I thought there was only one device that did that. This is what I was looking for. Now, I didn't know that there was also a gizmo dissolver and an equipment dissolver. Anyway, I made this, and that was the worst mistake of my life. Are you sure about that? We're bing chilling. We're hunt you and bing chilling. We're, we're good now. We're... We big chilling. We big chilling. Oh, also, I got the, the Malcolm. I got Malcolm, the freaking invention pet. Isn't that neat? Literally got the invention pet doing the grind because I'm at 107 invention now. I used a bunch of charges. I had to stop multiple times to get more charges. It was not fun. And I have uh, how many? I have 123 serenic scales and I have um, basically full serenic, augmented serenic chaps, augmented serenic hauber, and crackling four, relentless five. Don't have biting, so that's the best I, I could do. And this one is enhanced devoted four, impatient three. And I'm just gonna go augment uh, the Ascension Crossbow and hopefully slap the same perks that my Nox Bow has on it, Precise 6 and Equilibrium 4. And uh, hopefully I don't uh, ever dissolve this crossbow. I have possibly the craziest clip for you that I've ever recorded. Yeah, so you know how I spent like two weeks getting it back and all that? Well, last week, before I got it back, I got really desperate. And I mean really desperate. I was like very upset that I just couldn't get it back four times over the drop rate, yada, yada, yada. And I just log on today. Today's Halloween. I, I just finished uploading the Halloween video. Last week I got really desperate. I sent Jagex an email. No, God! This was after looking through Reddit and uh, seeing that this has happened to people in the past. <gasps> They've used uh, equipment dissolvers on their weapons and accidentally deleted them. <gasps> and I've seen a lot of people just giving up hope. <gasps> they said they'd got it, their, their stuff back like weeks, months later, <gasps> or whatever. Um, and then I saw two people that said they actually reached out to Jagex and they got their item back. <gasps> So anyways, um, yeah, that's just a little, little backstory. Probably didn't happen to me, right? Uh, except I have this Ascension crossbow here and I thought to myself, huh, I don't remember putting it here. And then I hover over it and I see that it's not augmented. So then I just do a quick search of my bank. And I see that I have two 
ascension crossbows? <gasps> So basically, I log in today. Today's Sunday. I didn't know Jagex was even working on Sundays. They, I, I'm pretty sure they gave me. Yeah, they literally gave me my Ascension crossbow back. That is, that's pretty freaking insane. There we freaking go. <laughs> I gotta say, I made two really big mistakes so far i mean and the hub the hubberk wasn't that big of a deal the ascension crossbow deletion that was ridiculous and and yet somehow both times those errors were completely amenable and again thank you so much jigx if there are any moderators watching this i really appreciate you guys i can't believe i have two freaking ascension crossbows dude i never have to do that grind again yeah Bra oh no 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 don't die don't die don't die don't die don't die don't die where is it where is it there it is we got the rapier I'm freaking stunned I can't grab it Jeez. <laughs> give me that rapier we're getting out of here finally we gotta kill oh no thank you Stellar for defending me I had to I almost died because I had to run in the other room plug in my mic turn it on Ugh, it was it was rough but we got it. Um, and that was the main hand, so that's actually, let's compare that to the Blade of Nomura because that was what we were rocking before. You do not have enough bank space. This is what angina feels like. There it is, jeez, 1816 versus 1720, god. Almost 100 uh, improvement, which is really good. I'm glad I wasn't a mace main hand, but technically we do have enough uh, rumbling components to make the EOF. Now, probably gonna get uh, one more, I'll just hang on to this, but uh, yeah, thank you, Stellaro. He actually beat me. He got a Drygor along first. That was uh, on our 256th kill. That was perfectly on, on drop rate, wasn't it? 1 in 256 for that specific Drygor. 1 in 30-something for any Drygor. But yeah, we went, we went pretty dry on this, and then we just got two in this this uh, same three-hour trip. So pretty nice. 12 seconds later. I got another one. I have seven female wives. <laughs> I got a Drygor mace. <laughs> So I have to disassemble this one and I'll get my uh, essence of finality. Um, geez, that was 261. So what, five kills later? Pretty solid, dude, pretty solid. So now the only thing I think I'm missing is uh, 300 Reaper points, 124. Oh boy, so now we're gonna do some Slayer, some some Reaper tasks, I mean. I've heard Croesus is really good. I think you get like 32 points per, um, but I have to complete this uh, Rax task. I haven't done Rax in several months. So one of the things we got to do to get that essence of finality is get 50 fortunate components. Oh! I currently have 27, so I'm a little over halfway. But the way we get fort components is through doing clue scrolls. And unfortunately, I hate clue scrolls. So I read up on Reddit that the best way to get fort components is to just do a bunch of easy clues. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, medium and hard clues and convert them to easies. And hopefully 63 easy clue scrolls will be uh, enough to get us 50 fortunate components. Nope. So I'm gonna disassemble the rapier, not the uh, mace. Turns out they do equal ability damage. It's uh, even though the, the rapier has more uh, attack damage, attack rating, that's just because the mace is actually a fastest weapon. Uh, whereas the rapier is just fast. So that's how they do the same damage. I didn't know that. And the mace has plus nine prayer. So that's actually pretty crazy. A reaper tab. We've got 210 reaper points. We only need 300. So 90 more. That's honestly, I've been getting about 30 points per day. So it's probably about three more days. So hopefully we can get these, uh, these easy uh, clue scrolls going and, uh, God, I hate clue scrolls. There is a totem that, um, shortens clue scrolls by one step. Let me see if I have that. Okay, apparently you get the base by pulling free 20 Zygomites. I have no idea how many Zygomites I've pulled up, but I'm actually gonna go do that because that is gonna save me a lot of steps. This is a voiceover. Managed to kill Zuck after multiple hours of attempting. <laughs> it was pretty rough. I don't know how people managed to do this uh, without banking. It's, uh, it was pretty intense. I tried a few times after this, uh, died a bunch. It wasn't, it wasn't very good. I started using Ruby, but criminal bolts. And it's like, it's just, I do like, I died on the third challenge where 
you got a barricade because I just didn't have enough adrenaline. So I don't know. I'm, I'm I formulated a, a new strategy for that. We'll see how that goes in the future. But in the meantime, there's our first Zuck kill. Got a bunch of alcohols from it. Not sure um, what else in there is worthwhile. Um, but yeah, hoping we can get that uh, those cape upgrades in the near future. Essence of Finale, I think, is definitely going to help. And I'm actually considering bringing some more obsidian armor pieces uh, for just for like the general rounds. Maybe that'll help, too. Well, it's about my time of the month again. So let's go ahead and pop open the oyster. And uh, I think that's a fort component. Rune G is only 184k, though, so I'm not sure about that. Oh, no, it's not fort components. Man, that's lame. 13 easy caskets in my inventory now i uh, haven't opened any of them i just wanted to do them in mass still have 27 four components so let's just go ahead and pop a few open oh man i'm gonna need a lot of these here we go all right here's one later only got four components in 13 caskets all right Yo, I'm dummy tired, but we finally got a uh, a U composite bow. And now we can disassemble it for a $19 Fortnite component. And specifically, that would be our very last Fortnite component that we need to make an essence of finality. I uh, got a bunch of um, God book pages. I don't think any of them are useful. Uh, we just need the Reaper points now for that last Hydrix. We're still at, uh, well, I don't know. I don't think I showed you this. I'm at 236 now. Let's see what it's going to be. Is it going to be something good? Please be something good. Sauce. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. So this is probably the highest kill streak and enrage I've ever gotten at Iceberg, and I did it all without dying. No shit. Oh shit, why did I even say, why did I fucking say that? I'm talking to Twitch right now, what the shit? I don't know, I'm gonna cut that out. No, I'm not. I well, alright, maybe I will. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> YouTuber voice, that's it. I don't know, what, what? Yeah, that's it. What the hell is this? Got some more Nihilus, uh, hmm. Now, I know, I know what you're thinking. The last clip I showed you was me at some very impressive kill streak, and I'm at a kill streak of one. I didn't die, okay? I actually just collected the loot because I got a uh, frozen core of Lang, but I uh, don't have a clip of it because the OBS um, crashed and I, I can't even show the frozen core of Lang to you in my bank because um, <coughs> whenever I try to open my bank, the bank crashes. So I need to file a complaint again. And hopefully Jagex will give me a third Ascension crossbow for a, um, a flanking or Gricko switch. That'd be great. Thank you. What a great duo, guys. Thanks for letting me watch. Well, here I am at the very bottom of the Rago pit. Uh, it's midday. I didn't even know I had a filter on until they told me that you won't see the shadows of him about to stomp on your face if you had a, if you have a freaking uh, skybox. I didn't even know that. Yep. Four Rago kills. I died once. Um, it was honestly pretty, it was challenging. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely challenging to learn. Um, I did the very nice and extremely complicated task of leech DPS, uh, which as you can imagine is extraordinarily difficult. The way we divvied up the loot was we didn't use loot share and we just kind of, um, took turns, um, smashing Rago in the face with a big hammer. And they let me do it a couple times because... They have like 700 kill count each, so thanks thanks to Scoots. Oh, look at that, I can already make a tectonic mask. That's pretty neat. I don't have any stones of binding, but uh, yeah, we'll get there. I guess we'll get there eventually. Nope. Now I need to get uh, hopefully the last Reaper task we need for EOF, so let's just uh, check our assignment here. Great, I have to log. Oh, God. Eight racks. Okay, I think that is... I think that's the 32 points, so that's actually great. I... Not a huge fan of doing racks anymore, but I will do it. I will do it for that EOF, so let's go get that done. So I didn't get uh, my 300 Reaper points, unfortunately. I was too shy, and that was honestly... I was a little disappointed. I was definitely a little disappointed. But I did get a spider leg middle. Completely unnecessary spider leg middle. I also had two onyxes uh, during that kill, which was really nice. That's, that's one thing I do miss about doing racks is all the onyxes. 
uh, because I had 18 onyxes when I came back to this. I now have uh, one. Now we have two freaking legs in the bag, dude. What, what am I gonna do with two legs? I just need a fang. They're 129 mil each, bro. Oh my God. Yeah, so I literally only needed the fa one for the fang. I already had it. This is just, this is just overkill at this point. I mean, I guess it's uh, noxious components, which is used for something biting. I think it's biting, which is like a plus 5% DPS boost. So that's actually not bad, but I don't have, I don't have any other hilts. If I get any repeat hilts, then I'm actually, that's actually going to be pretty good because then I'll have enough for that, uh, that perk, which will be nice. There we go. That's a Zandra's quest complete. I'm trying to do this quest line so I can get the freaking Pontifex ring finally for the uh, Elder God Wars dungeon thing. Uh, mostly for to not get stunned by Karapak with those uh, launches he does. So that is really why I'm doing this. I did a mini quest before this because I hadn't done that either. Um, so I just need, I think I just need one more quest and that's the uh, City of Sintistan. New ancient magic spells, which probably nobody uses if I had to guess. And the ability to restore the Pontifex Shadow Ring. I had to find something to occupy my time while I was waiting for one more freaking uh, Reaper task so I can get two more points. And so I was like, yeah, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll finally go get this damn ring. All right, and here is the... Wow! We just needed a Zandra's quest in order to make the ring, so I just wanted to show you me doing that. But I think you need City of Sintistan in order to supercharge it or something like that. It's a tier one luck plus 1% 1 divination XP. I didn't know that. Oh, we did it. We did it. City of Sintistan and 251 QPW. Fantastic. Now we can finally charge up our Pontifex observation ring. Uh, I think it's just 1,000 of each type of animal, but I'm pretty sure you can uh, supercharge it with 5,000 of each which I do not have. Why not, you stupid bastard? Okay, we just learned some, and we just learned some ancient magics as well. We got four spells from a Zandra. I believe supercharging it just makes the ring passive, so you don't actually have to wear it. Oh boy, I don't even have a thousand anima of jazz. Oh man, how do you even get that anima? Oh, that's from Karapak, isn't it? Oh, nuts. The day has finally come. Well, there it is. 109 invention. I've been waiting so long for this day. I'm just kidding. Um, oh, did I say invention? I meant 109 light bulb. I actually have all the pieces in my inventory finally to make uh, the essence of finality. So we're going to do that. I was just unlocking rumbling components and some extra stuff. Quite a few things we need to do for this. So here's the alchemical hydrix. Very nice. Very nice. So let me just go ahead and fix all these other necklaces. It kind of sucks I gotta waste some uh, some prime onyxes on these, but I actually don't need onyxes anymore. Uh, once I fix these, uh, well, okay, that's not true. I will need some onyxes, but not, not as many, because um, to repair the essence of finality, I actually need to use alchemical hydrixes. <laughs> you, you grind them in a dust, you get 10, and each dust um, repairs 50%. So I won't need as many onyxes anymore, which is good because I was actually running out. I had to dip into my onyx dust. So there we go, they're fully recharged. Just to give you a little price check, and first off, the bonus is 46 is the highest for the amulet, so it's 36 for the Reaper necklace. Uh, we're gonna combine those in a second, but some price checks here. It offers for 100K, that's great. <laughs> Right, you can't price check them. They're both about 75 mil, and Alchemical I Hydrix, I think, is 150, 154 mil. Uh, and so we're going to combine these. Hopefully, this works. Confirmation. Is there supposed to be text here? Something's fucky. All right, there we go. There it is. Woo! 56 bonuses to everything. Seven prayer and the combined passive effects of the um reaper and the souls amulet very nice and it's 307 mil <laughs> holy crap watch your profanity i'm pretty sure this is the single most expensive item i have on this account now and it's like it, it's it's such a good upgrade but at the same time it's like not necessary to do most bossing i am also glad i had a dark bow i didn't have to farm this i just so happened to have one 
So I think we just got to use it on our EOF. So the special attack, Descent of Darkness, a powerful double attack that hits for 200% weapon damage or 300% when using dragon or dark arrows. That's kind of neat. Can't, uh, can't benefit from the 300% uh, with the Sentry Crossbows, but still, still kind of neat. All right, so I'm, we're just going to use that. Um, all I've ever heard of is Dark Bow in the EOF, so let's just store it in there. Yes, that's fine. And there we go. It uh, has the Dark Bow spec stored now, and we are going to, I think, do I have a die for this? Oh, I do. I wanted to put the green die on it. I just so happened to have one. Very nice. Sheesh. Hang on. Let's, let's check it out. Let's check. So my plan with this originally was to take this to Zuck. Now let's go ahead and see what kind of damage we can do. This is without prayer, without overloads. Let's just go ahead and hit it. Nine and a half thousand. Nine and a half K. Not bad. That was without prayer. All right, this is with prayer now. Let's see what it do. What it do. What it do. Looks like you're going to the Shadow Red Jimbo. Okay, six and a half and six. So that was, that was a 12, 12 and a half. Okay, that was a big difference. All right. So 12 and a half K just in one hit. All right, this time with Death Swiftness now. Here we go. Jeez, was that an 18 K? This is going to be a really nice upgrade to our range setup. So now I guess the next step is to try and upgrade that cape, huh? Yes. Woo! That took a few tries, but we're back at Zuck. But this time it's special. I don't know if we need to talk there. Let me just show you why it was special. Unfortunately, I didn't get the, the recorder up in time. But if you take a look in the challenger's chest, we just got the igneous stone. <laughs> I finally did it. Without banking, without using any of the checkpoints, it actually wasn't that bad. Fuck you! I hope your whole family has a nice Christmas! I think the EOF made that much more doable. I was using that on the minions at the very end during the DPS check and the fight with Zuck, and that was that was super, super important. There we go. Igneous Calzil. Ooh, let's put it on. Jeez, bro, the upgrades today. This is the same day I got the EOF. It bolsters Deadshot, reducing the adrenaline cost, increasing the damage it deals, and increasing the duration of the bleed effect. Okay, so here's Deadshot. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it's still bleeding. Gee, it Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. We just got two massive upgrades to our range setup. I think you know what upgrade I'm looking for next as far as range is concerned. I don't even think I have to say it. Pussy! Please ignore the terrible UI, but uh, I was burning up some crimson skilled chompas over here at the Acadia trees. And uh, scroll up in the ridiculously small chat, we'll see that I just got the uh, Woody. You what? The uh, Woody. FBI, open up! The uh, Woody. <laughs> The wood cutting pad. There he is. All right. That's uh, another skill pet. Oh, wow. Jack of trades. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Five non combat skilling pets. Jeez, dude. All right. This is a this is a good filler clip, man. Yeah, I just uh, I needed some skilling to do while I was AFKing. I suppose I could have been doing divination for more divine charges, but I have like a hundred in the bank already. Um, I'm still trying to max his account eventually, so I figured why not work on woodcutting? And I had a bunch of crimson skill choppas from uh, player owned farms because I can't seem to get any red ones. Also, I can't I can't seem to take the uh, the ranged uh, Zuck cape off. It just it physically will not leave my character's body. I, I don't know why. Look here, I'll even try to take it off. See, nothing's happening. Remove nothing. I can't do it. I don't know why. Oh, hey, look at that. Soul obelisk. 
Oh, I just missed a level. I'm sorry about that. But I just got 97 weed. Smoker! Which means we can finally make uh, some holy overload potions without having to get a boost. Unfortunately, I can't make those yet because I don't have fell stock. And I think you need level 91 farming to make those. Um, but I do have a god banner so I can boost plus two from 89 farming. Not only does it give us uh, more prayer, so I don't have to bring as much uh, as many super stores, but also it turns our overload fours into overload sixes. So it basically gives us free overload uh, doses, which is really nice. But in a bit now, I actually was trying some Raksha uh, DPS. Totally fine now. The problem is still clearing those pools without the uh, lack of boots and a bladed dive switch. Hey, duo in with Stellaro, some necks, and I got a Virtus robe top. That is a duplicate, so. I'm out of here, and that's going to be disassembled for something. I don't know. Something amazing, I guess. Just completed our first 200% enrage iceberg that sank the Titanic kill. Pretty solid. And we got some uh, five manuscripts of when I still don't have a scripture. I've heard some good, um, some good stories about doing normal mode iceberg to get the scripture. Same thing with Carapac. We'll just do normal mode because you get like three drops at a time. So I'm thinking once I once I finish out this and this streak, I'll probably just uh, maybe camp some normal mode, see if I can get a scripture. But right now I'm just trying to get some water talismans for for summoning. But I just I just can't I just can't do it. 17 kill streak, not a single water talisman has dropped to almost a 21 mil loot. In this chest alone, I did another streak before this, like I think about fifteen. Um, yeah, I think I think it was about fifteen. I didn't get water talismans in that one either, so it's it's a little lame. I'll be honest. This is a lot of elk, though, which is pretty nice. Also, I'm gonna be streaking up to two hundred fifty percent because I heard that. Uh, actually, I didn't. I didn't hear it. I read it. <laughs> Believe it or not, I can read. I read it on the Wikipedia that uh, two hundred fifty percent is actually faster for getting the the core. Uh, then streaking up to 500% just because the kills get so much longer as you go on. For example, this kill is 451. I think my PB on a very low percent in rage is like 318. So they, they are definitely getting longer. I think the HP on this one was over 500,000. I can't imagine the life points of like a 2000% in rage kill. Well, gentlemen, this is it. I'm finally recording a serious level 99 clip. That is level 99 blue orb with small orbs. Nice balls, bro. I've been 98 for such a long time. I finally made this, made it like, uh, so I'm getting XP from this instead of just, grats, thank you. Huh? I, I wanted to finally get 99 so I can, uh, so I don't have the boost to make porters uh, with the uh, divine energy that I'm getting here. And so I can get the skill cape, which extends the time uh, that these wisps stay active for. Also, why do people always surge over here and then they come back right back? Why, does, why do they keep doing that? Is there something special over there? Some of them teleport too, I think. I don't understand that. That is so weird to me. Quest, is that you? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, look, I literally, I, I'm honestly, I don't know if I'm, it's even worth getting the cape because I seriously cannot take this one off. It's just, it just will not come off of my, my person. I don't know what to say. Extra 30 seconds per spring, which really doesn't matter too much here because, you know, everyone is just constantly extending these, uh, these whips, whisp, 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 17. I have 17 more 99s to go. What? Hey, he was doing some fishing when all of a sudden bubbles appeared in my inventory. There's another skilling pet. Collect five non combat skilling pets. Wait, Jack, I thought I already got that. What? I already unlocked that with the freaking Woody. <laughs> Received the Bubbles pet, 10 million and 69 nice. thousand XP. Just did a Zuck task. Unfortunately, I uh, couldn't get any freaking complete runs. The first run, I literally died on the first Jad wave. It was so stupid. My prayer dropped as soon as a range attack uh, like went off. Instant dead. So, so annoying. Second time, made it all the way to Zuck. Right. So f somehow I forgot to freaking refresh my tour. So I had n next to no food, but that wasn't even the problem. Then he did that special attack where he drains your HP level and um, he just like smacked me a 900 and I died. 
So there's two attempts that I didn't get the freaking cape, but here's what's in the chest. It's nothing. Two onyxes is pretty good though. A couple manuscripts of full. I'll probably never get a scripture. Honestly, I have no scriptures. I have no God books. It's, it's really sad. Three onyx dust that, that all makes it worth it. Let's be honest. I was so angry. I just went back with, uh, with reckless Oron just to finish him off real quick. <laughs> finish him off. Finish him off. Yeah. Finish him off. This boss is actually much easier. I was using vampirism, vampirism with uh, um, onyx bolts enchanted. I don't even think I touched my familiar uh, by the time I got the Zuck. No extra cape, no igneous stones for me today, unfortunately. We'll get them eventually. I have to do kiln anyways in order to just get the freaking melee cape because I still don't have that. I've done so many kilns and never got the melee cape. It just always turns out to be uh, like a cape I don't want. And we got 90 wood cutting sorry 90 broccoli at level 90 broccoli we unlock bamboo and i think i'm gonna go chop this because i'm really sick of getting crashed at acadia trees this fucking piece of shit. promethium hatchet why is why is the max level hatchet uh outside of dungeoneering tier 70 by the way what's what's going on with that we're wars in it up over here actually i'm fletching um but anyways this is level 96 arrows pretty solid skill level to get because i uh can make diamond back bolts now without having to get a boost which is going to be really nice that's just one last back bolt i need a boost for i can finally make the eldritch crossbow ed3 here i come yeah right i actually i do want to i want to i want to do ed3 man i just I just gotta, I just gotta sack up and do it. I want to do reaction too, but I, I freaking, it's so, it sucks without, without the uh, lack boots, man. What can I say? I, the real reason I got this level, uh, is so I can, uh, make bamboo bundles. Just get some extra fletching XP in the meantime while I'm training, uh, wood cutting since I don't have the ability to burn the logs. Hey, recording this clip here, uh, because I want to show you that I got 91 broccoli. Um, but also more importantly, I have 18 Morcella mushrooms in my inventory and I have a magic tree to harvest. And that brings us to level 89 watering can. Very exciting. Uh, 89, you don't unlock anything, but I can now use my God banner to boost to fell stock. Uh, that's why I have the Marcella mushrooms because I need to I need those as a secondary to make prayer renewals. All right, let's see if this actually works. It just boosted up to 91. I get a 30 minute boost with that God banner, so plenty of time to do the runs. And fell stock going in. There we go. All right, so we can plant fell stock now. Um, I assume we're able to harvest it as well with the boost. Um, so at this rate, I guess I'll be able to only do it once per day. But um, at least we can start growing them now and get some prayer renewals, and that'll be a huge help everywhere. Really, it's freaking everywhere. Because also, I'll be able to turn these into holy overloads, um, which will turn my prayer renewals from four doses into six doses, and my overloads uh, the same thing, four doses into six doses. So that'll just be a really nice uh, quality of life. I'll have to make fewer overloads, and I will be uh, consuming fewer super restores as well. All right, we're here in Edgeville. Uh, not for very long, though, because let me just make sure I'm not wearing anything. Uh, we're going into the wilderness to the uh, Herbler patch, and I have been able to maintain a boost and collect uh, the fell stock that we planted, which is really nice. But here's the, here's the trick about it. I did some perusing of the wiki, and if my familiar, <laughs> there it is, the stranger plant. <laughs> you can actually interact with it and get a farming boost. That's like, uh, I think it's plus two levels, plus 4% of your farming level, which for me takes me straight up to level 93 farming. And it, I just, it completely bypasses the need for the use of God banner. So I'm just going to do this um, for the near future to, to get our fell stocks, to plant them, to harvest them. The only uh, problematic thing about it is that once your level drops below 91, you have to wait until your level resets all the way down to where it was before you can, before you can get another boost is what I'm trying to say. So sometimes I'll have to like wait a little bit, like a minute. Uh, but it's not a it's not a huge deal. What I am gonna try now is I want to see if I can. Uh, this is fine. I want to see if I can actually unlock 
the uh, unchecked dragons I have in my bank because I can boost to 93 and you only need 92 for dragons. So I really want to see how much we can abuse this farming boost <laughs> because that would that would be pretty awesome if we could just get dragons unlocked uh, right now. I don't even know how much XP they give you, but it's probably quite a bit. All right, here we go. Let's see if I even have the boost at this point. I, I probably don't. Check. You need 92 farming. What am I at? I am at 92. Okay, so you can't boost to uh, to check uh, player-owned farm animals. Fuck! 44 fell stock from one uh, herb run. Really impressive. The only thing that's holding me back now are the... Depression! Marcella mushrooms. Because there's only two... Um, mushroom patches, <laughs> you can only get nine at a time. But yeah, what I'm gonna do now is check, uh, check on my mushrooms, see if I have any more ready. Um, if not, and if I do, I'm gonna harvest them and then go unlock the holy overloads and make ourselves our first holy overload. It's gonna be so nice. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. I just gotta do 12k more damage, dude. I li that's it. That's 3k. It's so close. Cool. There we go, we did it. Hey, that was a PB and jelly. 32 minutes, 22 seconds, and I was almost out of prayer. I was So I'm able to do this with uh, two fewer super, uh, super store flasks, thanks to the holy overloads, it's really nice. Oh, it just get me out of here. So that was uh, our second cape, finally. Took so many attempts, dude, for this freaking igneous stone. Uh, any, any scriptures? No, please. I, I would really like a scripture. I still don't have one. But at least we can go turn our magic cape into a fancy magic cape now. Clifford the Big Red Czar, uh, eight kill count. All right, not too terrible, I guess. Bruh, 50 second PR. This was uh, back to back. Uh, so this is our third and final igneous stone. Very nice. Actually, I, I igneous stones are still kind of useful to get because... Um, uh, if you have something to say, then just spit it out already. Any extra ones you get, you can disassemble for some pretty rare components, which is pretty neat. It's like one in 20 something for several different rare components you can get. You can get the uh, Illa Junkie components. You can get um, the other ones, too. So here's our mage cape. We made that one. Unfortunately, I do not have a melee kiln cape. I have never had a melee kiln cape. So that's what we're going to go do next. OK. Yay, we killed Hurricane. I meleeed the whole time. Didn't miss any prayer flicks on the Jads. You can watch the VOD. This was streamed live. Twitch.tv forward slash soda poppin'. That's me. All right, give me that melee cape. And. Oh, that was a PB? A five minute PB? How? I meleeed the whole thing. I don't know, man. Uh, where's my cape? Oh, no. <laughs> Where's my cape? Is it in the bank? Nope. Is it? Wait a minute. Where? Where? Where is my... All right. Who oh, shit my pants? Uh... Yes. How did I not get this the first time? So strange. Okay, well, there's our melee cape. Let's just put it on. Nice, dude. That would have been nice to have six years ago. We're going to turn it into the very fancy melee cape. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very nice. And now we get to combine all of them. <laughs> Bring it on home. Yeah. Uh, yes. Thank you. Oh, he's gone. Uh, well, my duo partner, uh, El Scoots, just to help me kill the big dinosaur. Uh, kind of looks like a Furby. <laughs> Anyways, I got spirit. What I get? Spirit weed seeds. <laughs> That's, that's my loot. Well, anyways, thank you, El Scoots. Uh, friendship ended with Stellaro. Uh, El Scoots is my new best friend. I'm just kidding, guys. Don't worry about it. That is a joke 100%. Uh, I was actually never friends with Stellaro. <clears throat> First rots kill. Ever. Actually, my sixth. Uh, <laughs> Kind of a freaking boss at this shit. We're here in the Invention Guild. I've got a couple things to show you. First off, we finally unlocked the Willow Sentinel outfit. Let's go ahead and slap that on. See what that looks like. I'm the one who is bussing. That's some solid design, man. 
A for effort. This is actually going to be a little helpful for uh, when we do our daily uh, blood wood tree cutting. Uh, hopefully it'll give us some more back criminal bolts while we're doing that. Also, we're going to check some of our uh, invention machines here. And I have 20 mil <laughs> in the alchemizer. That is nice. I could, I'm going to claim that because I only have 5 mil left after all those death costs. And we have the plank maker here, 6,400. What are those, mahoganies? Yep, okay, mahogany planks. Apparently, you can just have your butler do that. I, I guess I forgot we could do that. And let's see, mahogany planks. Yeah, so this is uh, about 8,000 mahogany planks. And I think we, I did some teak planks too. We got 14,000 teak planks there as well. Probably not enough to get us to 99, um, but that's okay. Excuse me, what the? I also was streaking our Glacor last night, and I got a single drop, 200 water talismans, but then I died at 249% in rage. So now we're at 460. Remember, we need 3,000 of these water talismans to get our yak. Just 3,000. But it's just so impossibly difficult to get water talismans drops. I don't know why. We just missed a level. I got 2,700 virtual level. Oh, it's virtual. All right, never mind. I take this clip back. It's not cool anymore. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to call it there for, for Glacor. That's, uh, there was a 617 kill. Very slow. Okay, I got some Hydrix bolts, so that paid off in the end. I'm actually using a combination of Ruby back bolts and Ascendry bolts. I try to switch on the Ascendry bolts for about six seconds or so because that's the cooldown for the Ruby back bolts. It actually speeds kills up quite a lot, but I'm just here trying to get Water Talismans. I'm at 266% in rage. This is my first time going over 250. It's kind of slow with that big, that extra big minion, I'll be honest. I see why people reset at 250 now. I just freaking can't get any water tally drops. Some time travel later, we completed meeting history. Uh, this is a quest requirement for the light within. I'm doing that. Well, I want to do that quest. For the light within, I should have all the requirements for now. And it looks like I do. Um, but this is going to unlock the Saren spells i think they're spells um and basically the saren spells are uh pretty much the meta for really fast xp in a lot of different skills um i'm mainly doing this for wood cutting if there's anything else i can use it for let me know just throwing some of my seventeen thousand magic logs into the fire and we just got 87 lame sticks yep that's what i'm going with so 87 flame sticks, I started at 83 today, and I've been working my way up to 87. That way I could light this additional beacon, because I need to be able to light 10 of them all at the same time in order to unlock the always adsy adds. The one that, it's a relic for archaeology um, that lets you burn logs as you cut them, and you don't have to use an inferno adsy, which is tier 61, so I'll be able to use my tier 71 crystal hatchet. Um, but still be burning logs at the same time. It's something like 150,000 wood cutting XP an hour, I think at 99. Uh, yeah, I decided not to do the Light Within quest because I hate questing. Oh, there it is. So I'm just gonna do this instead because it doesn't require any quest requirements. I could have done this at level 83, but I would have had to do like two quests. So I decided to just get 87 and then do it. I only used 2,000 magic logs to get from 83 to 87. And it's, it was surprisingly quick. Boys, we just finished, uh, actually, it's not even finished two hours. I still have some time on Reckless. I reset it actually. 1100, almost 1200 water talismans at 240% of rage, 21. I got like five water tallies drops. This is what I've been waiting for. Still got 16 minutes on Reckless. Gonna do a few more kills. My PB so far is like 248. I uh, actually got a new PB today of one second faster. <laughs> Take a look at how many water tallies we have first. 1800 water tallies. So we're actually over 50% of the way to uh, 96 summoning. Bruh, I'm just trying to freaking get some farming XP here, man. And uh, all right, look at the chat. Now look at my inventory. Now back to the chat. Now the chinchampa. Now my inventory. Now Raptor. He's gone. All right, look. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. But um, I did get a shiny. His name is Ignis. That's pretty cool. And I think, uh, I, I'm think, I think I'm going to keep him. I don't know where this clip is going, man. Look at that. 5.2 million farming XP. All right, cool, I guess. I really wish I could get, like, actual drops. 
that'd be cool if I could get like, you know, skip bossing drops, not farming pets. Like, you know what, boy out here hustling for no drops, dude, whatever, it's fine. Guys, guess what? Guess who the worst YouTuber is? That's right, it's the RS guy. No, I'm just kidding, I love Ryan. It's, it's a me. Amaria. What a surprise. I got another level and I didn't show it to you because I didn't even know it was happening. So but haven't even played in a full 24 hours. I know my addiction. 90 watering can. I don't know that I, you know, Washenko mushrooms. I think that's basically you can you can get like really bad farming XP, but you can do it constantly for like 25 or 30,000 farming XP per hour. Just got this mission back with an Eastern Scroll. This is the last Eastern Scroll we needed to complete the Cruelty Scrimshaw. Uh, just basically that means the range setup just got even more DPS. I really don't understand how it's still happening, but we're still ascending. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to do next. Pretty OP stuff with uh, mage tank armor now. I've got the those uh, ancient spells. What are they ancient, ancient, I think, yeah, ancient spells and uh, that can like de boost your defense, uh, cause damage absorption based off of your uh, tank armor, which is really cool stuff. But I'm not going to keep going for the sea singer right now because I only have eight ch 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 chia. Scrimshaw crafter. There it is. Oh, it's just been so long. I have no idea how to make it. 10 ancient bones. Don't I have? Yeah, I got 20. I got 22 ancient bones. Why can I only make one? That's weird. Huh. Currently have 22. Oh. What will I use this for? I literally have no idea. Raksha? Maybe? I, think I don't really need it at Glacor. Maybe I'll use it for, uh, for uh, Zuck attempt. Mark Zuckerberg attempts. Mark Zuckerberger. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. <laughs>1 percent in rage and we just got two more dark nihilus and actually that's uh enough dark nihilus now i have to claim this um that's enough dark nihilus for me to make one of the tier 85s and i think i might actually consider doing that because i don't have an augmentable offhand for melee which uh slows down the dps quite a lot so yeah we got six nihilus in total and oh geez i don't even know where the f ice s shard I'm all out of nouns. You know who Where did they go? Can't help. You know who help. From what are they called? Stars. What? What are they? Chat, please. I might be 29 years old with the match, but I entirely forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. Brain. Nobody's. Nobody can remember. I hate all of you. Fuck you. There they are! Wow, I freaking swear I saw them already. Okay, so we have we have eight thousand. Let me just freaking pull them all out. I hate this clip already. This clip is terrible. Uh, there's no map. Uh, they over here close. So we can make these with ten blackstone hearts and a couple of glorious bars. I imagine it's the same for the offhand. Yeah, I don't have any blackstone hearts. That was two hundred twenty-six hard mode kill count. Oh, oh. I just had a baby barf. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I gotta get some more filler clip content, otherwise uh, this video is never coming out. Just got a new PB&J at uh, the big blue guy in the sky. 245, beating my old PB by three seconds. Alright, collecting this juicy loot. Because I need those 275 water talismans, let's, let's take all that crap. All right, if you will uh, take a look in my bank here, we'll see that we are at 2,900 out of 3,000 water talismans that I needed. Um, but I also have 827 summoning focus, so this is way more uh, talismans than I needed to get us to uh, level 96 summoning. So now we have enough for that yak. All right, so I didn't know I could do this, but uh, 
we can make the full fancy trapper outfit. I made the full uh, nature sentinel outfit for wood cutting the other day. I don't think I showed you that. But here's the full trapper outfit. Uh, let's get some. Sick trap beats going. Dude, that looks sick. That's super cool looking. All right, we're we're taking this to sus on stream, by the way. <laughs> Twitch.tv for slash question good. Shameless plug. So there it is, 96 summoning. Finally got that done with out of the way. We can make pack acts. We can make ripper demons. I hate killing ripper demons. How do you even make ripper demons? You just gotta kill them with the summoning thing with the with these pouches, the binding contracts, I think. Let's see, how many uh, water tallies do we? We have 337 water tallies left. Uh Thanks to the uh, good old 800 summoning focuses I had. Uh, so this is the lady that sells the hides. But apparently you have to do Fremnic Isles in order to access the shop. And I haven't done. Uh, something's in my ass. There we go. Quest complete. 253 quest points now. Um, pretty much master quest cape level at this point. Access to the contraband yak produce shop. That is what we are here for. You remember when the uh, this uh, neat neat's not neat 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 neat. We are the knights who say pussy. In order to use binding contracts, I need to do some mystery and to do that mystery i need to do another mystery and i basically i need lots of cows okay why am, why am i in the pen recording this clip because we just completed another reaper uh, assignment 314 points now which means i can make another alchemical hydrix and that is important because our uh first eof and only eof currently is at the uh, just under 50 percent <laughs> I had a Rax Reaper last night, eight of them. I did it all with Mage because I'm really trying to get that scythe. So I think I think that's probably what I'm gonna do if I ever do more Rax. Just I'll just uh, take the pain and do do Mage. Uh, but the kill times they they got a little better. It started off like 7:30 for for my first kill, and then I progressively got it down into the five minutes. So it improved, but it's still terrible. Also, uh, I killed Ambassador. Ambassador was really cool. Um, we did it with a trio with uh, Sick of All and Stellaro, so thank you guys for helping me out with that. Definitely would not have been able to do it without him. Um, just learning. It was uh, it was pretty rough uh, with Ambi. Everything before that was just fine. I mean, we, we were cruising through everything. Uh, Ambi, I think I died with like four times. And then and then we got it. <laughs> I just had to get those four times out of me. Yeah, I was the only one too. I was literally the limiting factor. Um, the first time we tried it, it was so weird. My, my um, the client just crashed. The client literally literally uh, crashed and pulled up a Chrome uh, tab that said, "Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who." It was so weird. As soon as he spit out those big uh, laser spinning attack. Uh, the thing just crashed, but then after that, I just died a few more times, and then we got it, so it was okay. All in all, I think we got uh, we ended up with five ambi kills in normie mode. Um, pretty cool. The drop rate in when a trio is actually really low, high, low, high, low, not good. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, let me just show you the uh, the loot that we got here. I got I ended up with five black stone hearts, which is really nice. I think really the main reason I wanted to do this is because uh, I have six dark nihilus now, and I need ten black stone hearts if I want to make um, one of the uh, tier eighty five weapons. All right, here it is. Um, Three hundred nine raw lobster. Some of this, I think, yeah, perfect gemstone scales. I'm pretty sure that's from ED two. So yeah, we've got some ED2 and some ED3 loot in here. One key to the crossing, looking for This actually looks terrible. This is like, just, what is this garbage? You got stunned? Uh, he made me walk. I'm red. Oh, I'm red. So we just got level 95 broccoli. And I haven't shown you any levels in a while, but we're at 95 broccoli and 92... Um... You know who else I don't... Uh, it's, it's really hard to come up with a fake name for that skill. I don't, I don't, I don't, I have no idea. 92 red, 
red on sticks, sure. He done it! Well, this is probably the most difficult thing I've done in RuneScape to date. I uh, just soloed Raksha with uh, Mech Chins. And uh, literally, it's just, it's such an unpleasant experience. Thanks for the spirit weed seeds. It was so bad. Let me scroll past all of Stellaro's rambling here. 914 for a solo. It was ridiculous. I mean, it was just so bad. I think I brought a yak. Do I have any food left? I am completely out of food. I brought an entire inventory of uh, rock tails, an entire yak of rock tails, and I just chewed through everything. It's not even like I was missing Perflex that frequently. Flashback. Oh, oh. End of flashback. So here I am standing before the ambassador. So I tried him twice. I gave, I gave him two med school tries and uh, that sucked. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the, um, the DPS checks kind of suck, man. But I do have a death touch dart and I'm going to blow the ambassador's freaking brains out. Wait, I can attack him, right? I forgot. I forgot to tell the death dart. The death touch. The dart. Death touch. Dart. Oh. Stop talking. Oh, I got five black stone hearts. Yes, that's actually really good. That's what I wanted. Now we have ten black stone hearts, and with those ten, we can make the tier eighty-five. All right, I finally did it. I got the two glorious bars. That took a while. I gotta say, I to do a lot of mining all over again. I gotta do a lot of smithing. 1,001 folds on two partially folded alloy bars or whatever. It took a while, uh, definitely a few hours, but whatever, we got everything here. So we're gonna go ahead and make the dark ice sliver. Let's take this to war so I can show you a little something. You know, I think I'm gonna augment this first. I, <laughs> I've i learned painful lessons in the past that have stuck with me to this day. I accidentally deleted my Ascension crossbow. The sliver is a tier 85 weapon, but its strength uh, is that of a tier 88. So it's basically almost kind of an offhand Drygor um, because accuracy doesn't matter for offhand. So strength is pretty comparable. It allows the wearer to use the hurricane ability while dual wielding. And so there it is. That's pretty cool. Cool 5k without prayers. I, I, this is probably set to max hit, isn't it? I'm not sure. But either way, um, yeah, hurricane is pretty nice for places where you need AOEs like ED3. It takes up a timer with destroy. So if I were to use hurricane, I can't use destroy for 20 seconds, which is kind of lame. If I had the main hand, uh, then I could use both. But then I lose the tier 90 accuracy. You see what I'm saying? What the fuck? So there's literally no way you guys knew this, but I'm actually a terrible YouTuber. Definitely didn't know that though, for sure. 91 farming, um, one more level and we can start farming up some dragons. But I can grow fell stock now, look at that. I can grow, see, correction. I can grow fell stock without having to boost for it. All right, I figured it out. It was actually very easy. I just had to, I just had to come here, talk to mommy Rimba. Um, she wasn't even here originally. I had to re-log, but there you go. Another Bloodwood tree. Can't wait to get a single log from this one. Lack boots! Lack boots! Friendship over with Stellaro. <laughs> Sell Scoots is my new best friend. <laughs> I can't wait. Bruh. Raksha kill count. 18 for the freaking lack of boots, dude. I just need a two hand melee weapon and I can literally solo Raksha now. Nope. Back to back? Back back to back? Back to back lack boots? Back to back lack boots? 19. Yeah. Yo, so check this dummy shit out. I just, uh, I just gotta hang in, hang in, hang in. Ooh, nice. 206 mil? 200? Ooh. 
that's some that's some boss shit right there, boys. 24? So El Scoots is telling me to save that and put it on fleeting boots when I get that uh, next kill. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow. What the hell? Oh my god, no way. All right, many failed solo attempts later, we just got a sizable upgrade. I mean, it's not huge, but it is an upgrade to our range setup. 20 mil, 29 mil in fleeting boots. And uh, these are the boots I'm actually going to use that spike we got, 200 mil. Uh, let's check the kill count. I actually, I've been dying a lot uh, trying to learn how to do solo reactions. Anyways, 27 kill count. I don't even know what our last drop was at. I think I've done five or six um, solos so far, and uh, it's not been bad. But let's just go ahead and uh, throw away our 200 mil shadow spike. <laughs> let's put this on the fleeting boots upgrade them there we go we just upgraded from a tier 70 range uh boots so 64 11 and 1 to 108 and 14 so it's like three extra range bonus um but like almost for 44 extra armor the neat thing about the fleeing boots i forgot to mention is that um i think i can do rapid fire yeah let's let's test that out i'm pretty sure i can do rapid fire now while moving and it increases, nice surge. It increases my accuracy by, I believe, 10%. Test it out, get some rapid fire. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is literally amazing. <laughs> Dude, that's freaking awesome. That is so cool. All right, let's get back in there and get that Grico, shall we? <laughs> All right, looks like it's time. After so many reactor deaths, I have depleted my cash stack. I'm at one mil, so we gotta hit the alchemizer. Let me show you how much cash we got in here. My money doesn't jiggle jiggle. It folds. I want to see you wiggle wiggle. For sure. It makes me want to dribble dribble, you know? Riding in my Fiat. You really have to see it. Finally got a yak from the trapper, which is pretty neat. I uh, can't breed her yet because we need two of them and uh, preferably a male for the other one. But uh, we got one, which is pretty cool. That's uh, the, oh wait, no, that, wait, that's kind of useless. I'm just thinking about that now. Like that's, that's actually kind of useless because I'm 91 farming and in 500,000 XP, I can start farming dragons. So this is actually useless, huh? Consider well, hopefully, I hopefully those dragons are different genders. That's all I. That's all I'm hoping for. Oh, look at these boys! Oh, that's cute. That is cute. They gave him a bowl cut too. That's funny. Kind of skips it. I like that. Yeah, still trying to get some cows though, so I can uh, get Ripper demons unlocked. Unfortunately, I only have the what, strawberry cow. Yeah, I only have the strawberry cow and the regular cow. I had all the different types of cows before, but nobody told me. I mean, if you did, I forgot, and I'm sorry. Hello, I'm completing the bacon quest because I'm hungry. Arby's, we, we have, we have, we have. So I have uh, three different types of cows now. I didn't even notice I had this one. It was just sitting in my bank. I put them all in there and then realized later that I have chocolate cows. So I got all three types of cows and you need all three types of cows in order to do the dig and buy mystery. I also need a, a dog. So I'm using uh, Epididymus, the lure hound, the sperm transporter. Oh yeah. Hopefully we can get some uh, we... Ripper demons, um, the binding contracts. There we go. I need to be able to use binding contracts. You got to do dig and buy mystery in order to do that, so I can kill Raksha more efficiently. I forgot to explain how I'm killing Raksha, by the way, without a, a scythe or a lance. I uh, turned my attuned crystal uh, bow into an attuned crystal halberd, and it uh, it's not always a one shot on the pools, but it definitely kills most of them. Like I'd say. Probably 90% of them. But in the meantime, I'm going to get this Ripper Demon. Hopefully, I'll speed up the uh, Rasha Solos quite a lot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Look at that. I'm making my own memes. Yes, it would seem I am indeed a master quester. Hmm. Another slice of salami completed. Obby's With that, I have to do these freaking quests just to get Ripper Demons unlocked. Dude, I hate Ripper Demons. I, I mean, not no, I like Ripper Demons. I just hate um, questing. We all knew this. Okay, and unfortunately, I still have to do one final quest. I don't even know what it's called. Land of the Goblins. I lied to you. I did know what it was called. Okay, there we go. Finally, I have all the requirements, but just for this one freaking mystery, dude, I need to make a goblin potion, which this long quest will allow me to do, fortunately. Oh, look at all the rewards. Wow, 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 wow. I think I actually did this one on the main just because I wanted to have access to the, the throne room and get the maces um, way back when, when they first came out so I could make some money selling the maces. Yeah, I know. I'm that guy. <laughs> All right, here I am on the casting couch. Just completed Dagon by a mystery. At least, uh, what's this? Dialogue is over. There we go. There we did it. So now we can make binding contract. I don't fully understand how that works, um, but I sign pack. Sure. Do it. I don't know what that does. Oh, here I go. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have done that without reading what it does first. Oh, no, it's fine. Oh, there it is. Okay. That, now we can make binding contracts for ancient summoning. I have no idea how to do that. We'll have to figure it out. Um, but I do have 50 of them already in the bank, so I should be able to make some uh, Ripper Scrolls. Just going to have to go uh, kill some Ripper Demons with those in my inventory, and then we can make some Ripper Demons, and hopefully Rapture will be uh, even quicker than before. Also, this is a really cool looking arena, isn't it? This would be a, this would be a pretty cool place for a boss fight. Guild of our own caper complete. Needed to do this thirty thousand thieving XP. Nice, dude. That was pretty easy. Uh, needed to do this for the best thieving training in game, which is uh, the uh, safe cracking. That's it. Cracking eggs with safes. That's not it. Just trying to get some of that uh, skilling out of the way. Hopefully we can uh, max this account eventually. Um, but uh, yeah, thieving is actually our lowest skill at 74. But now that we have that unlocked, um, we should be able to do it effectively. You can you can you can do it without all the capers completed, but uh, you don't get the the loot bag or whatever. And so you I think you're losing out on some XP if you do it that way. Doing our um, Rax Reaper with Mage in hopes of getting that fang, and we just got a spider leg bottom. What a surprise! We have so many of those. I think we have two full legs uh, sitting in the bank and uh, working on our third now. And I actually just got a, a personal best with that one with mage somehow a 21 second personal best on racks. I'm actually amazed just to uh, crack and some safes open. I, and I do have a question. Why does he get so close to the safe if he has the stethoscope placed on the safe? Like it totally defeats the point of using the stethoscope if you're gonna break your back like that anyways, you know what I mean? You might as well just not use the stethoscope and put your ear right up next to it. Also, there's a chair like right here. I'm just saying. Oh, I have a golden uh, party hat shard. Isn't that neat? I think I have, let's see, actually, let's see how many I have right now. I have five out of eight, all accumulated accidentally. I might actually try and just finish it off because apparently it's worth like 600 mil right now. And here we go, level 80 mask. Uh, level 80 mask, I'm also level 80, if you check out my tiny chat, level 80 in all skills now. Pretty neat, right? Look at that. Uh, next lowest skill is agility at 86. Um, but those are my last 80 skills. Everything else is 90 plus, which is kind of impressive to think about. We now start making the camouflage outfit pieces, which would be pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, that's, uh, only two level 80 skills, uh, before I'm all nineties. That's, that's kind of crazy. And thieving is super quick. This is a really quick skill. Last, last I showed you, I think it was 73 thieving and I'm 80. It's the same day that I'm, that was recording that clip. Um, just been doing safe cracking since it's so fast. Hey, I'm just chilling out here in the frigid cold, trying to drop my invention level. Oh, 53. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to go. At uh, 52, all right, get me out of here, please. It needed to drop my invention level from 113 to 52 because we're finally making a flanking switch. And for that, the optimal um, level you get it at is 52 slash 53, nothing, repeat it. Repeat it, repeat it. 
Repeat it. Repeat it. There we go. Jeez, flanking four. First try. <laughs> Uh, so I want to make a flanking four switch because I was told I can hit up to 10k with a basic ability with it, uh, which is pretty cool. So that should help uh, out with Raksha uh, quite a bit. I've been doing I've been doing pretty okay. I actually got uh, some PBs today. I had a Raksha Reaper went and did that, and I got new uh, peanut butter is 522. Still a whole minute slower than my best duo, but uh, not bad. The rippers are, are definitely helping out. I think that took our time down, I want to say like 40 seconds with the rippers today. Hello, I'm here picking up some uh, white berries for super defense potions, but uh, I, the point of this clip is not to uh, pick the white berries, although that is what I was just doing. Uh, the point of this clip currently is to stall you until I can get to the place that I need to be. Uh, and I'm almost there, so don't worry, this clip is ending soon enough. Okay, so we're here in Grand Exchange, and uh, I'm literally going to waste $30 million. Dollars? Gold pieces. Um, on this guy, uh, sketchy salesman dude, look at that. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna pay the 30 million GP. There we go. And uh, that we got that last golden. Oh, did I say last? We got that golden party hat shard. Yes, it was the last one we actually needed. You know, I actually just got the uh, the seventh piece from Arc Lake Core. I was uh, about to farm him a little bit uh, while I was AFKing. I got there, did a single kill, got the piece I needed. So that's all that that's all that matters. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess we can. How do we, how do we make this? Uh, visit the wise old man. Okay, give me one second. <laughs> There we go, there's our golden party has, kinda neat. Why is it so dark out? Oh, oh look at that, they got the Aurora Borealis. There's a neat little sky box, man. I like that. Let's go somewhere we can actually appreciate the golden fat. Oh, yes, so much brighter. But okay, there's our golden party hat. Um, not too bad, not too shabby. And um, we're just gonna be holding on to this. Can you, we can sell this right now, right? 762 mil, oh my God. God. All right, so I started planting some spearweed seeds. I have a thousand of them from all the bossing we've done. Uh, so I'm trying to get some summoning potions because that really helped. It actually took my Raksha time down, uh, I think about 30 seconds using a flask. Uh, just one flask too. Imagine if I brought like five of them, that'd be insane. But anyways, let's check this uh, magic tree and we got uh, 92 watering can. So halfway to 99 watering can. Though uh, farming is, excuse me, watering can is one of those skills where uh, it can go well past 99. And there's some really useful stuff for Iron Men. Um, basically, if I want bone bombs, I need like over a 99 watering can, unfortunately. But 92 means we can start raising dragons. Now, let's pretend that I actually finished this farm run. And uh, we're going to go check the bank to see uh, if those two dragons we have in the bank is going to give me a male and a female. Okay, I can finally can finally take them out of my bank at least that's nice so we got a green and a blue which is okay i guess uh so the red one it did i say green all right red one's a female give me a male baby let's go it's not it's not always about the money spider-man it's about the <laughs> love the man it's a fucking female oh my god many months later hey yo I'm back. I don't know, man. I just got the itch to make some videos again. It's not even like I want to play RS. I just I just like making content. And my OnlyFans hasn't been doing very well recently, so that's why I'm back here. Also, I think I have the Rona. It probably is affecting my voice. What's also affecting my voice is the awful mic quality of my uh, MacBook Pro uh, microphone. I'm on the road right now, so I don't have access to my uh, nice uh, microphone, but uh, hopefully in several months i will uh, i'll have that again literally several months i'm traveling for like six months straight it's terrible i haven't played this game in a year so i have no idea how to do bossing and i'm kind of afraid to try so this is kind of a cool filler clip there we go look at that we just got 98 broccoli uh, almost 99 and uh, more impressive is the 2700 total level so we are just inching closer to max cape aren't we a little impling just wheezed just like me. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting almost 6k XP drops from the seaweed down here. That's some good shit, man. 97 fish. 97 fish on a hook. 
I mean, it's it's pretty close. I guess we could just call it fishing. I think that's uh, effigies, right? The last uh, gorge effigy, nice, and sailfish. This is the first time I've opened the oyster an entire year, so it's gonna be garbage. <laughs> Bro, so my dragons grew up. <laughs> you don't want to be like this. This is disgusting. You know, I was thinking to myself, what can I do that's AFK and kind of productive that's not just chopping wood? So I was doing this uh, little Glacor guy over here, big uh, big blue guy in the sky, and uh, on normal mode, just literally just AFK. Super easy to AFK. Uh, I was thinking maybe I could get that scripture because I heard uh, this was a year ago that people were getting those, those scriptures doing this on normal mode. Uh, but I checked the wiki, and it looks like maybe it's a 1 in 500 chance if you have all five mechanics on. And I only have one on, so I think I just wasted like 30 minutes, but uh, but it's cool, because I waste my time all the time. I'm going to be honest, I totally love that they removed PvP from the wilderness, um, but I still am out here getting my ass kicked by the, uh, the freaking monsters. Like, every time I go do a blood tree run... I just get my ass whooped by the Ripper Demons. It's great. Also, I love the, the graphical changes here, too. This is probably... I'm probably playing on low graphics because, again, I am gaming on a MacBook. Still, I like what they did with the place. Claiming our daily prayer reward, and uh, that's given us 97 star. So I'm using three equipment siphons because, for some reason, I was just not siphoning any of my gear one year ago when I was playing. I don't know why. I had, like, 5,000 simp components, so... That was, oh, I thought I was going to get a level. Oh, wow. You just got blue balled. Hello. I uh, decided to go back to big blue guy in the sky. And so uh, we're going to check out this last loot here. I did it for about 45 minutes. I, for some reason, I actually remember all of my key binds from a year ago. It's kind of crazy. Uh, naturally, nothing. We're going to continue the challenge. Um, not right now, but later apparently the ascension crossbows are not the meta anymore so i spent uh years of my life uh metaphorically getting them back and uh, apparently it's all about the bow now <laughs> nox bow and those god arrows that's cool no it's fine it's fine i'll get over it training broccoli and uh, just filling space there we go finally 99 broccoli uh that's one more down 16 to go. <laughs> God. Wait, why am I still cutting logs? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. We're done cutting logs. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Oh. Hey, Peter. Hey, 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 Peter. Bitch, move. Hey, Peter. So I just did a bunch of easy clues. Got 20 caskets for you here. Just gonna pop them open and <laughs> I'm still sick. Um, see, hopefully, we can get some uh, ca uh, uh, this is what COVID brain fog is, in case you were wondering. This is disgusting. If I could kill it, I would. 40, 90 components. I got 38, I need another 50 because my EOF is at like 26%, which is some freaking bullshit. I hate that you have to recharge it with these hydrics. <laughs> I'm going to open them now. Not off to a great start. Bigger. 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 Jeff. Bigger. Jeff. Bigger. Jeff. Bigger. 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 Yes. Oh. Hang on, let's put, pop these pages in here. Pop this pussy for a real... Oh, no. Well, now I have two separate Zamming pages in the Banos pages. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Of course. Of course! My pocket slot remains empty, and my heart remains cold. Huh? So I decided to do some racks, and of course, we got a third spider-like bottom. Absolutely useless. So, so sad. I just need a, I just need a fang, bro. I just needed a fang. That's all I needed, please. Please. Oh, hello. Hello, it is me, a friend, and welcome. Hello, it is me. Hello, it is me, a friend, and welcome to the Himalayas. Snowcone. Divination. So we did some divination here because I was almost out of charges. I got uh, hundred charges here in the divinomatic uh, i'm just gonna slam all those in so i was doing some boss and did some arch 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 
Arc. Glaycor. Ooh, I'd show you the loot from that, but uh, uh, naturally, I died right when I was streaking, so I uh, just collected it and moved on. So, sorry I ruined that clip. <laughs> just, I always die to some stupid crap. Unfortunately, I'm on a, a trackpad, so that does kind of, that does put a toll, that does, it does, it makes, it, lim it makes it hard, it limits my ability to speak. Do I want to try and relearn Raksha on a trackpad? Mm -hmm. I mean, eh, maybe. Maybe. Probably not. A few moments later. Yeah, what kind of dinosaur are you anyways? You yeah, look like the splash zone from a T-Rex Stegosaurus one night stand. You overgrown, you overgrown chicken, chicken nugget. nugget. You're nothing more than a Jurassic Park attraction. I'm gonna tear through you like Chipotle food poisoning. Get, Get ready, ready for, for Montezuma's, Montezuma's Revenge. Revenge. Hey, I'm uh, here doing uh, queremos digging because I need to make a couple dungeon master devices. Uh, one of which I'm going to use to get a relic uh, called Sticky Fingers. Um, this is the only thing I need for that relic, so it's going to be super easy to get. I actually already had the artifact, this uh, dungeon master device in my. I had 13 of them in my bank. Oh yeah, Sticky Fingers because I need more easy clue scrolls. Um, because uh, my EOF is at 21% and that makes me sad. So with sticky fingers, hopefully I can get some easy clue scrolls for some ham members and then I already have the Hydrix in my bank. I literally just need the 50 Fortnite uh, components, Fortnite, uh, and then I can go ahead and get like 10 dust, which I can use uh, one, one each is like 50% recharge in the EOF. So that'll last me a little while. I imagine <laughs> probably not too long, but uh, hopefully long enough. Wowee! So I uh, got my 25 clue scrolls, my easy clues from those ham members, and I actually just got a Banos page four and an achievement for that. And I know this is the last page I needed for the Bandos book uh, because I just saw I had three other pages plus the achievement. All right, so bad commentating aside, I can now make the Bandos book, and I might actually do that because it uh, it's good for enemies where you don't have a, like, a, I think I just read the wiki, less than 94% hit chance because it uh, actually increases their affinity uh, to your attacks. It does, like, a little attack of its own. Um, and I think it, it may be... Oh, man. Oh, finally, this is the last Fortnite oh, component that we needed. I literally went like 12 clues dry. <laughs> I got a bunch super quickly, and then I went a bunch dry. So that's a hashtag deserved, I guess. But there's our 50 components. I'm so glad I will never have to grind this out again. Wow, he's so dumb. God, I want to choke on his... just did two uh, yeah about two hours of uh, sauce oh god i saw two crit bloom drops in those two hours bro how many of them you think were mine huh go ahead take a guess well considering you didn't see a clip of me screaming my nuts off you can assume that the answer is zero i like being dry i'm going dry all the time hey yo hey yo what up we're here in the invention guild i have a shit ton of money in here Second reason being, we are going to, we're going to make the alchemical hydrix. I have a super invention potion here, it takes us up to 118, so I got a little bit. Where the hell is it? Here it is. Uh, so I'm an overachiever and made a lot of refined components. Here we go, we're making that alchemical hydrix now. Fortunately, this is the last alchemical hydrix we will ever have to make. And each dust recharges my EOF by 50%. Recharge it. 
69%. Let's go, baby. All right, finally, we, uh, we're we back in business. Look at me doing skilling and shit. Well, this is 98... Well, this is 98 weed. Oh, cool. I can make Supreme Overloads now without having a boost. That's neat. Holy Agro Overload. I guess Supreme Overload Salve would be the cool one to have because that would be the, the Supreme Overload, but with the prayer renewal. Or is it... Oh, that's also anti anti-poison and anti-fire. Jeez. <laughs> Pass. Playing Modern Warfare 2 at 101 with the sticky bombs. So anyways, we just uh just hit that 98 weed and I made a ton of overloads. 144. Hang on, how many four dose are we getting out of this bad boy? 108! Let's go. I don't even think I have 108 prayer renewals. Not even close. Yeah, I have 13. Great. It's pretty close, honestly. If you squint real hard. Hello, egg boy. Actually just got a PB, 19 sec almost 20 second PB at the uh, Beastmaster. Maybe we get something? <laughs> I didn't think so. And I'm um, wondering if I have any techie. 8,500, so not enough for uh, another ability codex yet. But uh, this was our this was my first time doing Beastmaster in a year, so felt like it was worthy of a filler clip. Well, you may not believe it, but I actually just did my first Raksha solo in a year. Very impressed. Thank you very much. On a trackpad, bless up. And that was a, a first attempt, too. I almost died. I came real close, uh, but uh, I made it. I made it out alive. Shit. Well, I'm recording again at Raksha, which means naturally I got a third pair of lac boots. Because why not, right? Why not? That was 34 plus 40, 74 kill count. Love it. Hello, I am in Hets Oasis, and um, this is crazy. It used to be the dueling arena, and now it looks like this. This shit insane, though, cousin. Um, I am here because I'm going to kill some Ganodermic beasts, and I'm desperately trying not to cough right now. <sighs> Anyways, I want to get some magic tank armor to make use of the new meta, which is just freaking mage tank armor everything uh, i was actually just doing some carapack i did uh, i don't know maybe like five kills i'm at 50 kill count now got it down like three minute kills um normal mode no, nor normie mode um with range my freaking insane range setup and i barely skipping the lightning <laughs> the lightning attacks it's kind of ridiculous um but uh, i if i get some gano i might be able to camp that even easier and uh that'll be a nice upgrade to our mage setup which by the way, I was getting similar time kills with Mage uh, that I was with the insane range setup. And my Mage setup is... The only good thing about it is the is the Zuck Cape and the Tier 90 Staff. <coughs> <laughs> Couldn't hold it anymore. Put an echo on that. Please, bitch. I hope you choke on a motherfucking cheese stick, you nasty, greasy bitch. Plan is get Gano. Which makes care pack and literally everything easier. And then <laughs> I camp care pack for greater conch, which makes my mage setup probably, honestly, probably better than my range setup, which is really f stupid. I really hate that. But and then the world. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. All right. I bought the mycelium poncho and the leggings. But uh, we have full Gano now, including boots with the fur. Uh, so there I am. The whole club is actually looking at me and screaming. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Just finished up uh, grinding out uh, some krill you could see in the back. Just kidding, I wasn't doing krill. I was uh, fighting the minions outside trying to get some war priest because I need some freaking Zamorak components that are going to perk out my shit. Hard my French. So we're going to make, I think this is... Impatient 4. Exactly as I thought it would be. And hopefully we get it. Perfect. All right. That was like a 90% chance. I'd have been so pissed if I didn't get it. But uh, now in our Gano, we have Enhanced Devoted 4, Impatient 4, uh, Relentless 5, Crackling 4, Ultimatum 2. Ultimatum is actually useless considering I have this cape. Uh, it does not stack. I know, boy, what the hell, boy. I got 13 milli from the <coughs> sus chest. That was one hour of sus. Um, pretty neat. Uh, got some Chaos Die rerolls. I still have never tried fighting Zamorak. Uh, 75. Wow, I feel like I should have way more than that. But, I, yeah, I do forget. You don't get many kills per hour here, so 
At least I don't because I'm slow. Oh gosh, 75. We're over the drop rate, by the way. It's about a one in 50 for any unique. So just a, just a hair over. Yo, what's Gucci Bros? It's, it's crystal good, and I I got a drop from Crow that'll help me do sus. That's all. I'm in a new location again, as uh, fourth year med students do. And uh, I actually just finished an hour of Carapac. It's the weekend, go me. And I got a 101 Slayer, because Carapac is my uh, Slayer task right now. At least the Dragonkins are. So unlocked Hydrix, Gemstone Dragons. I don't know if there's anything worthwhile of those. I know they used to give you crazy XP. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not like specifically training Slayer. I just I had it as a Slayer task. I figured, why not do some... Do some care pack. Hopefully, get uh, greater uh, concentrated blast. Be really cool. I'm getting better. I'm, I've got like two 50 minute kills, uh, and I'm doing this solo. Uh, 82 uh, total kills. I think 81 and 85 is for any of the uniques. So we're coming up on that drop rate. Can't wait to go dry here again. <laughs> Something I forgot to mention was the fire torch that I made. I uh, got from Sus last night. It's actually super OP for wood cutting. I did a bloodwood tree run with this thing. I only have four trees unlocked, and I got 1,000 bolts. And uh, to put that into perspective, one of the trees only gave me 30 bolts. So this, this thing is dope. Basically, it means I, I'm also going to increase my uh, Krosis speeds, too, when I'm woodcutting. So that's going to be nice as well. Just grinding out the second hour of uh, uh, Kara Pack here. Karen Pack. Pack Karen. Yo mama so stupid. She thought g -Kong was French for... First hour, I died a bunch. Um, still uh, getting my my ground bound gown grounds. I'm really bad at English. I have the English language capability of a five year old. Anyways, I uh, finally was able to figure out a consistent uh, DPS rotation with range, um, such that I skip all the lightning walls. Pretty much, actually, 100% consistently. Sometimes it gets a little close, but uh, it was not too bad. At first, I was using Reckless, and I reset that. And then I found if I use a Ripper and Marjorat Aura, I don't even need um, Reckless on, which is kind of nice. I don't have to keep resetting it. But this is a special clip. I uh, am showing you some care pack footage. This is uh, probably the only bossing footage you ever see. It's usually just me bank standing. <laughs> but uh, what's special about this is uh, with this kill, we will finally have 120 range which is, uh, well, hang on, 120 bow and arrow, which is super cool. It's my first 120 ever. I never, I, I don't even have a 120 on my main account. What really pushed me over the edge here to get 120 range was the grind for these two uh, useless bank spaces, as Stellaro put it, uh, the Ascension Crossbows. Grinding out two of them just got me so much range XP. It was insane. But uh, 120 is super cool. Maybe I'll go buy that 120 uh, cape and... I don't know, cosmetic override that shit? I don't know. Wow. Well, I just uh I just got greater concentrated blast. Nice car. Perfect. That's pretty dope. That's probably the most unenthusiastic reaction you ever heard. 97 kill count um for, for G Kong. That's actually a huge upgrade to Mage, so really happy about that one you know i think i was really underselling the g conk drop that shit does like an extra 10k damage and it's a basic ability it's actually insane it's probably that that single drop alone has probably made my mage setup better than my range setup i can't actually use it because i don't have a wand anyways i'm gonna go farm hellware now and hopefully get a get a wand i have a hundred percent drop chance are you sure about that uh, increase at hellware and bindi so hopefully hopefully it won't be too many kills i think it's like one in 200 or something but I was told we could farm um, Hellware and probably AFK it, so I'm going to go try to do that. Imagine doing Elite Dungeon 3 only to get the Dungeoneering pet. That's the sad reality that I'm living. One more pet to the collection. Give it up for Fleeting Boots number 2. Let's hear it for Fleeting Boots number 2. Well, it's not exactly what I wanted, but I'll take it. Okay, just got some... Uh, Blast Diffusion Boots, that's a new one. Still not Gricko, but uh, thank you sick of all for the carries, by the way. I'd like to add that we finally have real magic boots now. I can stop using House of Dragon boots. At least this is what I was using before the Gano. Also, I forgot to mention earlier, the Crest of Saren we got, that is um, 
planted feet switch right there. So I'm going to slap this onto a dormant anima core body. And uh, I have to augment this. I have to augment this. And then, unfortunately, it's not tank armor. But uh, I got to augment it. And then we will degrade it or uh, disassemble it for uh, planted feet components and uh, make that. And then I'll add like an extra seven seconds to our death swiftness and um, sunshine. Which, according to the wiki, is like an extra 6% uh, DPS or something like that. It's pretty neat. Now I make this joke every month. It's my time of the month. Also, scope the 120 cape. Let's go. It's such an awful color scheme, but if you got it, full on it. Relic Power gave me a, um, fort, a 4090 component in uh, Court Summons. Wow. Yeah, let's check that one out. Real quick, just going to check that one out. Oh, hey, what happened to it? That's weird. Hello. <laughs> Play another screaming sound effect after that one, boss. Thanks. I just call myself boss. Love it. Positive. It's all about that positivity around here, chat. All right, I haven't done this in a while, but I am 344K to my name. Almost to how much I have in loans right there, actually. All right, and uh, here is the cash I've been sitting on, 55 milli. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Probably spend it at Death's office. Anyways, just did another hour at Talwer and uh, nothing. I am uh, spending my seals at uh, Greg because apparently I need some Greg components for a chroming switch for if I eventually ever end up getting Grico. Apparently, I need that, I don't know. And apparently I need a defender too. Stellaro said I won't be considered an elitist for that one. And I have no defenders. I haven't done it at all, which is great. Also, if I haven't said it already, you should like and subscribe. Because I said so. Every second you're not running, I'm only getting closer. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I have a yak now. Tallulah, I love it. Sounds like a truck. Uh, gather produce, I want to see how much XP we get. 31,000, I did not have my farming urns. Hmm, well... Nobody watches this channel for skill, but uh, that's my only yak. So now what? I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing. Just like my, I have two freaking female dragons. It sucks. Hey, I decided to do an hour of solo uh, Barney the dinosaur uh, just to make sure I am still a man. And uh, as it turns out, I am. And you know for sure that it was solo because... Oh, yeah, but I uh, didn't get anything. I uh, died three times. We're not going to talk about that. Got a few kills, though. Not, not too bad. Brings our total kill count up to 41 plus 78. That's uh, 19, I think. Quick mess. Uh, uh, oh, oh. So one of the nice things about questing is that you get random rewards you didn't know you'd get. Uh, give me the remote remoto totem bottom. So I'm making the whole thing here. Apparently lets you charge the other totems um, across Anachronia by placing this somewhere in the base camp. I don't know where. We'll figure it out. Let's see. Okay, we can do this. Grants a passive skill cape perk effect without needing to wear it. Ooh. Do I put the range cape on there or do I put the defense cape on there? Not that I ever die. Right. I uh, can't build the remote totem yet because I need more supplies, but uh, that's on the list. Oh my god, this took so long, but I finally did Extinction. I just ate a rock tail accidentally. Just totally misclicked it. The power of the track pad. Uh, extinction complete. What can I do with this? I honestly don't know, but people were telling me to do it, so I did it. Smile for the camera. Three, two, one. The One Piece is real. There is no Easter Bunny, there is no Tooth Fairy, and there is no Queen of England. I'm touching myself tonight. Yeah. 
Battle Master defeated for some reason. Uh, EOF not bound anymore. And what a surprise. Never lucky here. That was actually a back-to-back uh, -back kill. I had no idea the team I just did that original kill with was doing another one. And I was just like tallied off, was doing stuff. And they just started like spamming the chat, like quest ready up. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and uh, never lucky. Yeah, that figures. Dude, I'm an idiot. All right, that's rude. Apparently, Extinction was the quest needed to do to unlock the Dino Arrows, which makes bows the new meta. I had no idea. I mean, I've, I'm pretty sure somebody told me this before, but I think I just forgot. Because, like I said, I'm an idiot. Maybe we'll uh, see the uh, Nox bow make a comeback. That'd be pretty cool. So I was making uh, some uh, Dino... Dino... Din... I think they're probably technically pronounced Dine Arrows. But I'm going to call them Dinner Arrows from now on. But why? I was making those arrows, and I got uh, a Ripper Dino, which is pretty neat. I can't actually use it yet until 97 farming, um, but I am 90, oh, 94, so we're really close to that. If I get another one, uh, then we'll finally have some breeding dinos, which would be really great XP. Take note, I'm not in combat, but my adrenaline isn't going down. Very nice. So my buddy Stellaro and I just finished beating up Zami, Lord of Chaos. Um, actually, first try, it wasn't too bad. Uh, the whole run was pretty long. I can see why people want to rush that 25 kill count just because the whole dungeon is it took a long time and it's an extra 75% drop chance, um, which seems like a lot, but because it takes so long, it's definitely not worth it. Anyways, I ended up getting quite a, a good bit of uh, loot here. A lot of soul runes, a lot of onyx bolt tips. No unique, but it was a fun experience, and I'll uh, definitely be coming back for more. Uh, maybe trying to learn solo, even. Had a monthly reset, so naturally I wasted it on the oyster. It wasn't worth it. I'll take a freaking uh, 1490 component. So I'm here at Zami, uh, trying to solo. Um, I finally managed to the boss. Literally took like 50 minutes to get here. I had to do the second mini boss without an overload because um, I forgot to bring one, and that was absolutely terrible. But, uh, here goes nothing. This is my first solo attempt. Oh, I executed. Oh, I got executed again. <laughs> oh, oh. I let my health drop. I wasn't looking. Uh, why? Oh, I executed. Oh, my God, dude. Yes. Yes. I did it. Oh, dude, that took that to like seven attempts until I finally figured it out. 10 30. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. I even did it in, with range. I don't I actually don't think I even touched my yak that time. Um the the key is I'm fucking your brother! Um uh, Decent soul runes? I have a ton of soul runes, so I'm probably gonna re- Ooh. Ooh. Well, all right. Maybe I'll keep it. Another one. All right, this one. Uh, th this one took forever. This one gives me 10% damage reduction when fighting Zami, and it lets me use the uh, Chaos Die reroll tokens. You know, it's it's chests like these that makes me never want to use my reroll tokens. So somebody mentioned life refresh to me before, and I was like, oh, that sounds useful. I wonder how you get those. And I just realized that War sells them. Bruh. Seriously? This isn't funny anymore. Okay, it's a little funny. That's my third crest. Yay. All right, hold on. We got something. I'm so, I, I'm literally eating right now. There's food in my mouth. I'm so sorry. We got an orb. That's not the wand. I'll take it. This is the uh, same trip I got the um, the third crest in, by the way. What, uh, what kill count was that? Let's see. 537. Alrighty. 537 and four uniques so far. Not too bad, I guess. Hey, you just missed it, but uh, you know it's bad. At uh, when we're at Beastmaster, I'm the one carrying the DPS. But anyways, here's my codex. Psych. Yep, I didn't think so, buddy. Never, never lucky. I have never. This is my 26th or 27th kill count. Nothing. Nothing, dude. I don't know what the drop rate is though. I'll have to look that up after this. And I don't think. I don't even think that's enough techie yet. I think I still need more. Yeah, 13.7 thousand. Come on, man. Oh, so close to uh, getting corruption spunk. Corruption spunk. There it is. That'll that'll be a nice uh, upgrade to mage. Now we got the the useless orb. Literally, totally useless. Oh, it's so it's so bad, dude. I just want the wand already. Hey, hey yo, hey, hey yo, hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah. 
after all, I went to next. I just literally wanted brews and restores. It's a 25% chance of getting a brew or restore drop. And I that's all I wanted. And unironically, I ended up with three unique drops from them. I got Pernix Chaps, Virtus Robe, uh, b- 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 the Zeray bow. I think that's what it's called. The the bow, the tier eighty bow. I can't believe I, had, I literally just wanted some freaking brews and restores, man. I got I got one brew and restore drop for every unique I got in that hour. It was pretty intense. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy. Uh, skinny penis. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Oh shoot! Look at that. Ninety nine weed lord. There we go, boys. We are. Uh, we are gaming with a Y. So at 99 Weed Lord, I can make, uh, what does the skill mastery cape do? Let's see. Instantly clean all grimy herbs in your inventory. What? <laughs> Dude, that's nice. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. Supreme Overload Salves. Okay, that's kind of cool. Super Antifire, Antifire, Prayer Renewal, Prayer Potion, and Super Anti-Poison Potions. Or I could just not. Could you imagine drinking a single sip? <laughs> All right, well, that's another skill down. What is it, 15, 15 to go? Yeah, something like that. Hey, all right, so I've never gotten a unique from uh, Beastmaster, but I just got the pet, because <laughs> why not? 29 kill count, there's the pet, why not? Hi, YouTube, yeah, hey, buddy. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, nah, still no, no uniques, but I got the pet, because, you know, why not? That was funny, I actually, oh, we got enough. We got enough for the ability. Let's go, boys. All right, we're getting the uh, Corruption Blast is the magic version of Corruption Spunk Shot, right? Okay, there we go. So there's Corruption Blast unlocked, and that should help us do a little more DPS with Mage, um, which is nice. Also, I was trying out the um, the Nox Bow here with the Wen Arrows. I don't know if it actually helped. But yeah, here's the here's Durzag's helmet. That's kind of funny. I guess I guess we'll replace the uh, the Calfight King pet. He's been our, our pet for a long time. Diddy Zag. Love that. Love that little ditty. There he is. It's a me, a Mario. Solid dude. Just like my BMs. Get it? Oh, that was good. That was funny. How does anyone find that funny? I mean, seriously, how does anyone find that funny? If you laughed at it, there's something seriously wrong with you. Hey, yo, just had uh, 95 farming um, unlock the grapevines. I don't know if anybody actually does those. Uh, but the reason I'm really recording this is because we unlocked, finally, the uh, Master Farmer uh, fit. So with these two pieces, we actually have all that we need to make the complete uh, outfit. Now, I don't want to say that I'm going to do some kind of crazy edit for this one, too. But uh, fit check. <laughs> God, <laughs> that's the stuff of nightmares right there. I was just doing some ED4 and then I got the I got the magic pet. I don't I just can't. I'd love to get some actually good drops. Just did like two hours of hell or nothing over 700 kill count. Nothing. No. Boys, boys, let's go boys. Let's go boys. We got it. We got the wand. Oh, and on the same kill. I got 98 strength. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Get me out of here. I'm so done. That was kill count 789, dude. That took hours. I think I was three times over the drop rate, but uh, hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end. Also, if you're wondering why my screen looks like this, I will show you. It's because I am playing on a single 13 inch monitor. It's a laptop. And I put the screen, I make the screen about this big, and I'll do something on the side, either study or watch videos. <laughs> so that's why it looks like that. Oh, God, I just saw my face again. All right, let's go augment this sucker. And I guess start grinding Zammy more? Care pack? Look at that. I still have a, I still have 70 care pack Slayer task. <laughs> I've had this for a year. Let's go, lads. We just got our first scripture, the scripture of Jazz. I was just uh, getting through my my uh, Slayer task here, and we got this pretty soon into it, testing out the wand, the wand's doing great, and now we finally have something to put in our book slot. Um, so we have, I think we have about, we have 27 pages uh, worth of manuscripts for this book too, so we got tons of time for it. Um, I read the wiki, I believe it's like a 7% uh, increase in DPM or something like that, so it's not too bad. It's uh, it's, it's actually a sizable uh, upgrade for us. Here in the uh, the base camp, Anacronia base camp, we're finally building that Remoto totem spot. Um, so 
we slammed it down somewhere and that'll let us recharge our uh, totems right from over here in the base camp, which would be really convenient. We don't have to run all over the place to do that anymore. Last thing we have to upgrade here is the spa, but I don't even have 90 agility, so we can't do that yet. Well, if this isn't a sign to start doing um, hard mode care pack, I don't know what is. We just got the wrist wraps. I mean, that's that's pretty crazy, dude. We just got the freaking wrist wraps. <laughs> that's his entire drop log, except the pet. We got the we got G conk. We got the scripture jazz. We got the it's not. Oh, they're there. OK. And the wrist wraps. That's nuts, dude. And the kill count only 108. Nice. And I actually have some slivers. So we'll, we actually might be able to upgrade these soon. Oh, no, you need them. Um, you need a uh, a Lang artifact from Glaycore to upgrade these. So I, I actually cannot upgrade them yet. Maybe reason to go back to Glaycore. Oh, geez. But these um, these are a nice boost to um, to mage after you do Dragon Breath. Combust uh, hits instantly and does 25% more damage. It's pretty nice. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, boy. Bye. You get your goddamn Just finished the 25th kill of Zami. Finally, it took so long. Let me show you how many of these were solo that I grinded out of my own here. 17 dungeons solo. All of these, we did. I did the dungeons. All 25 dungeons. I wasn't carried for any of them, which sucks. But now I can finally just skip the dungeons and go straight to Zami. Uh, I will take that onyx. Feels very good. Also, I cannot believe I got the freaking pet. I can't believe I got the pet of 22 kills why i think it's a one in 300 solo but hey the, the good thing that does come out of uh the one good thing that comes out of grinding out all 25 is that i get this uh the chaos witch outfit all right all right sure Ooh, nothing special out of this chest um but this was our first 50 percent in rage and this is probably as high as i'll be pushing so i'm just gonna use my my reroll token into nothing just wanted to You've been bamboozled. This is a filler clip. Hey, so we're out here in the wilderness. I'm actually going to grab a staff of Zamorak, and I'm going to... Its spec is a little more useful when fighting Zami than is the uh, staff of Guthix, since you already have, like, pretty much 100% hit chance, I think. I think. Um, the staff of Zamorak will actually decrease his magic um, attacks by 5%, something like that. So it's just a little more helpful. Hello, it's me, a friend, and welcome to buying incomplete Hydrax. I'm um, buying this because one step closer to getting another EOF, and we are still so incredibly far. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn this into an Amulet of Souls first off, because right now our melee and uh, mage setup is just using Ceridoman's Hiss, wherever the melee version is. Um, so that'll be a nice little upgrade. Will it be noticeable? Yeah, maybe. We'd be getting more heals from Souls Blood at least. Oh, just doing a Care Pack Reaper and got our second G Conk. Damn, I wish this was hard mode. Uh, maybe I'll try it. Nah. Yo, check this dude out. I am Groot. You know, I forgot to do this uh, when I finished all 25 full dungeons and got my uh, official kill count to the point where I can skip it, but I've been saving up all the loot in this chest across all 25 dungeons, except uh, some of the runes that I was using. So I wanted to show you that now. Uh, here it is, a grand total of 83 mil. Again, I took out a lot of these runes, fire runes, blood runes, souls, deaths. I took all of those out. Um, so that would probably put us closer at 90, maybe like 95 mil. Um, but, uh, this was the, this was just from doing the dungeon itself. The Zami loot, I, I mean, that puts you, that would have put me well over hundred mil, maybe even 200. But look how much we have in Elks here. 973 large blunt rune salvage. That's kind of nuts. Tons of torso. Oh, you know what else I took? I took out, um, all of these, uh, potion ones to make more overloads. Uh, now the real question is, Will this all fit in my bank? Oh, hey, lobster. Oh, I forgot to mention, I got five slivers of pain, which I actually can use to upgrade my enhanced uh, wrist wraps. I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not. <laughs> I think I did. But I need a, a, a Lang artifact from Glacor before I can do that, unfortunately. Also, I got these without using any uh, lucky charm. Uh, so I was actually really surprised. I thought you needed one. At least on the wiki it says you need one, but that is not correct. Out here in the wilderness, um, I just made a bunch of uh, rippers and some scrolls. It's just so depressing how few scrolls you get per ripper pouch, considering how annoying it is to make ripper pouches. 
but whatever. Um, did that, died three times, not gonna talk about it. I am going to make myself a flanking switch because I have enough materials for that. Um, I got one of these from a rare uh, relic, uh, but also I used one of the three crests we got and ended up um, disassembling one uh, at level nine. I made it into a, a chest piece or whatever and nothing, 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 commander, nothing. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, there we go. We got it. Easy. First try. Planet Feet increases Sunshine Death Swiftness uh, by 25%. Essentially, it adds like 10 seconds to both of those abilities. Uh, and I am going to put that on our Sun Spear. We still have that, so I just need to rip the uh, perks off of this and uh, slap that on here. And I could see that being quite useful uh, at certain places like Zami, for example, which by the way, best solo time, 6.30, excuse me, 40, 6.40. Not too bad, we're at 54 kill count, still nothing, Commander, nothing. Well, I'm doing some Revenants right now. I just got the uh, Revenant Spirit. I think that's, yep, that's the pet, all right. <laughs> just my luck. 201 kill count. All right, so check this shit out. I'm out here in Shattered Worlds doing Slayer. I know that sounds weird, but if you open up the shop here, you can get a huge Slayer lamp for 6 million anima. It takes about 10 minutes to get 6 million anima. So this is, and I get 75,000 Slayer XP per lamp at the uh, level 101 Slayer, which means I'm getting about 750,000 Slayer XP an hour. Um, not actually training Slayer, which is pretty insane. I want to get that 104. Hopefully, we can get some Cinders after that. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm uh, going for. What's the strat? Well, thanks to Sick of All, uh, aka Curious All, I have a bunch of Mech Chins and my Debo EOF, and uh, we're gonna go into Shattered Worlds, go to the highest uh, level we can, hit Start, and we're gonna choose Feeling Pumped. That's occasionally gonna give me 100% of Dren, and I will literally just spam Debo EOF. <laughs> I'm wrapping up here and I'm gonna buy a few of these quick maths five it is but this uh, should be all we need 104 Slayer we started at 101 uh, earlier today I mean that was just a ton of Slayer XP super fast but uh, we unlocked fine crawlers what I'm thinking I'm gonna do since they're not very AFK I'm probably gonna make some wilder pies and maybe AFK the golems but uh, the hunt for center banes begins I guess it just uh, did an Elite Dungeon 2 first time in a long time. I just wanted to point out that I got a 3 minute and 20 second PV not knowing what I was doing against the BDSM Dragon uh, solely because I used the Dragon Bane arrows. Boys, we finally did it. We just got our first loot from Zamir, first unique, and looks like it's at 77 kill count. Let's pop her open. What'll it be? Hey, actually, chaos that's roar. High, okay that's really that's good. actually really good it doubles the uh, damage your next melee hit um you can get some insane bleeds out of that i would like to point out that i got 200 soul words <laughs> and that isn't that the most important loot of all actually the most important loot of all is friendship shut the fuck up quest okay and lee pulled another dragon out of the trap lord as long as it's not female we can finally start farming dragons. Yes! Here comes the big one. The big one. Here it is. The 99 crystal meth star. I'm going with the star. Um, we got the uh, 99 prayers unlocked. Yeah. Right. Let me just go ahead and. Uh, oh, yeah, that's great. I can finally start using those. Fight. Still not max combat. Look at this. Look at this. 99. I'm still 98. 
What's up with that? <laughs> Damn, when you trio in with the boys, but Zami marks you as a beta. So sad. Such a sad. Hey, so it's been a while since I've recorded anything, uh, but uh, just wanted to mention that I am still doing Slayer occasionally. Uh, we hit uh, 104 Slayer a while back and uh, or, or organically gotten half of a level so far. It's pretty weird doing it organically, I must say. But I'm um, farming uh, Wilder Pies so I can go kill Abyssal Beasts, which are level 105 Slayer. Um, and to do that, I, I watched a guide. It was like 10 minutes long on how to get 650 Chompy kills an hour. <laughs> it's, it's pretty nuts. Um, basically, our Dune Cloak uh, doubles how many Chompies you get occasionally, uh, depending on the upgrade. I don't have that because tasks uh, are similar to quests. I hate both of them. Basically, just rocking a cannon, have eight bells in my inventory, filling up the frogs like I fill up the bitches pop them down they uh, spawn as long as i have my bow equipped i don't actually need to attack the chompies that spawn that's what the cannon's for this is literally the most use i've gotten out of the cannon um in all my time playing as an iron man it's kind of silly hey so just uh finished up an ed3 run with my buddy guy ouija i know main scapers can play with uh irons now the integrity i have special eyes look with your special eyes. My integrity. Yeah, I don't really care. I, I like it. I like that update because I no longer have to play with that stupid steel arrow guy. Woo! I never have to use the Draven staff again. 11 minutes. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Hi, doing a Calgarian demon task and I got a uh, demon slayer crossbow. I actually did my first uh, Creature of the Lost Grove task earlier. I did it on the golems boosting with the wilder pies. I died twice before I finally Figured out I needed to turn my protect from melee on. 140 of those done, preferred them. Uh, no cinder veins. So basically, I had like a 10% chance with that task. I just hit 105 skull with knife in it. Uh, I think we actually do get some pretty neat stuff there. This will be okay, great. So we don't have to uh, boost for those anymore. They dropped that helm that does something. Soul of ours, I don't, I've seen those. I just don't know if that's important. Uh, venomous dinosaurs will speed up dino task a little bit. Uh, buying cinder veins, please. 20 minutes later. Hey, guess this is the same clip I just, uh, same task I just recorded that last clip. Guess who got a drop that is the same drop rate as cinder veins, but not cinder veins. That's right. It's me. All right, Ancient Elven Ritual Shard. It's actually not bad. It's like, uh, it's like Excalibur for prayer. I will start using this from now. Just wish it were cinders. I would just absolutely have gotten spoon cinders. That would have been crazy. Oh, man. One minute, 37 seconds later. Hey, you know how I just got this shard? Well, it's the same task, and um, I just got spooned. <laughs> I believe that is what you call a spoon. Whoa. Uh, Grove Creatures. 269, nice. These were both 1 in 1500s, and I got them in the same task. 12 seconds later. This is, this is not a meme. This is not a meme. I just got a dragon helm, followed by another pair of cinders. <laughs> in the same task. What happened? Now you can double up and wear two on each hand. I hate you. Yeah. Look at the top of his head. <laughs> I was doing a reaper task and the first kill, I got the armadillo chain skirt. Love it. Hey, I just got 99 attack accidentally. Didn't realize that was that was coming up. I'm actually stupid. I, I, I got 99 strength. 99 fist. Sorry. I had no idea. <laughs> I literally left it at, at um, what, like 4k XP last night? Left it at 4k XP last night. Forgot. Totally forgot. Well, that's maxed uh, melee. Finally. We were actually finally maxed melee. Incredibly. I can't believe it took that long. I got 120 range. Also, I tried to do solo ambi last night with the big arrows. The I, I am not good at keeping the stacks up. I gotta say, I got three beams. Finally, like, just died because I forgot the, how the mechanics went. And I was like, I'm not doing that again. We gotta spoon this Jaws of the Abyss. So I guess I'll try to show you my kill account. Well, it's not gonna be accurate. That was my second Abyssal Beast task. Let me put it that way. It was one in a thousand. So, you know, not... Yeah, it was a spoon. Yeah, definitely. Basically, it makes, like, bleeds give you extra adrenaline when you do basic abilities. Actually, it's, like, really cool. And I imagine that would stack really well with Why are you running? Bleed, bleed. Why are you running? Hey, this is kind of weird, but check out who just got an incomplete Crip Bloom boot drop. Nexus only fans. Huh? You want a cook? All right, so I just spent the day uh, 
fishing at the Croesus front. Uh, I got 16,000 big ganim out of that. I was actually editing uh, during the meanwhile. So it wasn't super productive, but still, you know, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I got like 300,000 fishing XP in several hours. <laughs> It was very AFK, but I did get uh, 44 Elder Trove 3s that I want to open up for you now. Hopefully we can get some nice Pernix Quivers. Three. Bruh. I got three Pernix Quivers. Pieces, fragments, whatever. Pizza. I got the chain. Oh my God. Got the chain. How much this shit worth? Hold on. Hold on. 677. Goddamn. Goddamn. Hard mode's up and locked. I just out here in the uh, Sophonim Slayer dungeon killing these uh, Salawala Wala Bing Bongs, and I just got the uh, Corrupted Gem, which apparently lets you upgrade your Tier 3 Slayer helmet. I'm not sure if I've done that or not. I don't remember ever getting a Corrupted Gem before, but we have one now. Also, I uh, did some Rippers earlier and uh, ended up with another Raptor Key piece, so we're just one away uh, from opening that chest. I gotta say, Greater Chain has made Slayer tasks a lot faster. It's really good. Imagine recording your starting soon scene meant to be for Twitch instead of recording actual gameplay for 20 odd minutes while you're doing Zuck. That's my life right now. I just uh, did a flawless kill of Zuck and unlocked hard mode, all thanks to Greater Chain. And I recorded... Nothing. Greater Chain is great. I... Am not. All right, so I'm here at Greg, and I gotta say, I sure do love these fresh start worlds. They're not buggy at all. What the hell? Oh my god, no way. But yeah, I'm about to get uh, carried by Guy Ouija. Hashtag main carry. My integrity. I am not above it for uh, for Greg. I hate it here. I'm just trying to get that chrome and switch, probably make hard mode uh, Zuck a little easier. We are furries. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Hey, look, it's the biggest furry I know. You know, the RS guy just called my videos unhinged. Uh, specifically, he said, Questo Good is my favorite VTuber and he has extremely large biceps. And I think uh, we need to press one in the chat if you want to see an RS guy quest memes from x boss video crossover by god i think i've done it i've unlocked red tsunami that was extremely underwhelming oh my gosh fellas who the fuck is gonna tell this guy because it's not gonna be me pal oh boy oh boy how do i how do i put it on how do i put it on spell animations oh. lava tsunami let's go that actually looks awesome love lava tsunami bro I do not have Azure Dragon Breath. This can be obtained from that. Yeah, whatever. Sword can be obtained from that. Have I not obtained it already? Have I not? Have I not? Was this a filler clip? I got 48. I'm here at 48. I did it already. Completed. It says I completed it. How do I get do I need do I need premiere? No! Kissing your dad? You know who else is kissing my dad? Mm, me. <laughs> All right, I got one. I got 106 layer. We don't actually unlock anything cool at this level. Nor at 112, which would be Wilder Pie Boost. Bro, I just got a, I got a hard clue scroll from the boss and a word from the minion incredible i wonder i mean me i could i could keep this i don't have a magic shield and i don't have any defenders so i mean possibly useful at zuck question mark so i tried range zuck and obviously that didn't go very well uh but this clip is all about this singular equipment siphon i have in my inventory i just got 116 invention i literally never siphon my equipment that's awful i just never have dexterous components and i don't bother trying to go get them i have three level 13 equipments here Basically, that's a 50% chance of consuming this one siphon that I have. So we're playing siphon roulette right now. Here's the first one. Will we get 117? I just need to siphon two of these for 117. And I lost it. Ah! <laughs> Finish it. <laughs> yes. All righty. First hard mode kill. Hold you out, DPS, you nerd.
Still are more like leech number two. Brother, tell me how we just got our second pair of blowpipe fins from the dream of Ayaya. <laughs> also, we got another Jadinko. I don't know if this is the right uh, gender, though. Or should I say sex? <laughs> but uh, we are grinding up 99 construction very slowly through this method. It's great. I love it. Uh, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll start in OnlyFans at 50k subs. Ooh, Amlot Hour. All right, just unlocking the ability to use shadow comps, and that is actually 117 light bulb. Very steadily inching closer to 120. Now I don't have the boost for alchemical hydrox anymore. That's nice. But we've got a couple doses of extreme invention. I have one shot at uh, the correct chroming. Let's see if we get it. All right, we want uh, chromin 4 equilibrium 2. The wiki tells me I have like a 28% chance of getting it. It's not the end of the world if I don't get it, but it would be nice. It would add like an extra 2% damage every time I use Crater Chain. So that's why we want that ideally. Alright, we're cooking with crack right now. I'm trying to get a, a construction boost so I can do these effigies. Did I get it? Where it's 89 out of 92. I hate my life. That was the only orange spice I had. Feller clap! All right, round two, trying to get a construction boost. I, I got uh, a couple nourished and a couple sated. I think sated is 95. All right, 93 s plank sawing. 93 plank sawing. That's the new name for the skill. Um, I just wanted to get like one more level in herb so I can make um, elder overloads because I think that would be. A nice little boosty boost. It would quite literally give us an extra four levels over our um, regular poverty overloads that we've been using. Okay, there we go. A bunch of XP later. And we're just going to slam. Usually I've been slamming this into farming, but I kind of, I just want the, I want, I want. Have you ever wanted him to do you so bad that you'd do anything? Are you sure you guys want me out treating patients? I'm telling you, you should probably like and subscribe to the video now. That way I don't actually have to take care of real people as a doctor. I'm serious. I'll do it. 74k away. L actually a filler clip. I'm so sorry. We out here in Taverly handing in a bunch of artifacts, like level 20 type artifacts, uh, just so I can get the Abyssal Thread Relic. And what this is going to do is it prevents my pouches from degrading while runecrafting. That'll help me out uh, because I still want to get some rune pouches eventually. I have 50 thread. Need another 50 for one pouch. And uh, this will be a nice quality of life upgrade for uh, for when I do that. Also, we did some more hard mode care pack. I'm uh, still struggling with that without a defender. But we're at 11 uh, kill count total for now. I'm probably not going to go back until I get a defender. So that is another thing I've been doing is farming necks. Um, somehow I'm actually dry. <laughs> still grinding out racks. I do like an hour or two every day pretty much. And uh, it's just I just want the Gricko, man. That's all I want. It's October which means it's almost been an entire year since I deleted my Ascension Crossbow. Would you believe that? Let's pop open the Oyster. Never lucky. Oh, wow. Look at that. 99 fish on a hook. I'll take that. We are actually all 99s in all of the sus skills now. That's pretty cool. You do love to see it. How many more skills do we have? Oh gosh, counting is hard. 11. We've got 11 more. Didn't I say we had 17 very recently? Wow, that's pretty quick. Only only 11 more already. And looks like this will be a watering can level as well, which will take us to 97. This is, um, I'm showing you this because that is effigy, unlocked, of course, but uh, var anus, var, varanosaurs, anus. I, I don't know. I, I think I have, I have at least one of those in the bank. So we got one female. Please be a male. Please. I mean, I don't really get much from these. I don't think I get anything important, but... It would be some nice XP if I could actually start farming dinosaurs. I just need, like I said before, it's not always about the money spider man. It's about the... I do love recycling memes. It's a male. Oh, oh I'm fucking coming. We're in business. All right, been a while since I recorded a uh, herb clip. Also, not been a while since I've been in wars recording a clip. That happens pretty much every other clip. We just got a 100 weed, weed because uh, that's actually really useful for a couple reasons. I no longer have to boost to make weapon poisons, which is nice. A little quality of life, but more importantly, I can boost to Elder Overloads now. I just need a plus six with a stew, and then I will very painfully log in and out for several minutes while I make Elder Overloads. And that gives me plus four over our uh, regular poverty overloads. I feel like I've said this before. 
Hey, we're here in uh, Demon Hymen and just purchasing a uh, Chaotic Splint. Gonna slap that onto our Ancient Emblem and we are gonna go ahead and make the Magic Defender first. Um, I literally got the uh, Ancient Emblem in the first kill of an hour with uh, Carousel. Thank you for uh, for that, my friend. Appreciate it. And we just bailed on the rest of the hours. Great. <laughs> got that emblem. We were out of there. But this will help us do a uh, hard mode Carapac. This will this really help. Really help. And um, this will help uh, with hard mode Zuck as well. All right, we're we are going to try out our first um, solo hard mode carapac here with the lantern. I have yet to complete one solo. Uh, we'll see if I'm able to pinch one out with the lantern. Oh no! 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 Oh. Okay. Hey. Let's open the blinds and maybe we're gonna see some stars out today. Okay, Enhance the Vote works too. Enhance the Vote is actually great. Oh, I should be using Revenge. He has 2k HP. Can I just kill him, please? Please. There we go. There we go. First hard mode care pack done. Super easy kill. Gotta say, super duper easy. Nice, easy 1255. Disgusting! Hey, so we uh, managed to get our first Rex Matriarch ring. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's actually, I think it's probably the best one to get first just because it's so generalizable for any of the, uh, uh, any of the attack styles. Um, I was kind of hoping for the channeler's ring, but I'm, I'm definitely going to take this one for sure. I have two Zerker rings in the bank already. Now I just need to grind out, uh, eight more <laughs> out here, killing some DKs probably like I'm just doing a two at the moment. Um, probably will switch to, uh, three eventually but just got our first uh ring as a warrior ring from uh rex sag i need zerker's rings just got zerker ring number three let's go uh yep that's number two let's see on a one in 500 yeah sounds about right yeah i love that shadow spike number two i guess i'll put on my blast diffusion boots yeah it kind of looks like the eggplant emoji third Virtus Robe Legs. Okay, not exactly an uh, archer's ring, but uh, we just got the uh, pet, the ranged pet at 741 kill count. That's uh, kind of neat, I guess. We take that. <laughs> Supreme Hatchling, kind of a cool one. Uh, didn't show you, but the last hour I got two Zerker rings, an archer ring and a Sears ring. I mean, just, dude, this it's so fast here. <laughs> it's so fast. I'm, I'm getting like 100 or 200 kills an hour. I, it's definitely over 100. I think it's probably closer to 200. I literally just stopped recording that last clip we got a circle which i will take and a sears ring back to back i hate you oh oh wow. oh, oh actual plate body <laughs> actual torva plate body boots actual torva plate body <laughs> okay okay uh just doing an abby demon task uh wild pumpkin Love that. And we got our second Joe's the Abyss. I know what you're thinking. What on earth am I going to do with a second Nox Bow? It's actually pretty good because now I can put biting on my pussy. That's a nice upgrade. It actually, it actually is. I'm, it's not copium. That was my first kill. Literally. <laughs> I did it with mage and I got a web. Come on, bro. Literally, I did it with a mage. Why? I mean, no, no, it, it's actually good because now I get biting and that is, a, that is an upgrade. It's uh, more critical hits which means more damage. So I literally came to Canifus just to record this clip because I'm sick of recording clips in wars. <laughs> I can't figure out what to put this freaking biting on, dude. I was thinking like, what if I, maybe I should put on tech. I, I think I probably will put on tech instead of Gano, but like the only one I can make is the bottom. And let's say, let's say I, I get enough to make the top. I need a metric ass load of draconic energy to upgrade it to 92. And I don't think you can upgrade it once you've augmented it. All I'm saying is, there's a penguin and a pumpkin back there, and I can't click on it because I still haven't done the quest. Oh, great heavens! I seem to have gotten a fang drop. This feels real good, I gotta say. We've never gotten a lance. Skipped straight from Crystal Halberd to a scythe. Let's go! Ta-ta, cheerio, and all that, as the British say. Tax T. All right, being chilling with 106 magical thread, we are gonna go ahead and make ourselves the sealed large rune pouch. There's the large rune pouch. We can store, I think, three runes in this bad boy. I need another nine thread and about 2,000 of these 15,000 Croesus flakes to upgrade this into the grasping pouch, which will hold one additional rune type and 
save 25% of the casting runes I use. I don't think I've shown you. That will be a huge upgrade considering my care pack inventory looks like this currently. Just imagine four of those runes disappear from my inventory. It's insane. We, that is our 115th magical thread. We are gonna slap that together with our large pouch, our Croesus flakes, and make a grasping rune pouch. Six hours of uh, grinding out crack rock, 90 to 93, almost 94. But uh, definitely, definitely worth it. This is a pretty weird way to lose a kill, man. 10K HP and my laptop ran out of battery and died. But on the bright side, I uh, managed to get the kills under 10 minutes with a ripper and I no longer need a yak. Second pair of fleeting boots. Uh, Sag. 219 quick mass. That's like 600 kills right there, dude. There's my Grico. Uh, I got another torch. I hate you, I love that. It's okay, I hate me too. Oh, here we go getting more damn boots. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with these. Well, instead of the uh, Channeler's Ring, we got a second Heart of the Berserker. That was 273 kill count. Don't worry. We're only uh, nearly three times the drop right here. Talk about unexpected consequences. Just look at the chat right here. I, he got the entire loot from Virago. Almost the entire loot both times. Sorry, it was a two kill hour. There was a lot of text between, so you can't see the other one. But we just did uh, two kills of Rago. Got my kill count up to 10. First time doing Rago in uh, about 17 years. Naturally, I was carrying uh, as expected. But, uh, yeah, unexpected consequences of getting a Torvald plate body in a loot share is you will never get a drop ever again. So instead of giving Stellaro the, uh, the boots... It is I who get a third pair of Blast Diffusion boots. Just did another hard mode kill. I saw the announcement in the chat. It's the wrist wraps. All right, well, that's our first uh, hard mode. Unique, I guess. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I got the times down uh, around the 8.30s. Uh, best I've done was 8.02. Really having a hard time figuring out uh, how to get any better than that with Mage. I'd love to get a range defender, take the big arrows here, switch out to crossbow for the last phase, see how that works. We're sitting at 80. I got that on my 79th. I actually, yeah, most of these were solo now. Since about 30, uh, all of these have been solo. Yes, we are in business. We got the second Ancient Emblem doing some solos. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so sick of next. So we're going to make the range defender with this. And then I'm going to go back to hard mode care pack and test out uh, our Noxbow with all of these uh, change of plans. We're going to go make the range emblem, then we're going to make a bunch of big arrows, and then we're going to go to hard mode care pack and test them out. Mainscape looking real juicy right about now. I'm going to take a chunk out of that mainscape ass, you know what I'm saying? Change of change of plans. <laughs> I need 5,000 more engineering tokens to buy the split to make the defender. Ah. Mainscape looking real tasty right about now. <laughs> Actually, I mean, you know, yeah, I'd need to get the token somehow anyways. I guess I do Dungeoneering for the first time in like f five years. I haven't done Dungeoneering in so long. Just 5,000 tokens. How, how long could that possibly take? So I'm gearing up to go try... Um, care pack with range and i think i'm finally going to make a serenic mask uh just because it's going to give me a little extra defense i think it's oh it's only one okay so this would be the first mask we've ever made uh thus completing the serenic basically what i think i'm going to try is i'm going to bow camp with big arrows for the first three phases and then swap over to dual wield ascensions with uh sendry bolts for p4 hopefully that way i could just blow through the echoes with uh, EO, dark bow EOF. All right, I know it's unpracticed, but it was a minute slower than my mage setup. See you, chump. What the hell? Uh, you. Do it.
doing some stone tablet and brush over here while I'm wallowing in uh, pity. 97 stone brush with tablet, wait, stone tablet with brush means we can get a relic that gives us one extra percentage of adrenaline with each basic ability, taking it up from 9% from 8. Uh, I just have to figure out how to do that. I think this is it. Yeah, Fury of the Small, that's what it's called. That's the relic. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, in the last episode, I did get a lot of Slayer XP from those two um, Carapac Slayer tasks we did. It took us up to 108 from 106, and we're only 1.2 million XP away from 109. And at 109, we can get plus six Wilder Pie Boost uh, to farm out the Whip Scourge. That's it. All right, here we go. Getting electrified again. And that is Fury of the Small Unlocked. All basic abilities get an extra 1% adrenaline. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't. I really don't need the font of life, do I? Yeah, I'll, just, I'll get rid of that one. Oh, wait a minute. I need to do room crafting. I need to unbind a bunch of stuff and do a bunch of room crafting because I have no more blood rooms. Uh, uh. See, I wonder if I have the Scourge, would that make melee a care pack? worthwhile for me. I don't have any of the nice ED2 ability codices, so probably not. I get 5,700 water runes every day, 6,700, and I use just about all of them, and I have no viswax ever. <laughs> okay, so before I go and uh, do some daily challenges here, I went to the Lady in Berthorpe, get a task. Okay, some random BS, so I could skip those pretty easily or do them pretty quickly and then go back to Lanica. I wanted to get my range set up out. So I head over here, type in Pernix. I get my Pernix. Done. Next up, I type in my weapons, Ascension Crossbows. Boom. Hold, Hold up. up. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. Something, Something ain't right. right. Where's my second crossbow? Where's my? Where did my offhand go? It's not in my inventory. I didn't have it equipped. It's not coming up in the search. I have no idea. I'm being totally serious. I have no idea where my offhand crossbow went. It's almost been one year to the date that I accidentally deleted my Ascension crossbow. Literally, almost one year later, it's gone again. <laughs> I did not do this. This is not a practical joke. I am totally serious. I su I already submit a lost item request. I have no idea where it went. A few days ago, I logged in and everything in each of my tabs, like whatever was first in each tab, had moved to one tab prior to it and was dumped at the end of it. So I'm wondering if s somehow that deleted it because I literally cannot think of any other way I lost it. And it, it appears to be the only thing I'm missing. Um, so yeah, I'm really hoping Jake gives me that one back. Again. <laughs> 100 Viswax. First try. The prophecy is true. All right, so I went and uh, did that. You know, I got the relic. They gave me 1% extra adrenaline. And now here I'm getting 98. Oh, 99. Tablet with brush. Wow, that was such a, so bad, dude. <laughs> 99, tablet with brush. We are done with Archimology. We are rapidly approaching max. Like, it didn't hit me until very recently how close to max we are. And that is why I'm going for it. I'm just going to get her done with. Um, cause I want to jump into some PVM and I have a neat little surprise that I'm planning for y'all when we get there. Next up, we are super close to 99 fletching, literally 300 KXP away. Um, ideally I want to save agility for last and I'm going to get rid of all the daily challenges for everything else. Um, so I'm going to bang out these 98s, uh, as quickly as possible. 96 thieving, I could probably get that to 99 today. Um, on top of 99 fletching, on top of 99 archaeology, so that'll be three just done with. Um, 96 summoning, I could probably also do. I, I don't even think I need to wait for an Amlot hour. Honestly, I could just. I, I'm definitely sure I have enough charms to get 99 if I wanted to. Um, that's just with crimsons making yak pouches. I'm pretty sure I have enough. All right, plan is. Finish off fletching, do thieving, bum rush summoning, and then I'm left with three, four. Uh, construction, which I'm doing very slowly through Dream of Ayaya, but I could just, I could actually just train it the way God intended. <laughs> I've got planks, I've got plenty of planks. 8,800 mahogany planks, 14,000 teak planks. Like, I'm pretty sure that's enough planks. So if I made blood runes, it's like 150k XP an hour, I think. Maybe a little less than that. If I made soul runes, it's like 250k XP an hour. A little less than that. But here's the here's the catch. I only have 17,000 pure essence. 
running man skill. Yeah, that one just sucks. That's like, I think it's 150K XP an hour. That one's going to suck. Hopefully, um, we'll be up to like three daily challenges a day. We'll just extend all of them. And so I could do it that way, where I just passively grind out 120,000 XP a day from daily challenges. You could train it the way God intended. I really don't like doing skills the way God intended, though. I'll be honest. That's why I don't play OSRS anymore. I don't know. We'll see. This filler clip has gone on far too long. I'm so sorry. And just like that, 99 hairstylist has been achieved. That's uh, one more down. We are uh, closing in. I'm uh, going to see if I can go do uh, thieving today, too. Uh, mask, I mean. Hey, yo, what up? I'm here with the homies. Guildmaster Darren Lightfinger, Chief Queef Robin, and the me, Amario. We're going to fence some shit, and uh, that takes us to 99 Evildoer, level 99 Mask, level 99 Tax Evasion. That's another skill down. We can take that one off the, uh, the list, boys. And I still don't have the full camouflage outfit. Isn't that weird? That's the first 99 where I haven't gotten the outfit before the uh, the 99. All right, fam, the end is in sight. We've got uh, summoning, summoning, as some people like to, to pronounce it. All right, I keep uh, keeping keeping it keeping it keeping it real. Looking out for the uh, the police, as uh, King Crimson said. Looking out for Amlot Hour. Gonna do summoning when I uh, when I get that. But right now, I'm probably gonna go do some saw sawing, wood sawing, sawing wood, some wood. Craft. Wait, 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 hang on a second. Is woodcrafting just fletching? The prophecy is true. Please like and subscribe. I desperately don't want to be a doctor. All right, I got a couple things for you here. It's not skilling related. I got a medium casket from a 007 penguin that I found. And if I get a Robin Hood hat from this uh, casket, I will run for the president of the United States. Oh, God, I'm so glad that didn't happen. Wait, I got a reroll. Oh, no, there's still a chance. Okay. Woo. Woo. All right. Next up, the giant oyster. I saw like three broadcasts of people getting dies from this thing. And here I am with nothing. Blessed. Oh, sorry. Based dragon hide chaps. That's pretty cool. Can't disassemble. My, my hell is eternal. Okay. I think this is finally 99 animal. Oh, finally. <laughs> It was actually really fast. I'm, I'm not complaining. That was probably an hour from 96. Literally an hour. Uh, but we're pretty much done with the fast skills, except for Dungeoneering. I mean, Ring and uh, Constructions. I mean, compared to the ones that are left, Construction and Ring are definitely the fastest. I um, already got a uh, Construction level earlier. I was waiting for Amlot Hour. And that's probably what I'm going to go back to now. Uh, I was doing uh, Construction Contracts for the first time. And yeah, it's not bad. A little AFK construction. Always appreciate AFK. 99 plank with saw. Woodcrafting, whatever you want to call it. We're done with it. I decided to get this one out of the way as quickly as possible. And I'm going to do the same with Dungeoneering. Um, just so I can get as many daily challenges as possible in the slowest skills room crafting and agility room crafting would actually be not bad if i had soul runes unlocked but that requires like eight quest requirements <laughs> and i actually got a soul talisman yesterday doing a shifting tomb so i don't know i'll i'll think about it but i, re I really don't want to do it but i'll think about it I'd like to give a special thanks to uh, official Fu Manchu owner, Sink of All, for carrying me through 99 Dungeoneering. Big Priest brother, Big Priest 99 ring achieved. We are done with all the fast skills. Feels bad, man. All right. And then there were two. And I still haven't done the quests to unlock the penguin XP. It's like 10. We're at like 10 quests now. Could you imagine? I actually have the quest to max. I can't believe it. I hate this. Three weeks later. I just did, I think, nine quests. That was, that took me like 10 hours. <laughs> I had to do Monkey Madness and Do No Evil. And honestly, I made a big stink about Monkey Madness. Do No Evil was so much longer. But back to that in just a second. Here we are finally finishing the upgrades to the Anachronia base camp. Remember when I said a long time ago, does anybody actually use this? <laughs> uh, well, I do. Fully upgrade. I didn't even know that was an announcement. That's pretty cool. So that's an extra pl uh, plus three percent to our agility XP um, from the seven percent we already had. And I think we get this little spa down here, which gives us infinite run energy, which um, I mean, it's not that useful. 
Yeah, I mean, it might be for hard mode Zuck, but that's that's all I can think of. Oh, um, I got 90 agility, <laughs> which means we got 90 in all stats now. Uh, that happened last night. That's why we were able to uh, upgrade this now. Okay, so now that we did, all right, back to the whole questing thing. Sorry, I'm off my Adderall today. I did that so we can craft soul runes. Um, we need 4.4 million XP. I am going to go back to what I was just doing in uh, Perftinus, making decorated rune crafting urns. It's going to make it even faster. Apparently, this is like 400,000 plus XP an hour, which just beats the hell out of runes band. So that's why I did all those damn quests. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to get rune crafting out of the way ASAP. Imagine recording your starting soon scene that's meant to be for Twitch instead of recording actual gameplay for 20 odd minutes while you're doing Zuck. That's my life right now. I just uh, did a flawless kill of Zuck and unlocked hard mode, all thanks to Greater Chain. And I recorded... Nothing. Is this it? We are about to find out. Craft. Boom. That's it. 99. Uh, don't. Red. All right. So there's one more. One more to go. And uh, fine. I'll fix my interface just for this clip. You're welcome. We're done with that skill. I am so glad I did the quests. Um, that would have. I'd be doing this for like three or four more days. Otherwise, it ruins band. We are 7.4 million XP away from max. I have to go cancel this um, in Prifness, the daily challenges. So I'll get three agility tasks per day. I'll extend all of them and that'll be like 150, 200 K XP a day. And that is everything crossed out. Nice. Oh, by the way, I haven't, I haven't updated you at all. That was from 94. I think it was at 94 when I started that grind. Um, took me two days. It was super fast. All right, it's been a while since I've recorded anything. So um, you probably just watched a montage of me doing the penguin hide and seek quests, which I did. We now have Chuck here. Um, I have never done those quests before. I've almost maxed this account and never used any penguin points. Never was able to find penguins. It was really stupid, but I had 64 penguin points just from spotting 001 through seven uh, periodically throughout Gilinor and getting those little caskets from them. You don't need to have talked to uh, Larry to get those. Turns out you didn't even need to do the quest. You just need to talk to Larry. But I did the quests anyway. <laughs> I don't know. So I, I did up, up through back through the freezer, which lets me get a couple extra penguin points, whatever. I did three weeks of um, penguin hide and seek in about three hours uh, because I had a reset token and it was like one hour before reset, like the weekly reset. So I did, that's how I was able to do three, whatever. Let's talk to Chuck. I had, uh, I found 67 penguins up to 124 penguin points. And we are going to use all that on huge XP lamps. <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. Uh, just buy all, man. 27, 112. Okay. And then uh, one large XP lamp. Uh, apparently they give all the same uh, XP per point. So we're going to open these. Just like, just, oh, you can use all of them. This is going to be the dankest XP drop I've ever gotten in my life. Please give me agility XP and confirm. Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. 987,000 agility XP, holy shit. Damn, that's a lot of XP, dude. That's like a day of grinding. Oh, look at that, 2,800 total level two. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so the last clip you saw, I was at like 90 agility and we're up to 96 now. We're pretty close, 2.9 mil XP away. Just, uh, that's just a couple more days of grinding. So I'm done doing quests. Uh, the next clip you see might be me maxing. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and... After days, weeks, Months, years, millennia, I finally made the escape ability codex. Double escape. Yep, that's what this whole clip was about. Just kidding. I am also getting 99 Running Man. This took, uh, f I don't know, a few days, like three, four days, something like that. I was just grinding out straight, though. I didn't have anything else to do. <sighs> uh, glad it's over. 
finally, finally max this account. And uh, with that in mind, let's go get that max cape. Welcome to the end. To understand why this is the end, we have to take a trip down memory lane. Yeah, so like the end goal is to max this account, but more importantly, it's to prove a point. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell anybody what that point is uh, until we get there. And a couple of years after that, I de-hardcored this account. Taking things so seriously that you start to hate the game when it feels like a grind it's time for a change. Video games are meant for fun. Today, I'm putting the final two nails in the coffin. First, what's going on with this series, and second, a real life example of where I finally took my own advice. The point I've been trying to make with this whole series. Firstly, this series is over for the foreseeable future. I had a ton of fun over the years playing the account, uh, but most of the fun came from making videos for YouTube and streaming on Twitch. I've gotten to the point in this account where bossing requires exceptional time commitments solely for the purpose of gathering supplies. While I enjoy bossing, I could do without having to craft water runes or farm herbs for overloads. With this in mind, I do have another series planned and have actually already started and streamed it over on twitch.tv forward slash quest of good. Now let's get personal. For those of you who don't know, I'll be graduating as a doctor in June and starting residency shortly after that. For the past five years, I've been pursuing a medical special aid that I only discovered in the past several months is not what I wanted to do, that being orthopedic surgery. When I first started having my doubts, I thought I was too far in to jump ship and pick a new special aid. I spent two years studying it, several months rotating through it, and had already applied to it. But even when I applied, I knew it was a mistake. While rotating through the special aid, I desperately awaited the weekends and dreaded Sunday nights. I loved joking around with patients in clinic, but hated standing around in the operating room for hours on end. In the door at 5 a.m. and out sometimes at 9 p.m. or later. After several months of orthopedic rotations, I had been promised a spot at a residency program, which is every budding ortho bro's dream. Although that should have made me ecstatic, it didn't. Despite my peers loving being in the operating room, I didn't. I couldn't shake the feeling that I might not make it through the entire five-year residency. I thought about quitting for a different specialty but desperately didn't want to disappoint my parents. After wrestling with the cognitive dissonance for months, I only recently chose my happiness over the happiness of others. So, thanks for watching this series. It would have been nothing without you. I hope it made you laugh. I hope you learned something about yourself like I did. And I hope to see you soon. Quest complete. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.